Yo, what's up, Chad? How are we all doing? Welcome back to another live stream. How are we all doing? What's up? What's up, everybody? What's up? Welcome out to another live stream. We are back again with some more Temporal Forces action. One could say we're going to be playing some insane decks today. That's uh, part of the plan. But yeah, how are we doing, everybody, on YouTube and Twitch? What's up, Golden, Drummer, Pilot, Ghost, Sakura, Bennett, Riley? How are we doing, Squatty Doo? What's going on, everybody? Uh, yeah, welcome, Alien Juggernaut. Yeah, welcome out to the stream. We're back at it again with another live stream. Like I said, we're going to be playing more Temporal Forces decks today. I wanted to get another stream in because um, I am going to be busy uh, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, probably Sunday too. So I won't be able to stream until like next week. So I wanted to get another stream in today, get some more content out and all that good stuff. My favorite dinosaur? I don't really have a favorite dinosaur. Um, what up, Trick? What's up, bro? You're transmitting again. We're not uh, used to seeing you every day. I know, bro. We back at it again with the streams, bro. It's crazy. Um, yeah, what's up, everybody? Hope we're all having a good uh, Wednesday today. Yeah, we're back at it with some more action today. Um, maybe start the stream off with some Feraligator. I was thinking that was maybe the plan today. Start off with some Feraligator. Um, continue some Feraligator. But I do want to play... I want to go back to Torterra. Maybe we'll do, uh, I was thinking Walking Wake today, too. I've gotten a lot of requests about Walking Wake, so I was thinking maybe we could play uh, Walking Wake um, and any other deck. I want to try, I want to maybe try, like, NS Path. I want to try that as Path or Bayonet deck. I don't know. There's a lot of decks to play. It's crazy out here. A lot of new decks. Maybe we'll build Scovillain 2 or something. No more to terrible. I got to get more gameplay with the deck. I got to get a YouTube video done. You mean loving future boxes of late? Future box ain't bad. It does beat lax, yeah. What kind of main doesn't have a favorite dinosaur? True, true. For alligator uh, has to be hard with the popularity of Iron Hands. It's not an ideal matchup, but for alligator can beat almost anything else. Except for, I guess, control could be tough, but not even. Um, for alligator with Altaria? No, I don't think Altaria does anything. I like the Gengar in the deck. Not sure. Can you try the single prize Arbok? That would be more for a bad deck Friday thing. That would be a that would be a bad deck Friday deck. Venusaur with new poison stadium. Reuniclus, stage two one. It's painful to watch you concede hundred games to Snorlax with Torterrible. It's not a great matchup. I mean, to be fair though, most of the, the meme decks that we build probably are not gonna be able to beat Snorlax, in all fairness. Like all those meme decks we're building, they're probably not beating Snorlax anytime soon. A walking wake list? I do, I do. That was painful to watch you can see. You already read that. Um, but yeah, that was the plan. Um, that's the plan. Iron Thorns? We could build Iron Thorns. That could be a fun, fun little deck. The Tord like Arc Pile? Tord Arc Pile? I have no idea what you're talking about. No idea what you're talking about. Garchomp Glamora? I already did a video on that. Scovillain Control. Yeah, Scovillain could be a fun one to try to build. Um, Scovillain could be a fun one to try to build. Making your uh, new Guardi. Yeah, I'd, maybe we can try Guardi today, too. I wouldn't mind trying out Gardevoir. Um, so here's my walking wake list I got. Um, I think it's just best with Cloth. And then you got the Fraligator list here. Scovillain is rad. It's cool. Scizor. Yeah, we could do Scizor, actually. That's true, true. I forgot about Scizor, too. There's a lot of new EXs. All the Charizards in it. That could be more of an expanded deck. Yo, glad to hear that, uh, Tricklish. Appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. Why don't you try some of the old with the new today? That's what I was thinking. We could try, uh, we could try like, an older deck finally. Because I've been just playing all the new cards. Uh, double Fortress. Two, two Roxanne. Fortress Bramble Gas could be a fun one to try out. Bramble Gas, Hero's Cape. Yeah, Bramble Gas could be a fun one, maybe. Typhlosion V-Star? Would you even play Typhlosion with the, that's the problem? Alright, I gotta quickly do something real quick, chat. I'll be back in two seconds. I'll be back in a second. We can get into the gameplay. I just gotta quickly run downstairs for a moment, and then I'll be back in a sec.
I am back. Upper hand leak up? I'm uh, unfortunately not going to be here, drummer. I am uh, busy Saturday, so I won't be able to attend that. Yo, what's up, Timmy? What's up, what's up? Hattering VMAX is good. Is there any replacement for glaring Moltres and Moon? Uh, nope. Not really. Not really. I think the best thing you can do with Roaring Moon post rotation is have it with the the one prize Roaring Moon in the deck too. That's probably their best option. Yeah, Alkazam Fluttermane could be pretty fun. I agree. I wouldn't mind maybe trying out something like that. We'll see. I like I said, there's a lot of decks to play, um, but I did want to start off with some Feraligator today to kick off the stream. My take on Ferafarig or Ferigraph, sorry. I think I think the card is cool. You got to play it as, like, a control-type deck. So you probably have to pair with other, like, annoying cards too, right? But it definitely isn't terrible. It's not terrible, right? So. Lost Box. I mean, there could be, like, a Lost Box deck we could try out tonight, maybe. Yo, Mini, what's up? It's taking a while to find a game. Ah, uh, no. I restarted the client, too, before I went live. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got into a game. I was like, dude, not like this, bro. Not like this. I was hoping that, uh, I was hoping the game wasn't going to be down. That would have sucked. Would not have been good. Is Reggie's unplayable? I don't know. I haven't played Reggie's in the new format. I don't think Reggie's is dead. I don't think the deck's dead or anything. Um, Reggie's could still be okay in our new format. Um, you did lose two good Reggie's, though, so. Yo, McCoolin, what's up? Uh, we're starting off with Fraligator, and we're going to go from there. Maybe do Walking Wake. Maybe Scizor. I want to try that as Pathra Bayonet deck do. So there, there's quite a few things. Maybe Scovilla. I don't know. Too many new decks to try at once. I wish I could cover them all. Reggie's might be uh, after losing Reggie's. I don't think it's unplayable. Like, the deck's still probably okay. We just, obviously, it's not great that we lost uh, the good Reggie Lecky. The Evolving Skies Reggie Lecky would have been very, very good to have against uh, Palkia and stuff and Lugia. Which are both popular, right? So, best deck in the format. If you want to know my opinion, what the best deck in the format is, check out my second channel video today. That's gonna be my answer today. If anybody asks me what the best decks are right now, my answer is gonna be watch my recent second channel video. Do you think Rev Room EX is worth looking at with Matang? Yeah, it could be good. Rev Room does have potential. It just sucks that it got. It just kind of didn't have a good way to build itself up, and it also never had anything else good going for it. Ooh, Espathra. This matchup, wait, Scizor too. Wait, what? Bro's cooking. This path is kind of bad because, like, oh no, reverse energy one shot. Never mind, I lied. All right, this path is a fine matchup. I lied. This matchup's fine. We're fine. We're fine. Versing this path right now, this should be a sus matchup. Nah, we can one shot them with reverse energy. That's not good. This is a pretty unfortunately unplayable hand. Oh, God. Where's my buddy Poffins at? The turn one buddy Poffin with his reel. It's not good. I'm not going to bother toted dialing them. They're just going to evolve and retreat. Yeah, it's not good, chat. We are bricking, and uh, we might be just out of the game. What do you think of Future Box? I think it's decent. Thoughts on Arctino lists that are running Pidgeot? Uh, Bibberol is just better than Pidgeot, in my opinion. I wouldn't play Pidgeot in that deck because, like, it's just a liability. I don't know. Like, I don't think Pidgeot is needed in Arctino. Like, there, there's a room where an Arc Pidgeot engine is a good idea. But you don't need Pidgeot and Arctina, in my opinion. That doesn't make any sense. Just play Bibbrel. Just play Bibbrel at that point. The point of Arctina is that you're, like, spamming Judge and stuff. Like, I don't know. You don't really need the Pidgeot. Yo, they didn't even KO me, bro? Oh, yo, Manaphy's a bulky beast. Dude, not like this. No. Don't let it end like this. PC July, I've always find a way to make my deck brick. That's what happens. I mean, we just... We bricked. We didn't get an Irida. We didn't get a Buddy Poff. I mean, we literally just, we got unlucky. We have a ton of cards we can top deck here that can let us play the game, so we'll see. Fluttermane and Canceling Cologne turn off Reverie Room. Fluttermane, maybe. Well, I don't, not every deck plays Cologne. If I'm playing against Shempow, maybe it's a problem. At least Buddy Poffing can be used past turn one. Exactly. PC Live always finding a way to make people brick, I know. Wow, we actually just, like, bricked into Oblivion. That's crazy. Not a single way to find a Clef is ridiculous. I actually think we probably could have won that game with Reversal Energy. Because Reversal Energy lets Fraligator attack the Espathra. Because it's three energy instead of two. That's so unfortunate. But 
A good old brick fest, it'll do it. Bricks will do it to you. I mean, yeah, we got unlucky. We had four Irida, four Iono, four Ultra Ball, four Body Poffin, two Cleffas. We couldn't find a single way to get a Cleffa. I mean, nothing I could do. It was literally bad RNG. Not to get donked. We just got, we bricked. I have never boiled Gatorade, no. Never done that before. Live is low key, not as random as they claim. It's random, but like, it's just some days, some days are worse than others. I mean, it's literally just how it works, right? That's how it works. Some days are worse than others. What is the second YouTube channel? It's LDF, LDF Pokemon TCG. Check my community tab and you can find it. Yo, Jamal Simmons, what's up? I have not qualified for Worlds, no. I've never been to Worlds. I've never been to Worlds before. Not even as like a, like a spectator. I've never, never gone. I'm probably going to try to go to Worlds this year. As a spectator, if I don't get my invite. Reuniclus plus monkeys. Nah, I don't know about that. The mulligan is real. Yeah, no problem, Nugget. If anybody if anybody asks me what, what I think the best decks are right now, I'm just literally going to say, go watch my recent second channel video. That was the point of why I made the videos, because literally I get bombarded every stream what my what the best decks are right now. And there you go. I, ha I, had, to get, I had to make a response. Pokemon Pocket? Uh, I don't know. I'm probably not going to make videos on it. I'm not really interested in it, but it's cool, I guess. Rip, rub against iron hands. Hands with no turn, buddy Poffin. Bro, where's the Poffins at, bro? Yeah, it literally is. Can you explain Pocket? It's just a new mobile game Pokemon's coming out with. What's the worst decks? The worst decks? There is no worst decks. <laughs> that's that's not. There's no way to answer that. There isn't really a deck that's called the, is considered the worst. Doesn't make any sense. Future box in the moment, Turbo Virgin, rather than the other future Pokemon I prefer. Well, hopefully we can draw into a Buddy Poffin. This is kind of bizarre. What are these hands, bro? What are these hands? All right, no turn one Totodile is not great, but, I mean, it's the best we can do at the moment. Yeah, no Totodile is actually pretty bad, not going to lie. There he is. Okay, if somehow my opponent does not KO me here, we can maybe set our board up a little bit, which I would love to do. Torterra running exclusively rare candy. I don't, well, you, you want to play candy. I don't think you just play nothing but candy because you have Grottle. That's not... Hmm. Actually, I could, actually, I have an idea. I could big bite the Maridon and force him to find a switch card. Actually, I don't hate that. Okay, they are, they maybe are playing just one Iron Hands. This could be like a future toolbox deck. So we'll see. We will see. All right, maybe they whiffed the attack. They did, no, well, actually, that's not a way to get an energy, actually. I'm just playing Vessel. Yeah, Future Hands. Future Hands is pretty good. Yeah, Grottle's pretty good. The only issue, again, the problem that I have with the Torterra deck is just not being able to Buddy Poffin, dude. It's so unfortunate. Do I like Pokemon Go? Uh, I haven't really played Pokemon Go in a very long time. Um, Pokemon Go is fun when it was, like, in its prime, but I, I haven't really touched Pokemon Go in years. I do like the video games, like, the main series games are pretty fun, but I haven't really played those in a while either. What are the odds they actually have no energy in their hand? What are the chances they whiffed energy? What are the chances? Do they actually not have an energy? No shot. No! I thought they actually whiffed. Damn. Okay. Well, this is not good. The Power World card game. Yeah, Pidgeot control is pretty good. Pidgeot controls. Pidgeot? Pidgeot control is harder to play than normal Snorlax, but it's still decent. All right, my win con here. I have to... I have to trap the Maridon for a turn, I think. Yeah. Trap Maridon, then the following turn, Countercatcher, KO Iron Hands with Frilligator. That actually might work. We are behind two prizes, though. My opponent could still go, like, 2-2 two -two for a game, but we'll see. They have a three-card hand. I just literally got to pray they don't have a switch. If they ant me, we probably lose. Well, we don't lose, but it's not good if they ant me. Pretty... Did I missequence that? I might have grabbed the wrong... I might have grabbed the wrong Totodile. Did I promote the wrong Totodile? I, I don't even know, honestly. Whatever. I was going to get Croconaw, but I might be trolling. I don't even know. But yeah, we need to go Countercatcher, Reversal, KO Hands. Got to buy a turn with Big Bite. They have a three-card hand. What are the chances they have a switch? 
What are the odds they have a switch? But they get to build up more iron hands. I guess I could have counter catchered an iron crown. That's what I should have done, actually. I should have went after iron crown. Huh, that was a misplay. Yo, appreciate the fall there, Violet. Yeah, I should have I should have trapped the crown. F. It would have worked too. Okay, that was a misplay. I don't know why I didn't do that. Because now they just build up two iron hands and I'm cooked. But we can still get the first counter catcher off. We can knock out I can knock out the hands that doesn't have a tool on it. I actually don't hate that because they can't buddy they can't baton the other iron hand. It could be its own deck, yeah. I don't I think the iron I think Crydon's good. Yo, what up, Steven? Maybe we'll play Guardy today. Honestly, bro, I'm thinking about doing maybe Guardy today, too. Yo, what up, Joe? We're playing, uh, Feraligator. Playing some Feraligator right now. Yeah, I should've- I should've went after this. That was a misplay. I- yeah, I didn't even realize we can just do that instead. Misplay alert. It's fine. We can- we can still win. I can take out the Iron Hands here. Nah, actually, maybe I can't. I have to Iono. I don't want to Iono them. This might be Jover, to be honest. Is, I should have trapped the Iron Crown, dude. Should have trapped Iron Crown. I have to rip Rare Candy for Alligator Reversal. It's not good. Didn't have to get it. Oh, well, that's the end of the game. I've not tried Guardy Bolt, no. The new Karidon gives Drago... True. Could work in that. I should have trapped Iron Crown. Yeah, rip. My my plan, I mean, of course they had the boss. If my Bibberal stayed in play, that would have been nice. Because I wanted to go knock out. I was gonna get I was kinda gonna kind of I was gonna counter catcher the iron hands with no tool on it. So that that thing could never get a heavy baton on. Because the other iron hands had a booster caps on, so they would never be able to put the heavy baton on unless they had to they had to use a vacuum combo to do that. That was my plan, but unfortunately we did not get there. I mean, that's a bad matchup, though, because basically you have to hope they whiff a turn one attack. Like, they, that matchup's bad because they throw a one prizer at you. Yeah, it's just a bad matchup. Just try your Gengar deck, and I want to be good so badly you can't get it to work. The Gengar deck's fun, but yeah, it's more of a meme. It's more of a meme. Gengar's cool, but it doesn't, unfortunately, have a great matchup spread. Okay, it's not a terrible start. Pray we're not playing a time Valley and we don't get donked. b -doof. Pidgeot control is better than regular? I think Pidgeot control is better, is better than regular. If you can actually play the Pidgeot deck well, the, the deck's a lot better in my opinion. Ooh, they're playing Bibzard. Actually, this matchup might be bad. Bibzard might be worse than normal Charizard. Not gonna lie. Only one Bidoof, of course. Prize and Bidoofs out here all day, every day. Not like this. I mean, no chance they have Rare Candy Zard boss, right? Actually, no friggin' chance, bro. No chance they have Rare Candy Zard boss. Actually, no chance. What rogue decks do you enjoy the most? Uh, what rogue deck? I have no idea. I'm, I mean, I'm liking Fraligator. Can't, yeah. Electrovire Sableye. The new Wiggly Cloth? Wiggly Cloth. I have not seen Wiggly Cloth. I've seen Wiggly Tough in Control, but not with Cloth. Right, they're probably going to play it slow. I'm fine with this. Can play it slow. Blastoise EX stand? I don't think it's like... It's not a meta deck. It's more of a rogue deck, obviously, but... Blastoise doesn't seem bad with some of the new... Like, I don't think it's bad. I mean, getting an ace spec is pretty nice. The deck having an ace spec now is pretty cool. Yeah, this matchup could be tough because we have the maximum belt. Which actually, pri I should prize check. Uh, but yeah, wiggly cloth, wiggly cloth. But why are they playing cloth in the deck? I get the wiggly tough. The wiggly tough in control is really cool, but I've seen that. But I, the cloth? Why would you play cloth in in a control deck? Oh, the Cloth EX. Oh. I forgot that card existed, Lamau. Okay, all right, all right. Never mind, never mind. Now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, we, yeah, Wiggly Cloth. I forgot that Cloth card existed. That's jokes. All right, all right. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's kind of cool, kind of cool. 
don't even think I take that. I don't want to get... Uh, Prizing Bidoof is so bad. I don't even want any items. I just want to draw cards here. I just want to... Well, I guess I could have... Eh. I could have went Skullvid Cleffa, but I actually want to keep the Super Rod, because if they boss Bidoof, I want to get it back. Or boss Croconaut. I think I want to hold the hand. So I'm not going to bother doing the Skullvid. Pieces of the Water Engine with Walking Wake? Yeah, we'll be playing Walking Wake soon, don't worry. Claw for Lugia? This should be a fairly neutral matchup. This matchup might be unfavored because they don't play Pidgeot or anything. The Pidgeot matchup is better for this deck because you can chase the Pidgeots with Fraligator and Luxray. You can kill Rodom, but this is a matchup where you have to... I don't know. We have to go through a lot of Charizards. I don't know if that's possible. We'll see. It's not Ekna. It's Grasping Draw. A different kind of Cleffa. Oh, they came here with Charmander, but I can KO them with Croconaw. It's a joke's on you. We just started the stream, Devin, but we were playing it yesterday, and it was all right. For Peony Maridon, are there matchups you want to go first? Uh, you always go second with Maridon, yes. Even if you're playing against Gardevoir, you still go second, because you want to get turn one hands. Do we have Ghastly? No. I don't want to get another Cleffa. Might have to just go into a Totodile. It's fine. I guess I could have rotted Cleffa back. Yeah, it's fine. I'm we'll say I know. Relicanth? Yeah, yeah, we were talking about that yesterday. I In this build, I don't think you need the Relicanth, but I actually don't hate the idea of Relicanth. Okay, I want to keep this hand, so we're going to have to hold on to it. Knock him out. Have my Totodile. They're probably going to boss my Bibberol here, which is kind of annoying. I eh, Give me Beedoof off the prizes, please. That'd be make me very happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. We have the we have the knockout if they boss Bibberol. Unless they, they can't counter catch her. So if they boss my Bibberol, we just go Rare Candy, Fraligator, Maximum Belt, Knockout. Would Fraligator and Strange Behavior Slowbro be good? I could see it. I could see it. I don't hate it. But, like, Fraligator is strong enough where you can take six prizes. But I do get the idea. Like, I don't hate the idea. You make Gator look competitive. The card isn't... It's not a bad card. Like, it's not... It's not... I don't think it's ever going to be, like, a like a top-tier deck, but it's, it's not a bad deck. It's not a bad deck at all. How are you feeling about Bramblegast? I have not played it yet. But I wouldn't mind trying it out maybe today. I don't know. We're going to be playing more decks, obviously. Um, yeah, there's the boss. Bye-bye, Bibberol. It's fine. We got Bidoof. So I, I either have the option to KO the Charizard. Hmm. Honestly, could counter catch a KO Charmeleon. I don't have to use this knockout right now. I could save it. I feel like... Nah, we definitely take the KO. I don't know. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, yeah, we definitely want it. We definitely want this knockout, hundred percent. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we definitely just take the KO here. I mean, what item do I take? Super odd, probably, right? Yeah. We can get get stuff back. Yeah, we'll take the knockout on the Charizard. I don't know. I, going around, it's not bad here. You can kill the Charmeleon, but it's a pretty good chance to just dupe their active. We can Artisan for the doof. We can Torrential Heart. Guarantee the KO. Let's go. Maximum Belt. Gator. How many ace specs we'll have by the end of Scarlet and Violet? They're probably going to give us more than maybe black and white. Just because the, the game's more like, I don't know, the game's more bigger now than it was before. So I could definitely see us getting a lot of ace specs. Your BD is in two days. Happy early birthday. I have not tried Vigable, no. We did try Torterra yesterday. It's not great, but we're going to try it again today. We're going to keep trying. We're going to keep visiting Torterra. Torterra is going to have to be a bad deck Friday deck, but we'll, we'll see. We're definitely going to try to revisit Torterra today. Shouldn't people play more Zard Bird? The thing with the Bibro build is it doesn't lose as easily to, like, Team Devos, but the Pidgey Zard build is the one that's doing the best in the tournaments right now. I think both builds are fine. Like, both builds have ups and downs to them. Um, they both have their positives and negatives, right? But, yeah. 
Bibs are harder to beat for a deck like this, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe they throw and go around for alligator? No, it's not happening. Given Charizard a 330 HP with a good ability and attack? Yeah, Charizard's a pretty OP card, not gonna lie. It's uh, definitely one of the more powerful cards we've seen. All right. I think we just... Part of me wants to go around the Charizard here. I want to kill maybe a Bibberol or something or Skullbit. I don't know if that's the play, though. We want to try to play into Reversal Energy. So I go hit. So I hit. They hit me back, knock me out. I get Reversal. I don't know if we have the juice to do this. We'll see. I don't know if that's going to work, to be honest. We'll see. Bibzar with Cypher Maniac is pretty good. I agree. Now we need a for alligator and a water energy. Now we need a water energy. Come on. Or it's for alligator. I bib school it to the rescue. That's not it. I could play that though. The frog is near the bottom of the deck. I don't want to shuffle. I would just get it off this every time. Told you. Okay, cool. So we just want to punch the Charizard here. Um, can save the Super Rod for next turn. Get back for Alligator Water. Then hit him with a schmack. Fire tunes. Glad you enjoyed the music. Origin from Palkia would be good. That's not a bad way to play for Alligator either. Like, I like the single prize approach, but Palkia wouldn't be bad in this deck either, right? Because you can build up multiple for Alligators. If we're playing Palkia, we're probably playing EXP share in the deck too. Gaijin Fire is a good competitive deck. It's decent, yeah. I was playing it yesterday in the stream, and it was today's video, and it was good. Roy Moon Darkrai, I haven't played it yet, but it seems cool. I've not tried Bramble Glass, no. 15 Radiant Pokemon by the end? Do you think we'd have more... We'll have more AS cards? Maybe, maybe. And maybe Torterra's a one-of, yeah. Maybe. I mean, the card isn't bad by itself. It just doesn't... It's just... I think the one issue I have with the Torterra is just you can't buddy Poffin for Turtwig. It's just a little too slow. Hmm. So I want to... We need to try to kill them with a reverse energy Pokemon here. It's actually better to have another Totodile in play. Ooh. Because if I knock out Charizard, I won't be able to build up another Fraligator to win. Because I'll go down to one prize. That's not good, actually. Dialga Matang, Raging Bolt? Well, I don't think Raging Bolt's good in that deck. Would Crisis Punch be good? You, I mean, I, I guess. Fraligator's basically the same thing, though. Fraligator is the same thing, though. That's kind of the thing. Okay. Um... So I actually need to go around the Charizard this turn. Yeah, we need to go around Charizard here, because I need to use Reversal Energy. It's fine. It's easy. So I need to go boss. Boss, KO Charmander. So I can oh, I can kill Croconaw. Okay, that's yeah, let's do this. Let's knock out Croconaw. And then we can for alligator for game. I need energy. Nice. I can kill with Feraligator here, but we can also force him to boss me this turn. Yeah. Yo, Kale Croc and I'm going to Cleffa. It's fine. I need to find Irida. We need just, like, Irida and Energy. We need, like, Counter. We need to find a... Wait, do I have a Gust left, right? Okay, I haven't played a Counter Catcher yet. Okay, good. We got the Rakini for Alligator for next turn. Okay. Knockout, go into Cleffa and see where it takes us. They might not have Boss this turn. Maybe they could whiff it. It's possible. Got Hero's Cape. Yeah, but that's fine. The, the, we can kill the Zard anyways. As long as... We, Basically, our strategy next turn is we have to gust next turn. We have to gust KO this Charizard. They're going to go into a fresh Charizard. They, well, they may have to gust KO it. Or they can knock me out with a Charmander, but like I said, it's just basically not a counter catcher. This, this game comes down to a counter catcher. 
Single prize future box? Not yet. I did see a future box fighting a, f a single prize deck using moths and stuff. Iron moth and uh, the what do you call it? The thing. The iron moth and the uh, the iron treads. I did see a I did see a list on Limitless today when I was checking out Limitless. What extension do you use to combine chat? Uh, I forget what it's called. Hold on. It's like Stream Ninja, I think it's called. Social Stream? Social Stream is what it's called? Social Stream. It's like a browser feature you can add. The Algo list lately, it's such a fun list. Yo, what's up? How we doing, bro? What's up, Sean? What's going on? What's going on? Are you going to, uh, are you going to, uh, Manton, uh, Friday? Watch them Turo? They might. Okay, if they Turo, we lose. I mean, if they have a Turo, you know, whatever, I'll take the L. Yeah, it's not a Turo. Yeah, nice try, bub. I have no Iono. So we need Countercatcher for Alligator Energy to win the game. My opponent could collapse Stadium, actually. Uh-oh. Okay, never mind. See, this is why this matchup is bad, bro, because we have to take a one-prizer out. You'll be playing Dialga? Yo, let's go. Dialga's sick. Dialga's sick. A fighting deck? A fighting deck tech for Zard? I don't think there's any fighting Pokemon you can play in Charizard. Okay. Are both counter catchers in there? Yeah, okay. I know I saw ones. We know both are in there. So we just need to hit counter catcher and we win the game. Easy peasy chat. It's going to be easy. We got this. Don't worry, chat. We just need counter catcher. That's game. Okay, they actually came close to winning. They could have had a collapse stadium. So this is why the Bibzard matchup is hard because you have to take out, you have to take out multiple two prizers. But like they don't, they never, they never have any like two prize liabilities in play like Pidgeyzard does. That's why this Bibzard matchup is hard. I think the one thing we had going for us was the ability to crocodile the Charmanders. Being able to crocodile Charmander is actually huge. The new Flygon. There's a new Flygon. Yeah, bro, had a crazy hand. Yeah, we actually could have lost to a Clap Stadium. So we're probably unfavored against Bibzard, to be honest. That's definitely like an unfavorable matchup for this deck. A good YouTube game? That could be a good YouTube game. What if I told you I already got my YouTube games recorded, though? Pidgeot is not a liability. For Fralligator, it is. You can just one-shot it. Because you can't one-shot Charizard without a maximum belt. So ideally, you have to go through two Charizards, which is really hard to do. Basically, the way the prize trade works out, especially because you have to use reverse energy, you can't really win by just punching Char three Charizards. Even with the maximum belt, it's still very difficult. It comes down to basically just like... It comes down to them healing their Charizards, basically. So I don't know. Um, that's how I kind of think of it. Yeah, the, the Pidgeot is a liability because you have one-shot potential. Yeah. Uh, we're going second. Ah, I'll start a Bidoof, sure. Not a bad hand if I can find a switch. Another Charizard deck. Look at that. Prioritize going second. Because uh, you can play a supporter, and you can play Cleffa. Yo, Ghost, what's up? How are we doing? Welcome out to the stream. Nice. Well, actually, they didn't do much. Wait, can I donk them? No, I can't. I think we just... We just go Iono attached to Totodile. There's no... We don't really even need to do Cleffa, to be honest. We're kind of just chilling. Should probably get a Cleffa just in case. Yeah, we don't really have to go Cleffa here. I mean, if I hit a fetch switch, we can go Cleffa. Maximum Bell? Maximum Bell does nothing. Okay, all right, that works. Yeah, so if I get a switch, it's fine. I'm not going to bother doing Ultra Ball. Probably have to get Skullvid next turn. We'll see if I own them in a Rare Candy Zard. I don't really care if I do, but as long as I don't give a Rare Candy Charizard boss, I'll be very happy. They can knock me out with Heat Tackle, but like I said, I can hit him with Croconaw and knock him out. And then I can conserve energy, force him to boss. Actually, it's like fine if that happens. So. Is it better Reboot Pot or Prime Catcher? Uh, if you're playing a, a energy heavy, like a, if you're playing the Rainbow build of Rainbow or Future Box, probably play Reboot Pod. I think the Iron Hands build just plays Prime Catcher. Yo, Burrito Man, what's up? 
The new Vigavolt? I've not tried no Vigavolt, no. The world is made of Zard and Snorlax? Pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. I honestly kind of miss playing against Roaring Moon. I miss I miss the latter just being nothing but Moon and Charizard. It was it was fun for all the, the weird grass rogue decks I made. Loki kind of missed the Paradox Rift Ladder. Cause like the the Paradox Rift Ladder, I had day I had weeks even where I never seen a single oh, it's not again with this wait, it's the same person actually. Not again, dude. This matchup is so bad. Yeah, I don't know. It's not great. Probably gonna lose this time around. Yo, think of that follow there, Hope Bringer. We'll see. I have not tried Vigable. Someone just asked that. I've not tried it. Moon at least is more fun than the Lax. Yeah. I mean, at least Roy and Moon, you either lost the game instantly because you bricked, or they donked you, or you actually got to play a game out. I farmed them a Toad's Cruel? Yeah. The problem with Snorlax is there isn't really, like, any fun meme decks you can play to beat Snorlax. Snorlax, Snorlax beats most meme decks, to be honest. Which is kind of annoying. True that, Burrito. I don't know what's up. Do I just Croconaw here? You get Croconaw, the Charmeleon... Is the 60 damage relevant? Yo, it actually is relevant. Okay, yo, shoot. Okay, wait a minute. Yo, the 60 damage is actually kind of relevant here. That's actually kind of huge. Because we can poke for 60, and then when they evolve it, we don't need a maximum belt to one shot. Okay. That's pretty good. I like that. I don't like that. Yeah, it's actually kind of relevant because now we can knock it out with uh, without a maximum belt. ADP Ribombi Iron Hands. I have not tried that. I have not touched Expanded in a while. You're just trying to make a fighting deck? Well, if you're trying to build a fighting deck, the best fighting Pokemon is right now is like, I don't, I don't even know. Is there even any good fighting types? Sandy Shocks, Raging Bolt, I guess. The new Terra Greninja, well, we'll see. Iron Hands can still beat you if they just, like, tempo you, but maybe. I mean, fighting Pokemon are pretty good. Annihilate? Yeah, there you go, Annihilate. Annihilate's cool. I like Annihilate. I like Annihilate. Annihilate's probably pretty good against Snorlax. Yeah, there's Charizard. So we can knock it out without the maximum belt. Yo, Mewtwo's, what's up? Welcome back to another stream. Iron Hands or Future Box? Iron Hands, probably. I don't know. I haven't played the Iron Hands deck. Baby Annihilate is a cool card. Yeah, the Baby Annihilate's good, too. Like, that deck's actually not bad, right? So. Okay, we need them to not boss here. That'd be ideal. Don't do it. Nice. What do you think is a... I already read that. Well, Chomp Lucario. Gar Chomp Lucario? I don't know about that. Uh... Alright, this is fine. We can go top deck. Okay. I wish I went this toe to dial. Loki, I don't really need any items here. So I'm probably just going to go... Bibberil Squovet. I don't really need an item, because we're just going to get rid of the hand anyways. Kind of wish I went to the other Totodile. Wait, what am I doing? Bro, I'm trolling! Wait, what? Oh my god, wait, 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 what am I doing? But I can't break... Bro, for some reason I thought I could break into the active. What? Oh no. What am I doing? You know what? Honestly, chat, is all part of the plan. You know what? I'm trolling. This is actually what we're going to do instead. No, it's not a throw. Flamer, what's up? One of the energy search could be good. Energy search could be okay in here, yeah. I thought about it. I thought about playing it. It's not bad. Okay. We can just knock out the Charmander. We kind of want to stay behind on the prize trade. That Charizard is always going to be able to get KO'd, so it's all Gucci. They're probably going to boss me this turn anyways. This is fine, yeah. We kind of conserve the energy we have in play. 
Loki, you know what? Loki, that play might have been a little better anyways. That play might have been a little better anyways. We take a prize and we stay behind in the prize trade. Honestly, I don't hate that. Nah, we're not doing any late night. We're just playing the ladder tonight. No tourneys. I was going to try to do a tourney stream before tomorrow, but I don't know. The ladder, ladder seems chill. Yo, no worries, Stopher. Thanks for by. Is there a Clodzire deck that pairs with a new Perilous Jungle? Bayonet. I think Bayonet Clodzire is like a deck right now. I was on autopilot. That wasn't, honestly, I, that was barely even a misplay. We can't get punished because we can at least kill the Charmander. See if they get Voss here. Honestly, that's still not a terrible play. Like, it was not a bad play. It might have been the better play in all honesty, the more I think about it. Yo, what's up, Rickster? How we doing, bro? Yeah, we're playing some Crocodile Rock. Can't leak the sauce. We can't be leaking the sauce now, can we? Bayonet? Yeah, Bayonet plays uh, Clodzire. I haven't tried Bayonet yet. Maybe that's on the agenda today. They actually do. Like, it's... Is that really a misplay, though? Like, in reality, we kind of, like... The benefit of that is, one, we can take out... Okay, they got boss. No, my Fradligator. But no, nah, that's fine. Because in reality, we kind of still stay ahead in the... We stay behind in the prize trade. Nah, that's fine. That's fine. That was... It was totally a calculated play. Like, honestly, it, that might have been the better play, like, the more I think about it. Like, I'm being dead serious. That actually might have been the better play. Like, I could, literally, next turn, I could do the same thing. Croconaut Kill Charmander. It's probably not what I want to do, though. But I could. We could just Irida for Countercatcher number two, and then KO the uh, Charmander to win. But I think we need to save our last Countercatcher, so I can't really afford to do that. I do think we just kill the Charizard here. And go KO Charizard, KO Charizard, and then, yeah, it's fine. We need to at least save our last Countercatcher. Irida for Super Rod. Seems pretty good. Now they got to kill the active. If they don't evolve this Heat Tackle Charmander, we could go after it next turn. It's an option. Maybe could have got Cleffa back. I don't know. Yeah, I could have maybe shuffled Cleffa back. I wouldn't mind getting Gengar, though. It's another attacker, I guess. Could be okay. Mimikyu a Skateboard? Yeah, I like the idea of a Hit and Run deck. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Building like a Hit and Run Fralligator deck. That could be kind of sick, actually. I do like that idea. Yeah, hit and run for alligator sounds kind of sick. The best A-Spec turn in Arcanine? Probably Maximum Belt. Actually, eh, I don't know if Maximum Belt would be good. Prime Catcher, probably. Let's be real here. Actually, did I... Speaking of Maximum Belt, I forgot to look. Did I prize it? It is pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. It's a smart idea. We were talking about that yesterday when building the deck. I have not played Hell Drivers, no. A posture check. I could do I could do it right now, bro. Posture check right now. Okay, if I prize maximum belt, this gets sketchy actually. Bayonet and the psychic ostrich. Yeah, the the Bayonet as Pathra deck looks kind of sick. Catcher seems to be the best ace spec. It literally is. I don't know. Like, the Gouging Fire deck I did a video on, I got a lot of comments like, why not just play Maximum Belt? Well, honestly, the Maximum Belt kind of sucks because Prime Catcher won as many games, and also it's a switch card. And also, even if you're teching for Charizard, the you, you probably just lose to Charizard anyways, right? Because you just kind of like, how are you getting through three Charizards, even with a Maximum Belt? You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just not worth it in that deck. Tech a slow bro. The problem with we tech slow, bro, is my opponent bosses it, and they KO it. I'd have to get a double slow poke and play for that to even work. Unfair stamp could contend. It depends on the deck. All right, uh, so the plan here is to, I mean, we just two-shot the active. We have time to two-shot, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll see what our top deck is. Okay, Gengar. I'll two-shot this. I can't use Reversal. We can Iono. 
Eh, maybe today we'll see, Rickster. I'm definitely gonna be trying out more stuff today, though. Sandy Shocks, Arcanine. Oh, the Maxim Belt is in the deck. Okay, well, there's a slight issue here. I don't have... I don't have a water energy. I think we just risk it for the water, right? No, but... Actually, that was a misplay. I think it's correct to just hit the active and then gust next turn. Okay, I might. I think I just threw. Because if I not got the Charizard, we don't have reversal energy. Any, we don't have reversal anymore. And we got the water. I think I misplayed here. Because if I knock out the active, I still lose. But I just... Honestly, yo, I think we just attack the active. I actually don't think we take the knockout. Because I take the knockout, my opponent... I can't use reversal energy anymore. I shouldn't have played the maximum bell. That was a misplay. Crap. I never... This is why the Bibzard matchup is bad. Yeah, I need to use Reversal Energy. Unfortunately, we have to not... We actually have to not kill the Charizard here. So I need Reversal. Uh, I think we lose, to be honest. I've not tried Great Tusk now. No Rod? We didn't get Rod there. We didn't hit the Super Rod of the Iono. I need to kill the Charmander next turn. They're going to evolve it, though. Yeah, I got to kill Charmander. I did have boss. If I didn't have... No, I had counter catcher KO Charmander. Yeah, they just put another Charizard in play. I think we just lose. I shouldn't have played the Maximum Bell. Because I even honestly could have just knocked him out Croconaw. I could just went like Croconaw Maximum Bell knockout. And then like... Yeah, I threw. Should not have played the maximum belt. I got ahead of myself. That's why the Bibzard matchup is bad. These friggin' stupid Charizards are too tanky. That's why we need like them to have other Pokemon and play like Pidgeot and Rotom. Lost two five? No, no. We might get a new Mega Sceptile. Yeah, if I go. The only other win con is to like stall a B a Bibril and hope now have a switch. Doubt that'll work. Ah, uh, we'll see. We'll see. There, oh, if I had a free retreat pivot in play, we could have went Luxray, knock out this, counter catcher for game. I think I can still go for that play, though. I have to hit... I mean, I draw. I got to draw really well here. There is a way, though. You'll appreciate that fall there, David. I do have a way. I need to, I need switch and reversal energy. Okay. Now we just need switch. I don't know if my last switch is in the deck. I didn't prize check. Uh, I don't want to shuffle. They also might be stuck here. All right, come on. Switch. That's probably GG's. They are out of fires, I think, but they probably just have switch in hand. It doesn't matter. Damn it. If I had a free retreat pivot in play, I could have went... Yeah, they have prime catcher. If I had a free retreat pivot in play, I could have won. This is why Bibzard is not a good matchup, because you have to go through three Charizards, which is not very easy to do. The XP share? I mean, we could. I thought about it. It's not a bad idea. The problem with the XP share, though, it's like they vacuum pa if they vacuum it passively, it disrupts you. That matchup is just, it's just, it's tough because of the, the, the fact you have to go through three Charizards. That's what makes it tough. Team fight tactics? I have not, no. I don't really play any other games other than Pokemon. Yeah, I had to go, I had to go boss KO, I had to go boss KO school bit with Luxray. And then the following turn, counter catcher KO Charizard. Which I think I could have got there, but we just uh, did not find the switch. If I had a retreat pivot in play, that play was an option. No, oh, glad you enjoyed the Gengar deck. Are we going second? We are. Wait, what? Great game. I love I love the brand new Lugia V. Yeah, this new Lugia V artwork goes kinda hard, not gonna lie, chat. This might be top tier Lugia artwork of all time. 
pretty sick chat. Yeah, it's a good art. It's a good art. Good artwork. Good artwork. Belly button chat? Yo, what's up? Maybe Mew? Mew? There's no Mew, though. No Mew. S.J. Lugia? Yeah, bro. This is an insane artwork, bro. Insane artwork. Grab the Luminion. Ghost well, Hand is trash. Um, it'd be nice if I had a Buddy Poffin, but we do not have a Buddy Poffin. Fine. Gotta bench that. I need draw cards. I mean, they could whiff the turn to attack. It is possible. Okay, that's a better hand. All right, that's way better. That would have been pretty good if I had a Totodile. Is there a TM Devo? No, TM Devo, no. We don't really need TM Devo. Like, Charizard isn't... Charizard isn't really that bad of a matchup. I mean, we just didn't sequence that. We beat the first Bibzard. We just lost the second one because I didn't sequence it. Didn't have enough crystals. Yeah, they had to use a proxy. Yeah, literally, it's a proxy, Lydia. Nah, bro. They got the Jack Ultra Ball combo. Get farmed, LDF. We can Luxray KO them, maybe, if we're lucky. Probably not going to happen, though. You wish this game never existed? <laughs> Opponents cheating with the the crown, yeah, bro. They're cheating, bro. They're using they're using a brand new Lugia artwork you've never seen before. Yeah, they have the stones. I honestly, Iona would have been really good there. Future box. Uh, I think it's not very favored because you just they they just alligator you a bunch of time or they hand you. Luminion is decent. We're definitely gonna chase Lugia. I mean, do they have a collapse stadium in hand? That'd be really cringe. Wow, dude, they had the nuts, bro. What? No way they had all that, bro. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I have to run downstairs real quick, chat. That's why I conceded. I'll be back. I gotta run downstairs and uh, get my dinner. I'll be back up in two secs. All right, we're back with the food stream chat. We even got a pack to open up. The return of the chair stream. Yeah, exactly. The chair stream's back. It's back again. Everyone loves a good chair stream. All right, we back at it. We back at it. Do we get anything good out of this pack? No, Melmetal. That ain't it. It's chow time. Yeah, we got to eat. We got to eat the food, chat. We got to eat. Right, if anyone's wondering, it's chicken and corn. There you go. You ever cook? Not really, no. Not really. I didn't even get you a Coke. I'm sorry, Turbo. I should have got you a Coke, bro. You're right. I apologize. I should have got you a Coke, too. Yeah, corn's pretty good. We got we got the corn. We got the chicken. We got the Coke. We're chilling. Pretty good meal. Playing ranked? Yeah, we got bodied. All right. I mean, that Lugia player just had the stones. That's that's the Lugia experience. You either you either have the everything in your hand that you need to set up, or you just don't. All right, we're going second. I mean, this hand. I don't know where my where's my supporters at, bro. Where's my buddy Poffins? Not like this. Probably should have started Toted Isle, to be honest. Another Lugia, bro. Not like this. Yeah, we're playing Fralligator right now. We're on the uh, Fralligator wave. Are we going to hit Arc tier? Ah, I, maybe. Probably not, though. Let's be real. We're kind of... still have a bit of ways to go. 
How's Torterra? We haven't uh, we haven't tried it yet today, bro. What are these bricks? I swear I play Buddy Poffins. We have twelve ways to draw cards, and we got none of them. Ridiculous. Oh, here comes turn two, double Archeops. Sorry, stream yesterday. Oh yeah, uh, it was all right. The decks, it's kind of mid. We're gonna try J Heroes Cape. Wait, what? Bruh, farmed. They of course had the raw double Archeops Ultra Ball combo. I, how how does Lugia draw this well? I don't get it, bro. How does Lugia draw this well? Why not? Sure. They had a research in hand, too, of course. Why not? Why not? So Terra's bad deck Friday, yeah. If you're playing Future Box, you go second. You can attack with Maridon, yeah. You have to go second. But you want to go second with Future Box, yeah. But we getting sacked hard by Lugia. That's annoying. I mean, I got the freaking Heroes Gate, bro. They, of course, had it, bro. Like, why, why do you have the literal perfect perfect seven cards in your hand? That's insane. Average Lugia player hand, bro. They had research, double Archeops Ultra Ball, and they just happen to have their one of A spec to counter my knockout in return. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. You think so, cards? Or is that, yeah? Yo, Franklin, what's up? What's up? What's good? We're playing some for Alligator right now. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, Bibs. Give me a supporter. Not like this, bro. I can't one-shot this, even with Luxray. It's a stupid hero's cape. Like, how do you find that on the first turn of the game? Like, why do you have to have the perfect seven cards? Like, so annoying. I can't even Croconaw here, which I wouldn't have mind doing. Croconaw here would have been decent, because then we can take it out with Fralligator. Or take it out with Luxray, sorry. We are just actually getting... We're just getting sacked hard by Lugia. That's actually ridiculous. Lugia with Hero Cape honestly isn't a bad idea. I, I like the idea. I just wish they didn't have it in their hand turn one alongside the rest of the, every card they needed to pull off at perfect turn two. A good Radiant in future hands? Uh, you don't really need a Radiant. You don't really need a Radiant. Losing streak is seven? Oh, we've only lost three games so far. Zard and double Lugia. We misplayed against Charizard, and we got sacked twice in a row by Lugia. That's literally... That's how it's gone. That's how it's gone. Uh, we've just, we bro, we've had some ridiculously bad luck against Lugia. Both games we had bricky hands, somehow with not a single way to get a turn one like basic. And both players they just sacked me. The first play wasn't that bad. It was a bit more reasonable to have Jack Ultra Ball. The second the Lugia we just played against, the fact that they had all of that was just absurd. I don't think I've ever been sacked harder in my life. Are we going second? We are going second. Yo, let's go, baby. The glitch returns. Let's go. The best Flutter main artwork ever, bro. Beautiful artwork. Insane artwork right there. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Edgy. Oh, it's Charizard? Okay. Still weak to Future Box. Incoming Lugia? Yeah. Okay. All right. This hand is thankfully a lot better than the last games we've had. All right. Let me check. We got to make sure we got Luxray. Luxray is prized. Not good. Do we have Maximum Belt? Maximum Belt's in the deck. All right. Cool. No, I should have eared it for Switch. That was a misplay. No, I should have eared it. Well, I, yeah, no, that was a misplay. I should have eared it for Switch. Should have grabbed the Switch. That's fine. That was definitely correct to get Switch there. I don't mind this, so... We can get more lads in play. Yeah, because I wanted to get energy this turn. 
Do I honestly, bro? Do I even scove it here? Because I kind of like the hand, but honestly, no. Yeah, we scove it. It's fine. Cause like, yeah, we can draw more cards. Not bad. They might not have a key card here. Been sacked in football? Nah. I haven't played football since high school. Bro, of course you had it. That's ridiculous. We are getting sacked today, aren't we? Bro would have the turn two Charizard. That's fine. Uh, it's not fine, actually. That's really annoying. Why did Bro have to have turn two Charizard like that? Four card hand, Rickety Charizard, easy peasy. Do you think Manaphy's a must-have? Depending on your deck, yeah. Like, if you're playing an Evolution setup deck, you probably need it. But if not, it's probably not necessary. It's Croconaw again. Grab this guy. Uh, I think we're just gonna go bench the lad. Uh, and then we'll attach. School of it, bibs. Draw some more cards. Nice. Cool. So I'm, I'm not committing reverse energy to KO uh, Fluttermane. That just isn't happening. Countercatcher. Okay, we can Irida here. Just give him a Totodile. Well, do I give him Totodile? Nah, they'll just retreat into Charizard. Yeah, I think we have to go Totodile. Yeah. I don't want to give up another Totodile, but... Yeah, it's fine. Hopefully they don't have boss energy in hand. That would be fantastic. Surprised you have football in Canada? Well, we have football. Apparently, Basculin, I know. It's a great artwork. Yeah, insane artwork right here. Let's go. Cool. Okay. Um, What do I even do here? I can't even knock out the Charizard, bro. There's not even, bro, there's not even a freaking, there's not even a, a, what do you call it, a Pidgeot play. I can't even go after a Pidgeot. I think I just KO the active with a Feraligator, I guess. Yeah. I mean, they haven't been doing anything. Playing Iono feels kind of bad. I do need it. Well, actually, I might. I should have Iono. Not Iono. They haven't been doing anything though. Uh, I guess we have to Iono them. Yeah, hey, what's up, Phil? How we doing? How we doing? What's up? What's up? Actually, getting maximum belt there would have been so big. Yeah, if we got max, oh, my other bibles prized. I would just knock this out. Whatever. I don't want to take a single prizer out in this matchup, but there's thankfully more easy knockouts on the board than just Charizard. So, Luxray, nice. Go. Well, we can actually. They get Pidgeot. I did. I own them. They get Pidgeot here. I can knock out the Pidgeot with Luxray. It's pretty good. They probably have Hurricane Pidgeot. Or at least, even if they... Okay, if they don't have another Charmander, we can try... Okay, okay well, that's fucking Iono them. They Iono me? No. Bro had the nuts. Okay. Let's we'll see if they get Pidgeot. If we can get Reversal Energy plus uh, Maximum Belt, we can kill the Charizard this turn, which would be pretty big. It's just really annoying they had the turn one Char... The turn two Charizard. And was, that's what kind of hurt us here. The stupid flutter mean is like kind of annoying. Bro just had the sack, but it's all good. They didn't get Pidgeot. It'd be really good to Iono here. Nice. I'll play that, sure. We need the lads back in the deck. Okay, cool. So we want to. I mean, I have to kill the Charizard. If I. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. If I don't kill Charizard here, it's pretty bad, not gonna lie. I could I could get a counter catch on the bench. Okay, there we go. Yo. One time, bro, get the maximum belt. 
Nope. All right, we can go around the Charizard here. We can knock out the Bidoof, maybe? Kill the Charmander. We can kill the Bidoof. Yeah, we'll kill Bidoof. We'll go around the Charizard. It's fine. Save Irida for next turn. Okay, cool. I feel like Tinglu isn't being respected enough. Tinglu's all right. All right, what do we got the prizes? Water? We need to hit, like, our reverse energy here. See what happens. We will see. I don't know about I don't know if I like the Arvin though, because like Irida Irida's just too good. Irida's so good. It gets you it can get you three basics. Can you go toad out body puff in turn one? Or no, oh, they got the Pidgeot. We can no, we can go. We can go Luxray KO Pidgeot this turn and then Fraligator KO Charizard. That's the plan. I don't know. Arvin does Arvin makes sense in here with the maximum belt, but I still think it's better to play for Irida. Because it just it makes it so easy to get Fraligator. Yo, she's the father of Jordan. Uh I wanna KO the Pidgeot this turn. I don't have the ability to do that, which is a slight issue. Rising my other Bibberol really sucks. I can't dig through my deck as easy. This feels bad. I think we're just going to go for it. If I whiff it, this feels kind of bad. I need to just not whiff the KO here. But I only have one for Alligator. If I kill the Pidgeot, they could whiff the... They don't have a boss. For Alligator can win. Okay. They might not expect the Maximum Belt either. Okay, I need Reverse Energy. I'm not drawing a whole lot of cards here because I only have one Bibro, but we'll see. That's not it. Oh, God. Think of that fall there. Come on. Give me a reversal. Yeah, let's go. All right. All right. We in. We in. We can go Gengar here, too. I mean, I guess. Whatever. Okay, cool. Okay. And if they have a boss, we might lose. But now we just need reversal energy plus maximum belt to win the game. So we'll see. If they burrow off the prizes. will be fantastic. No! Why? Give me my Bibberol, bro! You usually watch on YouTube. Welcome out. Play Town Store? That, yeah, I guess. But, like, the, a lot of the time, though, the Maxim Belt is only good against Charizard. You're not going to use it very much, like, any other time. That's the only issue I have with it. They go Radiant Zard here. No, they had the boss. Come on. Of course you did have a boss. You didn't even have the Pidgeot, bro! That is cringe. Why don't we lose? <sighs> what do you mean by sacked? It just means my opponent just, like, drew the perfect cards they needed without really even, like, doing anything. How much energy? Four reversal, five water. All right, I'll be back, chat. I'm going to run downstairs real quick, put my food away, and then we'll go back to the action. Freaking Charizard, chat. Freaking Charizard. Always has it every time, guaranteed, no matter what. Zard is a silly card. Zard's definitely one of the one of the cards of all time for sure. The Fraligator deck I see, I still think this deck is fine. It's just we're getting we're getting sacked. Luxray plus Max Bell can uh, hit Iron Hands. That is true. I mean, you can also one-shot the hands, though, with for Alligator. You don't need the Maximum Bow for it. Like, I do want to play a Neo Upper Energy in here, but, like, you can't really afford to fit that in the deck. Like, because, like, if you cut the Maximum Bow, you probably just lose to Charizard. 
But the Neo Weapon Energy is a really good card. So I don't know. <laughs> Jerks in TCG Live. Yo, Koopalgasm with a tier one sub. I appreciate that sub there. Thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, pretty solid hand. We got a Buddy Poffin. Can go into Cleffa this turn, hopefully. Or my opponent immediately can seize the game. We're not going to find out what happens. Rip. How many points do you get on uh, win and loss on Master? I think 30 per win. It was another Lugia. And they immediately concede, bro? Okay, sure. Like, okay. If we get to play the game against Lugia, I actually think the Lugia matchup's fine. So we can one-shot them with uh, Fralligator and Luxray. Stretch there. Mew rotated just for Zara to pick up the baton. Now, Zara was always good, though. That's the problem. Do you have an all-time favorite deck? Uh, yeah. Reggie's was cool. I liked uh, Reggie's, yeah. Machamp Takeout. Arc Gyarados VMAX Jolteon was another deck I really enjoyed. Those would probably be all my... Uh, my favorite decks. If I had to guess what they were or say what they were. You know, find it by meta decks, name a better duo. Control players should stop. As a Zard player, I don't think I'm mature because Snorlax is the worst offender. Pretty much everybody in the community either complains about Snorlax or Charizard. No in between. The glitch again? Yeah, it makes another Lugia deck. Oh, no, wait. This is Control. Shoot. Or I thought it, I thought it was the Thumping Snore Snorlax. It's Control. Okay, as long as we don't prize Ghastly, we're fine. Appreciate the fall of their claws. We just don't want to prize Ghastly here. Prizing at Ghastly would be very bad. We need the Ghoulish Ghost. We have Gengar, which is good. No, they're playing the Pidgeot build. That's so annoying. Pidgeot build is an auto loss. We'll concede. Yeah, Pidgeot builds an auto loss because they have the Pidgeot. If we're playing against normal Snorlax, they may not have an answer to the Gengar, right? Let me just win the game. But uh, unfortunately, not this. I'm going to restart the client so this, that glitch goes away. Got Body by United Wings here, locals. I like to go on live forums and make threads about Snorlax. It's your favorite. Dude, every day on either the Pokemon TCG Live subreddit or the forums, there is usually always one person complaining about Snorlax. It's actually kind of hilarious. Every day on the on the subreddit, there's always one post about somebody hating on Snorlax. And then you click on the thread, and there's like at least 90 replies and comments. It's just like, it's so funny. Why is Pidgeot Snorlax not a loss? Because the Pidgeot build usually plays ways to get around the Gengar. If they're playing the normal Snorlax deck with no Pidgeot, they don't really have a way to deal with the Gengar, which we can just infinitely loop for Alligator. But because they have the, but because they have the Pidgeot, they can just like guarantee they can get any card out of the deck every turn. Which like Gengar, they're we're cooked. They just knock out my Gengar with Pidgeot, and we lose. Only one third of Pidgeots. Yeah, but the Pidgeot deck could have, like, Radiant Zard, too. As long as they have a way to take out the, the Gengar, it doesn't matter. Bro went from playing against nothing but Charizard and nothing but Snorlax now. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure we're playing Snorlax again. Okay, this starting hand's not bad, though. At least we didn't start with a liability like Cleffa. Yeah, it's definitely Snorlax. Or maybe not. It's probably Snorlax, though. I played against uh, Adam yesterday. He's a local of mine. Adam Gold is a local of mine. Do we have do we have it in there? Okay, we do have the Gengar. How many candies? Four candies. How many energies? Okay, I got all the waters. Watching Snorlax win is like watching paint dry. Gengar has 130, Pidgeot has 120. That doesn't matter though. They can still just boss it twice. Because you they can go Cape Pidgeot, boss Gengar, and we lose. The Pidgeot build usually has a way to take out Gengar. Like, that, even if it's not going Pidgeot, they usually can just take out the Gengar. It's just not worth it. Yesterday, we the first game we got Gengar out, we played against a deck that had a way to take out Luxray in one hit. Or, no. Yesterday, we played a game where the Snorlax player dropped the Luxray on us. Catch Reverse Energy, Counter Catcher killed our Gengar. Bro, they're adapting, dude. The Snorlax players are adapting. 
they're adapting. See, it's another Pidgeot build. How do we beat that? We don't. I mean, we'll try, I guess. It's not worth it, though. This matchup's, like, unwinnable for this deck. All right. Need to get Krakana. This deck again. It's really cool. We all love this deck. Oh, what the fudge, bro? I had to draw all that. It's not good. It's not good. So we had to get up in the ladder using Snorlax and waiting for people to rage quit. Ironically, Snorlax is a good ladder grinding deck just because people immediately concede when they play against it. Like, you'll get the odd person that sticks it out, but... I don't know. The average player will probably just insta concede if they see Snorlax, usually. Like, I would argue maybe, like, if you play 10 games with Snorlax, two of them. 10 games, maybe, like, half of the games at most, somebody's just going to immediately concede on the spot, in my opinion. I guess if you're lower on the ladder, it's a higher chance of them conceding because you're playing against more, like, casuals or newer players who just don't like Snorlax. Thoughts on Hand Trimmer against Snorlax? I mean, it's probably not bad. I don't know. It's tight. Got rare candy. <sighs> give me Gengar. We got Gengar here, bro? We're chilling. Actually, killing the Charizard is not bad, but give me Gengar, please. Fraligator or Gengar? Damn it. Maximum Belt's kind of useless in this matchup. Need I need Crocana, bro. I'm not gonna frail here. It's actually really annoying. There we go. We got Gengar too, but we'll wait on it. Grab Grab Crocana. Not gonna be able to attack next turn, it's kind of annoying. Good prize? Not really. Ran into a uh, Wigglytuff control earlier. CK, that's a that's a cool idea. I mean, that's probably still toxic and not fun to play against, but the Wigglytuff control deck's cool. Hill Venom, what's up, bro? How we doing? How we doing, Venom? Trimmer's okay, and it's good against Lost Box? Yeah. I mean, Trimmer's all right. But, like, I feel like if you play a one of Trimmer, you have to hold it. But it's probably gonna get eerie anyways. Yeah, this is where things get bad. They got the hero's cape on the Pidgeot. I can't I can't beat that. The Baxon belt does not do enough damage. Yeah, we got the switch gengar in here. We're dripping or drowning. Unfortunately we're drowning because we are we're getting bodied, but the deck's still decent. We're just hitting we're hitting bad matchups, we're getting bad luck. Yo, what up, Jose? Should have benched Bidoof. I don't want to put a Bibberl in play, though. I want to just try to keep my board as limited as possible. I don't know if that's correct or not, but I do want to kind of just keep my options limited. I'm going to put on sound effects. Yeah, I want to put sound effects on. Turn that up, bro. Yo, what a big daddy UK. How we doing? Yo, Damien, what's up? I'm doing good. Coping? We might be coping, yeah. I mean, that's the problem, bro. All these, like, fun rogue decks we're making videos on, they just, like, get absolutely destroyed by Snorlax. Because, like... I'm not going to build a control deck. Yeah, see? Look, I told you, bro. They just attack with Pidgeot, bro. What do you want me to do, bro? They're just going to counter catch your kill my Ghastly, bro. And I'm farmed. Well, if they kill the Ghastly, they're going to two-shot my Fraligator. See, this sucks, bro. This is why these control decks are, like, unwinnable. Like, it doesn't matter what we do, bro. It doesn't matter what we do. We just lose anyways. It's so stupid. What if they Eerie or Ultra Ball? No, we just take the L. Rogue decks suck right now. They're good, but you just don't beat Snorlax. And usually Iron Hands. Mostly Snorlax. Running four vac. Yeah, if only I could fit that and make my deck consistent at the same time. You're getting cooked? The Frogator deck is getting cooked, yes. Play it out. No, we were bricking anyways. They literally just win by attack with I Not again, bro. Stupid freaking ladder, dude. Why am I freaking playing? I don't want to... Can play against this. 
It's actually so annoying getting parried against the same person on the ladder twice. It's actually so cringe. So, so goddamn cringe. Yo, what up, Myers? Yeah, not every deck's gonna beat it. All right, let's just we're done with we're done with the alligator. The deck was good yesterday, but it's like an actually pile today. Rage quit. Well, I'm not. The, we know that we can't beat the Pidgeot. We can't beat the Pidgeot control deck. We know it's unwinnable. We're not gonna bother playing against it. It's a waste of time. We're not gonna play against it. We're gonna play Torterra now and hopefully win games. What's that? A deck that can attack every Pokemon and play? The problem is, most Snorlax decks just play, they, they have ways to attack you. See, the strategy there was to keep our board as limited as possible, but then he just attacks with Pidgeot with a giant cape on, and I'm screwed. Like, you see what I mean? Just, you can't do anything about it. Playing Torterra, hoping to win games. We'll see. Torterra's gonna be worse? We'll see. For Alligator did not do well today. It did good yesterday. The deck, the Fraligator deck was winning yesterday, not so much today. They need to fix that glitch, though, where, like, you, you queue up another game and it's the same person twice. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to play against the, the control player I just scooped to. Like, yeah. Keep putting me against my insta last. Let's go. I played control to regional. I wouldn't even play on a ladder. It's dumb to use on the ladder. It kind of is. It kind of is. I don't know. I mean, people are testing VUIC. I'm not going to say playing control makes you a bad person. It's just, like, I don't know. It's just we can't beat it. There's nothing we can do. We just need to not play against control. Why not just play casual? The problem with casual is, like, casual is usually you just play against worse players. Like, most people you play against on casual are usually, like, newer at the game and they don't have good decks. Like, I'm not even hating. I'm just literally, I'm saying, saying what it is. What it is. Broke out the nuts turn one. Jeez. All right, let's see we top deck. Okay, nice. It's pretty good. Do we have the TM Evo in the deck? All right, so what am I doing here? want to Arvin for... Ultra Ball? Do we have Silcoon? Okay, we need to set up Beauty Fly. Now, my opponent... Uh, they just go freaking boss those. Whatever. Actually, getting Ultra Ball was a mistake. Because I already have Grotto. But actually, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's all gravy, baby. Would have been good to boss Bidoof. I mean, we'll see if they got it like that. We can get Beauty Fly set up. We're chilling. We can beat Arctina. Casuals got you. Imagine playing control on the casual ladder. Okay, that's like the ultimate. That's the ultimate troll move. Play casual beginner. You just need to remove every control card. True that, Pokey. True that. Yeah, casual. Casual is just like full of players who don't really have great decks. Okay, they pass. Nice. Let's go. I did press my other Wurmple, so my Beauty Fly is probably gonna get taken out as soon as they draw an Arceus. But this is a good start. You can pinpoint dive here. Sixty one eighty. Not really a great math fix. We'll see. Giratina can't even one-shot Torterra, which is kind of sick. Yeah, it's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, Giratina can't one-shot Torterra. Honestly, I think we just attack here, right? We just... I mean, assuming we get there. But yeah, I don't mind attacking this turn. If I can find a grass. Could boss Giratina. I definitely am fine with just hitting Narcissus. Yeah. Let's see if I can attack this turn. Oh, man. All right, will we draw a grass energy? Nope. F. It's not good. Actually, I, eh, I could have boss B doof. No point. It's a bit of a whiff. PC Joe is way better. It wasn't PC Joe was less beginner friendly. Yo, push the father bagel. The only thing that PC Joe did right for I'm not playing casual, I'm on the rank ladder. The only reason PC Joe was better for beginners in some way was the theme decks. But building new decks was always hard on TCGO for a newer player because all the new cards were expensive on public trades. And even I, somebody who did a lot of trading on that game, even I can admit that it was kinda like it was kinda toxic in that regards. The deck editor was 10 times better. Yeah, 100%. Deck editor was way better on TCGO. I will always agree with you on that one. 
Yo, Bagel Blue with the tier one stuff for two months. Yo, appreciate that. Can you do Sharpedo? Uh, probably not today. I'll go on a casual play deck I've never played before. I mean, at that point, I guess. But the problem with the, the problem with casual is like there's usually just newer players, right, playing on the casual ladder. So you just don't get you, the games are just not as good because you're just playing against like you're playing against like not starter decks, but you're playing against like obviously like worse decks. Guess is fine. Oh. Uh... I don't want to play the rod. That's my only super rod. I'm just going to beauty fly and pray, I guess. Bro, where's my grass energy at, bro? Not like this. I can... Do I even bother? I don't even want to waste my boss. We can boss B doof. Nah, that's fine. We can, we can one shot Tina now with Torterra, so it's not bad. I mean, they could play Charon's Care. They can't Charon's Care that. Casuals were bad deck Friday decks perform best. Even that. Well, nah, nah. There's the Arceus. There goes my beauty fly. Oh, man. Turo. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. They just reset all of my shame and damage I did. Rip. <sighs> Theme deck was better rewards, better quests. Terminus was awesome. Theme decks was better for beginners in that regard, but if I'm a newer player getting in the TCG... I'm probably trying to look at building a good deck that's cheap. I'm not trying to play a theme deck, you know. It's it, Theme decks teach you how to play the game. But, like, as a newer player nowadays, it feels like you just want to build, like, Charizard or Lugia. You just want to build the best deck in the format or one of the best decks. You know what I mean? Like, to me, that gets people hooked into the game more than the theme deck ladder. If that makes any sense. Especially now they're doing all the, the league battle decks and stuff instead of theme decks. They, they've discontinued theme decks for a reason, right? So... We hashed the Sugimori arc. PCO's ladder wars were also pretty trash. I pref Okay, I'm going to be honest. I do prefer the battle pass on live to the TCGO ladder, obviously, yes. I do prefer the battle pass. The battle pass is a better system. It's better. It's more rewarding than TCGOs for sure. Do you believe Maridon has great matchup into Arceus? Without Flaffy, maybe it's a bit worse now. Before, I think Maridon was okay against Arceus, but not so much now. PCGO looked like a floppy disk game. PCGO is, in my opinion, the superior client. But yes, it did look more dated. Live looks worse aesthetically, but PCGO did look like a very dated client. Both are good and bad, yeah. Live's battle pass is 200% better than PCGO's. Yeah. Like, if I'm comparing positives to negatives with both clients, I will admit, TCG Live does do things, does do certain things better than PCGO did. 100%. PCGO did things better than live, but live did better than like there there's both ups and downs to both of them in my opinion. There is both good and bad. This hand is so grief. Uh, guess I can get rid of a candy and uh, I guess an ball. I wanna try to I need an energy, bro. Should I just boss Giratina? My beauty fly is gonna die, bro. Honestly, bossing Giratina here might be okay. Because I need an energy. I honestly kick. I could have killed their Bibberol too. Actually, it might have been okay. Yeah, there's the energy. Let's go. It paid off. Nice. We have Turo in hand and we have double Whimsicott. Alright, we can chill for a bit. We can just sit here and tank for a bit. Rip Zorobox. Zorobox would have been sick in this format, I agree. Zorobox doesn't be controlled, though. Unless you play Togetic. But now they have Eerie, that doesn't work. They didn't get the license of the game soundtrack. How my opponent's cards face me on live? No, I'm kind of used to it. I'm like, I play live all the time, so I'm just kind of used to any, like, criticism that I had about the game. I don't know. Live has warmed up on me a lot since its release, obviously. Like, the game looks a lot better. I was watching... I was watching old live footage from back when the game first released, and it looked, I was like, dude, this game looks terrible. The cards were so small, it was bad. But the game looks ten times better now, for sure. Still playing the same strats? They always are. Not even double beauty fly is pretty bad, but this is fine. They're gonna hit me with Giratina, we're gonna heal the damage. We're chilling. They fixed a lot of bugs. 
They have. To be fair, a lot of the bugs did last a little too long, but they have. I They definitely have. I agree, Venom. The game is fine, but there is definitely a lot of work to be done. But I agree, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Turtley needs fixing. Been a bit mid-Demon Slayer, but we're maybe in an okay spot right now. No way, they don't kill my BD Fly, right? I mean, if they're not attacking the Torterra, they can't ever one-shot it. I could just sit here and just, like, heal spam it. All right, my opponent does not want my Beauty Fly. How have they not gone after my Beauty Fly yet? Surely kill my Beauty Fly here is the correct play. What studio makes this game? TPCI makes it. Anybody still getting, uh, they can't pick a card bug? Sometimes. I haven't experienced a Colrus bug in a while, thankfully. That was annoying. 3D models of our active mons? Probably not. I feel like, like, I don't know, the game, like, I don't know, if they were to make the TCG, like, the cards, like, pop out of the cards, I don't know. It just, it wouldn't look as realistic as, like, because we're playing, we're playing a card game at the end of the day. We're not really, we're not playing a game where, like, we're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Or, like, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime where, like, you play a card down and the, po the, the, the monster pops out of the card. If they did that on TCG Live, I, I don't know, it just wouldn't look realistic. I don't know if they need to do that, per se. The Maxim Belton game. My secondary channel, LDF Pokemon TCG. You can check my community tab if you want to find it. I'm excited for TCG Pockets competitive scene. I don't think it will have a competitive scene. TCG, honestly, Pockets probably not going to be... I'm going to be honest, I'm not interested in the game, but I also don't know if the game is going to have much legs considering it looks better than live, but, like, it's not the real trading card game. It's kind. Of, it's not misleading, but, like... If somebody wants to get into the TCG, they're not going to play Pocket. They're probably going to want to play Live instead. Live is actually, since Live's release, I have noticed an influx of newer players. Like, I have noticed it's a casual game, yes. But even then, like, if, you're, if you want to play the TCG, like, I feel like just play Pokemon TCGO. You know what I mean? I have noticed an influx of players since, uh, since, obviously, but still. I mean, they boss my grotto. It's a little annoying, but let's say it's fine. Hey, it's chill. Just punch. We're literally just going to be playing. We're just going to be sitting here and just healing this Torterra for like five turns in a row. That's basically the strategy. I probably could have grottled for Whimsicott, actually, if they boss my grotto. But we have Turo. Like, I don't We're We're, we're fine. It's not a big deal. Like, I, yeah, it's fine. We have Iona one more down even. Yeah, it's fine. You hold Maunder thing with a follow. If my opponent has no way to one-shot the Torterra, we can just chill here and just kind of punch and heal, punch and heal. And if they don't play multiple, like, Turos, we're probably chilling. Because eventually we'll just wear them down and take our six prizes. Why did they switch online to live? Different studios? It is different studios. Live is made by TBCI. PCGO is made by Direwolf. Lost City. It's fine. I think I do Turo here. Yeah, I think we go for the Turo. I'm not sure how many boss are playing, though. They got probably three boss. Mm, I gotta imagine it's three boss. Yeah, they gotta run out of stuff eventually. Why did PC Joe shut down? Because they wanted Live to be the premier online client. realistically, they should have just done an overhaul of PDCGO, obviously, right? That would have been, like, best case scenario. Just overhaul PDCGO. Um, instead of creating an, a new online client, which really divided the community, but it, here we are. I'm just gonna whimsicott, I think. Yeah, I'll just heal. Heal and punch. Um, There's Morty. Punch. 
The trade system was pretty inaccessible. That was the other issue, yes. The trade system. The trade system. See, like, when, when a newer player tried to get into, like, the new set, it was harder because of the uh, the trade system. Because every all the new decks were, like, really, really expensive. Which was, like, bad for the economy, obviously, on the game. PCG and Live were active at the same time? Yeah. At one point, it was. PCG Live existed for, like, over a year, almost. Yeah, PC Joe existed for a very long time at one point. They're going to go Arc V. Yo, what if they don't find their V Star here? Well, they actually, they have no V Star. What do they play four V Stars? Are they actually playing four V Stars here? If they don't. Aw, oh, not a boss. Okay, that should be their last boss, though. That better be their last boss. It's fine. We can just Turo the Whimsicott. It's basically the same thing as Turo and Torterra. It's Turo. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I think my other Grottle's prized. Yeah, my other Grottle's prized, right? Oh, no, it's in the discard. I have no Grottle left. I lied. Huh. Maybe I should have super out a Grottle back. Oops. It's still Candy Torterra. They actually play four V-Stars. Why, bro? What? Oh, this is mega cringe. Bro actually plays four V stars. That is ridiculous. I do have an idea. I have an idea. I could actually prevent them from two shotting me. So I go boss kill. So I go boss knockout Giratina here. Right? We kill the Giratina. They hit me for 180. We heal. Oh, they could max on belt. Never mind, I lied. We can't do that then. Never mind. Does not work. Hmm. That doesn't work, I lied. Whimsicott would have loved Net. Net would have been really good in this deck, yeah. Livestream Charizard? Probably not, no. LDF, what did Lost Box lose so bad? All it did really, all it lost was like VIP and escape rope. Lost box gaining prime catcher and rescue board is a pretty big buff to the deck. But it all, lost box doesn't have to deal with eerie, which is a big issue for the deck. Eerie is really bad for lost box. Torterra, yeah. This is a long game, by the way. This is a very long game. How, what, bro, what turn is it even? I don't even know. What turn is it? I think next turn we're going to go Iono. Turn eight. Oh, never mind. This is not as long as I thought. Trimmer. Trimmer's not that popular, but Eerie is popular. A lot of decks are playing it. Yeah, turn eight. Yeah. But I thought it was like turn 12 or something, not going to lie. All right. It's all good. They're going to punch. We're going to heal. Then we're going to knock out. Then we're going to Iono. And we're going to figure it out. I need to get another Torterra set up, actually. They should be able to boss. So theoretically, yeah, they could be. They should be able to boss. So we'll see. Dango's running wild. Dango's pretty sick. Yeah. No, they actually play four boss. What? Dude, this deck plays four boss, four V-Star. What the fudge, bro? Get the... Oh, my God. That's actually ridiculous. This actually is four boss in here. Are you serious right now? Oh, my God. Bro actually plays four boss. I, I'm done, bro. What the heck? There's li this guy actually played four boss. Four V-Star, four boss. Literally the worst thing that could have happened in this scenario. That's actually crazy. I mean, now we're just going to get judged. <sighs> oh, my God. It's ridiculous. That's crazy. I might as well boss then. Just to burn this. Oh, I can't even knock out... Oh, my damage is reduced. I didn't even realize that. Oh, crap. 
Okay, we could still get Wurmple off the prices. Do a live stream of Charizard? No thanks. I am not doing no Charizard live stream, unfortunately, there, Jedi. Could be worse. Could be playing against a Snorlax. True. I mean, it's unlucky, bro. Four boss, four... Like, I didn't know if they were playing four boss or not. I was wondering if they were playing four. That's so bad. Appreciate the Father Eve. I mean, if they have another... If they have, like, another Turo, we just lose, probably. It's really bad. They actually had four boss. Like, what? It's unfortunate. Am I going to Hawaii? Maybe. I might be trying to go to the Hawaii, yeah. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, I might be able to one-shot this Iron Leaves. If they don't vacuum. I go to Sorterra, it's mid. Very mid. One of the worst matchups. I think this matchup is fine. Because as long as we can sit there and heal, like, we're probably going to out-trade them. But they had four boss. They literally just went around the Torterra the entire game, and I can't do anything about it. Okay, that's annoying. Okay. We got Counter Catcher, I guess. That doesn't matter. We got, uh, Actually, it's a pretty good hand. Although, not having Beauty Fly really sucks, though. Four boss, four pal, and a pal pad. Wait, do they actually play pal pad? Nah, okay. I was like, no shot. Are they out of switch, though? Can I ever deck them out? They're out of... They haven't played a switch. Eh, I could trap Bibberol, but they have Scovit. It's probably not going to work. Okay. Arvin, Hope and Brother Road. It didn't matter what I grab with this. Not really. We got the Whimsicott heal. That's still not enough. Yeah, the fact they had four boss just kind of killed us. Also, prizing the other beauty fly really hurt too. And KO arc again. That's not a knockout. What am I doing? No, that's not a KO. I thought we had the... Oh, my God, dude. All right, well, the game's over now. I didn't have enough Pokemon in the deck to even KO that Verizian, though, which kind of sucks. Or Iron Leaves. I We probably lost that game anyways, let's be real. But, yeah. That was so sad. That was crazy, bro. Torterra, bro. Torterra... So mid, bro. It's so mid. Yeah, I don't think... So far, what we've seen with Ogre Pond, it looks like it's going to be just kind of... It's going to be mid, yes. Yeah, Ogre Pond looks mid so far. It might be good, but it's definitely mid. You can do Scizor? I'm down. Maybe we can do Scizor after Torterra. If we can actually get Torterra to work. Walking Wake? Maybe we can do Walking Wake today, too, yeah. Turtwit, yeah, if we could play Buddy Poffin, this deck would definitely be a lot better. I low-key think I'd still go first this deck, because, like, we're too far behind going second, I feel like. I know, Torterra's so mid, bro. Torterra never gets any love. I feel like we always get good Infernape and good Empoleon cards. Throw back to Venusaur X, they made so mid. They always make the grass, yeah, they always make the grass starters extremely mid, like Meganium, Torterra, Venusaur. Superior. Uh, Decidueye's been the only good grass starter. I guess Sceptile's been alright. Oh, God. We're gonna get donked. Dude, we're gonna get... We can't catch a break with this deck, bro. <laughs> we're gonna get donked. Uh, oh, my God. We're gonna get donked, dude. Oh, my God. That's jokes. We literally cannot catch a break with this deck. Oh, my God. That's crazy, dude. That's effing crazy, bro. All right, chat. We're gonna. Oh my God, Torterra sucks, bro. This card sucks. Torterra is so bad, bro. Dude, we're gonna freaking fall out of Master Ball tier. This is ridiculous. Zard really gets to donk. It's so sad, bro. Dude, I don't know if I can... Bro, I, I might just not even do a video on Torterra, dude. I, Bro, my brain is actually... I'm going to have an aneurysm playing this deck. You can't fall out of a tier? No, I know, but we're, we're, already, we're, gonna, we're already in Deoxys tier, bro. Despite all the mad losses, you're still enjoying the stream. Glad you're enjoying it. I'm hoping that I can still 
keep you guys entertained while we get absolutely just bodied. One shot Charmander, but it literally is. The new Vigavo looks promising, maybe. Let's, what are these starting hands, bro? Ah, uh, maybe, maybe we gotta, we might have to go back to the drawing board with Torterra. Maybe that's what it is. A Bombardier, honest. Well, then, no, I don't want to give him a two prizer though. Okay, this is fine. Uh, our start's not terrible actually. So, oh, I'd say it's still a bad hand, but like something, I guess. We just need to get a better hand. This is a little bit better though. This is a little bit more clean. I mean, if we draw into a rare candy or Arvin, we have Beauty Fly, so that's not too bad. One price for Terra is just better? Maybe, maybe. Hero Cape? I don't think Hero Cape does anything for this deck. Like, Hero Cape in that Arc Tina matchup would have done nothing anyways, so. We'll see. Is it Arc Tina again? Actually, a Fighting Energy. They're playing Aerodactyl. So, we'll see. Okay, give me a top deck. We can at least go Grottle. Yo, we got it. Okay. Do we have Team Evo? Yo, we even got Team Evo in the deck? Honestly, we don't really need that, but... Alright, this is this is a start. It's actually not bad. We're chilling. Cool. Um, They might be playing Aerodactyl, but I doubt they're playing an Aerodactyl Arc deck. It's probably like a 1-1 line. Actually, there was a list from an online tournament, so that's probably what that is. I'm just going to go back into Shaman. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Grab the beautiful beauty fly. And then we can wear candy. It's our last switch. I don't know how relevant that'll be, but we'll see. All right. Help me out. Okay. Another Wurmple. And then, uh, we'll just do Shaman. Yeah, not being able to use Buddy Poffin is obviously this deck's biggest Achilles heel. It'd be so good to just go Buddy Poffin, Team Evo, Double Grottle in a play. That'd be sick. It would it'd make this deck 10 times better, for sure. Matang? Matang Dialga was good. It was one of my uh, favorite decks so far we've played since the new set. Shaman V-Star, it needs two energy. You need a Gardenia to it. You know what I mean? All right, are they going to get Arc? They got the Arc. They got the Arc. All right, well, Beauty Fly is dead. It's fine. We can get another Beauty Fly up. Honestly, we're honestly not in a bad spot right now. I'll be honest with you. Our hand is pretty good, too, for next turn if we don't get judged. Well, even they judge, I have Beauty Fly. How's Incineroar? Incineroar was good, too. Trying to figure out the Brickage. I've gotten some requests to maybe try uh, Greninja in that deck. Uh, you can play Gift Energy, maybe, if you can fit that. That's just the downside of the Future Box deck. It just bricks. Are they killing? If they KO Grottle, we go over Kenny Torterra. If they KO Beauty Fly, we get another Beauty Fly back out. That's fine. Metang, a Melmetal? I like the idea of Melmetal with Baton. I did see that. Um, vacuum away Vacuum? Sure. Why no attach? There's no reason to attach, because we, we only need one energy to attack anyways. It doesn't really matter. Um, Meowskarada, best grass deck? Possibly. I haven't played it yet in the new format, but yo, maybe, maybe. Alright. This actually isn't terrible. So I know my other BD Fly is in the deck. If I prize my other BD Fly, we might be down bad, but thankfully it's not prized. So. Okay. It's Arvin. Check my prizes again real quick. Okay, be fine. Okay, cool. I have way too much energy in my hand, though, which is really annoying. Okay. Now right, we're chilling. We're probably... We can start swinging with Torterra now. Which is pretty L poggers. Actually, uh, it might have been better... No, I think it was correct to Grottle first. I'm going to save this other Grottle, because I could draw Torterra, and then I get another basic... Hit a bit harder. Yeah. Cool beans. I mean, I don't really want to lose my beauty fly, but we'll see. Because they could have a... F 
only have one Torterra. Do I have Super Rod? Okay, good. I'm hoping they don't play four boss. If they have any more bosses, could get ugly. If I get bossed again, it's pretty bad. What are the odds they actually draw their third boss? Because I've already played two. They don't have Starbirth anymore. I must say they don't got it like that. Decidueye Meowskarada? Only because they get terrible coin flips. Almost lost to it. Bramble Gas Fortress. Yeah, you can, if they get... Bro, they draw the nuts, bro. Or they get the nuts with the coin flips. For a boss. Wait. Actually, I can see their list. This this is the list, I think, from the recent online tourney. I saw an Aerodactyl Arc deck. Hold on. I actually might be able to see their list. If they're playing the one from one of the recent tournaments, I can take a little peek at it real quick. They play three boss, one Sharon's Care. Or not. They add a Turo. Okay, that should be their Charon's Care then, actually, so that's fine. Yeah, it had 450 HP. That's actually a joke. List Snipe. Yeah, I can see their list. I can see it. We'll see. Meow Scarado with Decidueye is interesting. Okay. Cheating? No, it's not cheating. It's fair game. It's fair game. Is there any church wigs under 70 HP? There is unfortunately no church wigs in standard with 70 under 70 HP. Hmm. We're kind of on borrow time though, because my beauty fly is probably gonna get bossed whenever they find their third boss, which is a little scary. Yo, think of that follow there, sleeves McFly. Really sucks we don't have another Torterra. I think, honestly, this is winnable. The counter catcher. I'm just going to swing, I guess. I want to save Arvin for Super Rod in case they knock out Torterra and I don't take a prize by then. Miriam? Miriam in here. I Honestly, I don't hate it because you do need Pokemon in play. It actually might not be bad. Yo, what up, Professor Pierce? I gotta find this Turo, actually. Maybe I should have went Morty. Because I gotta find Turo still. If they heal the Arceus here, this is kind of annoying. Well, if they heal it, they have to go Tina. It's probably... I don't know. We'll see. Am I going to Indy? Yeah, I'm gonna try to go to Indy, yeah. I registered for it, so I should be going if everything works out. Vileplume for Energy Excel? Not Vile... You don't need Vileplume in here. This deck doesn't need Energy Acceleration. We learned that yesterday after I thought Torterra X needed two energy to attack. Let's see what they got. If they find their boss, it's kind of annoying. I can Arvin for Rod. They're retreating. Ooh, ballsy. We can actually counter catch or kill the Arceus here. If they don't judge me. Go Whimsicott, KO Arceus. Seems good. No, the judge. Okay, we can still redraw the counter catcher. It's not that hard. Or a boss. It's okay, I guess. Honestly, hitting the Giratina is fine. Oh, they scoop! We got another dub with Torterra, bro. Say it ain't so. You appreciate the follow there, easy. All right, there we go. Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to make Torterra work again, indeed. Grass type is fully cope. Okay, let me, bro. There's got to be other grass Pokemon we could play in here. What other grass types are even good? Like, nothing else? Like, is there anything that makes the deck more consistent? I feel like there isn't. I don't want to play Skull Villain, right? Nah, that's bad. Torterra better than Fralligator? Maybe. Only Maple. Raging Bolt, it's been uh, Super Phone Jerry's out. Wait, what? What do you, what do you mean by that, Slim Brady? Cricketune? Eh, I don't know about Cricketune. We tried Lilligan yesterday. We didn't like it. Lilligan wasn't very good. We tried it yesterday. It wasn't very good. Espathra? Yo, we could play Espathra. We'd have to play Psychic Energy, though. Wait, there's no Grass Flittle, though, I'm pretty sure. No, there's no Grass Flittle. LA Regional sign-up? Is it? Well, actually, I do need to sign up for that. I do plan on going to that, actually. 
Yeah, Scyther, okay, Scyther into Cleaver might be all right, because it does give us more attackers, but we'd have to play, like, reverse energy, right? So it doesn't really work. What, wait, what time Eastern Standard Time is LA at, Dragon? What time is it? Low kicks? No, low kicks sucks. It's kind of like we need, like, one prize. There's, like, I guess Fortress. Fortress is bad. I'm not playing that. Radiant Serena? Would Radiant Serena be worth it in here? For the heal. Shaman. The problem, if we play Shaman V, we have to play Gardenia, which, like, isn't very good, in my opinion. Yo, Solar Mishy with the tier one stuff for five months. Appreciate that. Yeah, I didn't need XP share, but I don't know if we can fit all that, though. Yeah, what's LA's? Yo, what up, Dre? What's LA's uh, oh, 7 p.m. PST? What time in Eastern Standard is that? 10 p.m. Eastern Standard time, I think. I think of the fall there. Appreciate it. No, I don't think the Vile Plume line is worth it. I think I do like the Beauty Fly. The Beauty Fly has been very good. Yeah, 10 p.m. Okay, sick, sick. The Beauty Fly has been very good. Decidueye EX, maybe. Nah, 1-1 one, one Decidueye seems kind of bait. Like, I do think the best way to play Torterra is with Whimsicott. It's just naturally a good engine, right? Like, the combo, the, the synergy is there. Baby Torterra? We could have, I mean, we were playing Baby Torterra. The problem is it needs two energy to attack. So it's like, we'd have to play Reversals. Shaman V? No, if we play Shaman V, we have to play Gardenia. And I don't want to play Gardenia. Gardenia, six. Dust Ox? Two energy. Bro, there's like no good grass Pokemon. Grass Pokemon actually suck. It's crazy. Orbital VMAX would have been nice in here for the extra damage. That's the other thing I don't like about Torterra. It only does 180 damage. Why does it gotta be why does it gotta do soulless damage? Iron leaves? But we're playing iron leaves. How are we getting grass? How are we putting energy in play? We, tr we tried the Toad Scrolls. Kind of was useless. They didn't do much. Max Cape? I mean, we could. Maybe we cut the Maxim Bell and just play the Cape. We just YOLO it. You have to think of that follow there, Kench. Thank you. We play the Cape and just YOLO it. We can try it. One Torterra, two Baby Torts. I mean, we could. You know why? You know why we're losing, chat? We don't have the fuller Torterra. A Cullis attacker? We can't. Because we need grass. The deck has to be just grass Pokemon. That's the problem. I mean, we can try to put the one prizer guy back in, but we'd have to, like, play reversals. Feels so bad. Yo, appreciate that, Kenish. Glad you've been enjoying the content. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that follow there, too. Now, nah, we don't like the Lillian. We tried it already, Electabuzz. It's not very good. You appreciate the follow there. Thank you. I mean, EXP share would be okay, I guess. Ogre Pond, if only that was out. Bramble Gas, we could build that after. I think after this, we might try Scizor. I mean, I'm... I feel like the 60 is as good as we can make it, in all honesty. One Gengar or an Empoleon? Eh, I don't think it's needed. Because, like, this can be, like, your... This could be, like, a late-game attacker type thing, right? Appreciate the father, Christian. But if... We, the problem is we play the Torterra. We have to play Reversal Energy, which feels so bad. I don't want to put Reversal Energy in here. That kind of sucks. I kind of want to play Double Super Rod, too. There's only so many things we can put in the deck, though, which is the annoying thing. It won't be in... Yeah, that is true, but... Still. I mean, the most... Most you need is, like, probably the 250 damage, I feel like. A Rizu? Could play a Rizu over Morty. Radiant Venusaur? Honestly, yo, maybe we do try Radiant Venusaur. Maybe we can play, just for just for the extra little bit of draw. Maybe Radiant Venusaur is worth it, because then we have extra draw. Right, let's try, let's run another game with the deck and see if it works. 
Leafeon V-Star? If Leafeon V existed, I'd say sure. Yeah, it's a one of Torterra. I guess maybe playing Torterra by itself just isn't enough. I don't know. 20 month Pokemon? I mean, we have to play a lot of Pokemon though, right? Brick City? Maybe. An Arbok deck? I'd, ra I'd rather wait to play Arbok EX when the new Unfair Stamp comes out. Play Switch? We played two Switch already. I thought about, like, a Decidueye EX in the deck. Technically, that can work. Promo Leafeon V? Yeah, but the Promo Leafeon V sucks. I mean, if we want to play the Leafeon V-Star, we could, but we need Gardenia in order to make that work. This is definitely a hand. Ah, uh, Lost Box. No. Hidden Threads Ariados, I imagine. Now we need to set up ASAP. We need to set up ASAP. I guess we put the cape on the Torterra after after they've done their thing. Honestly, we have a pretty good hand. I don't even really... We have Beauty Fly. I guess I still kind of want to use Radiant Venusaur here. I could just aggressively push with Torterra next turn. I kind of regret playing this Ultra Ball now. I'm going to attack with Torterra. I shouldn't have played the Ultra Ball. Uh, shouldn't have played Ultra Ball. I'm regretting that now. Just wanted to thin, but I shouldn't have played that. But now I don't have the Beauty Fly. Wait, why did I do... Okay, that was a throw. Why did I... Well, if I get Grottle, it's fine. No, I got punished. Yeah, why did I... I shouldn't have played the Ultra Ball, bro. I'm an idiot. Yeah, glad you make it out. Yes, yeah, MPM. Plan on running some games with Ancient Box? Maybe, maybe. Looking bricky? I mean, if we could play more draw, I'd love to play it. I don't know, maybe, maybe we just don't play Beauty Fly and just go all in on the Whimsicott and just play, like, Researchers. Maybe that's... Maybe that's just better. Fortress? We don't need Fortress in here, though, because all our attacks are just one energy, right? I guess, like, yeah, I don't know. Like, we could play, we could play the Fortress, but it's not needed. Because everything, everything can attack for one energy. That's what makes this nice. All right, they're playing Tina. They just eerie me. That's fantastic. Eerie and gear and lost Tina. I've seen it all. How do they fit that, bro? What, dude? That's actually so cringe. Freaking eerie and gear at Tina. I guess it's fine that I ultra balled now. Look at that. Never punished. That's ridiculous. Damn, bro, the eerie. We might get Greninja here, which is also pretty bad. That's crazy. My opponent did just lost zone to Mirage Gate, which is kind of crazy. Okay, there we go. That's pretty good. All right, there we go. There we go. As long as we don't lose our Wurmple here, this is not too bad. Eerie and Giratina. Insane. Punished. Actually, to be fair, now I'm regretting not doing that because they, they were going to Eerie the candies anyway. So it's good to know that my, my candies were, were gone anyways. But yeah, Eerie and Giratina is wild. Bro found it on their first turn, too. That's crazy. Throwing Ultra Ball away feels less bad. Yeah. Yeah, the stream will be up on YouTube after. All the stream VODs are. Yo, appreciate the follow there, Water. All the stream VODs are on my YouTube channel after. All of them. Even the one I did yesterday, the one I did Monday. They're all up on YouTube to watch. They lost some gates to get Eerie. They didn't get rid of two gates, which makes me feel a little bit better. So this matchup should be fine. They always get to KO a, Snor or a Torterra, though, with Star Requiem, which we have to accept. We just need to not get clapped by Greninja here. I need one turn to set up. If I can set up, like, literally next turn, I need one turn where my opponent doesn't just destroy my bench. And I'm probably chilling. Eerie is a very dumb card, I agree. I'm... 
probably later next week, I'm going to do a video on the second channel where I talk about, we'll, we'll, we'll see how bad it gets, but I'm probably going to have to do a video on the second channel talking about the design flaws of Eerie. It's one of those cards where I can definitely see myself doing like a discussion video talking about Eerie because I feel like a lot of players are going to be complaining about it. I didn't feel the same. Oh my God. Wait, you mean your life doesn't feel the same or your way? Wait, what are you talking about there, Jay? Yeah, we're trying out Torterra fishing. Eerie is broken. Eerie is a very good card for sure. Definitely a card that Pokemon printed that could be bad for the game. All right. Venusaur is a tank, bro. All right. Let's see what our top deck is. Grottle. I'm kind of banking on my... Yo, Bruce with the Prime sub. Appreciate that. Thank you. Do we have our other rare candy in the deck? Please tell me I have my thank heavens. I was like, if I don't have another rare candy, we're cooked. It's over. Actually, I don't want that just yet. We need to save the hero's cape. Probably could have got another Wurmple there. I don't really need Connie right now. Sableye is kind of an issue for this deck, too, because we don't play um, Mana Fee. We don't play Jirachi, sorry. Okay, I could get Switch Venusaur here. Or Torterra, sorry. Could get Switch Torterra. Wait, I already evolved. Oh, shoot. Oops. Misplay. Never mind. I already evolved. Okay, we didn't get it anyways. We got it next turn. Okay, this is a pretty good hand. All right, we're chilling. We have Counter Catcher for next turn. We can Counter Catcher hit a Giratina here with Torterra. He's behind in the stream. It's all good, Dragon. You can catch up on them after if you want. Your builds didn't usually play Beauty Fly. Yeah, maybe we just build this deck without a draw engine. Because, like, we can't really play Bibberol, right? Oh, God. They're get they're at Sableye now. <laughs> this is bad, dude. Not the Sableye. Thankfully, they can't kill Beauty Fly in one hit with Lost Mine. Probably shouldn't have put the Cottony. Iono! They play that, too? They play Eerie and Iono in their Tina deck? How do you fit all that? Whatever. Oh, my gosh. Cringe. Yeah, we got to switch, though. It's all Gucci. I wanted that counter catcher, though, so I can hit the Giratina. Rip VIP. VIP would have been very good in here. Okay, they're not going to Sableye. Nice. So I guess they couldn't. All right, we're fine. This is fine. This is fine. Hmm. Not having a way to get multiple Torteras out here kind of sucks. I can't really bench anything. I guess I can bench Shaman. I was going to say, I can't really bench anything. If I bench another, like, Wurmple or Cottony, it just gets Sableye for two prizes. Because they can KO two. So I have to get a Shaman or something. I just need something in play that can sponge a hit. I don't even want to attach an energy. Because if I have to play the... If I have to play the the thing there, I have to play the, the Whimsicott, it gets fined. Yo, what up, Luke? How we doing? I got Countercatcher. I was thinking to count. I think we want a Countercatcher, right? K we could just KO the Sableye, in all honesty. But we got to get through these Giratinas. So I'm just going to Countercatcher Giratina. They're most likely going to KO Giratina here, or KO Torterra if they got a Chloris off the Iono. Yeah, they're at 8. They keep bringing back EXs. They can't bring back Swoop Teleporter. <laughs> Swoop Teleporter, bro, imagine. Yo, Boomer, what's up? How we doing? We are trying out some Torterra right now. Again, we're trying to make this deck work. If you've been enjoying the stream, by the way, on YouTube, make sure to leave a like on the stream. It'd be greatly appreciated if you've been enjoying it. They just hit me here. We can just go Whimsicott Heal. If they... They have to Im they're going to start Requiem, but that's fine. Yo, pushing the sky with a tier 1 sub. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for that tier 1 sub. Opening your Temporal Forces case, your first box is amazing. One crown and one prime catcher. Yo, let's go. It's good pulls, good pulls for sure. Hmm. Let's see what they do. If they just lost impact me, we'll just... No, there's no way they're going to lost impact. They're, they could go into Sableye this turn. That might be what they're doing. They go Sableye, we can boss KO the Giratina. 
No, they're definitely doing Star Requiem. They're definitely doing the Star Requiem. Cricketune would be good in this matchup, but like the feel like if you go Cricketune, they'll KO the Cricket. They'll set up damage, KO Cricketune, and then take a bunch of prize at once. We are playing against Tina. Whimsicott is great. It's good, but not when my opponent's got a Sableye in play and just can immediately KO me. It feels kind of bad. Okay, now we can play the Hero Cape, right? Because my opponent's used Star Requiem. I have no candies left, which is not good. I can't get another Torterra up anytime soon, which is a little problematic. Do I just put that? I don't really need the Hero's Cape on the Torterra. Do I? Not really. Was it better to put this, like, on the Cottony, maybe? So it doesn't get KO'd by Sableye? Low-key, I think that actually isn't terrible. We're not going to win this game if we can't use Whimsicott. I kind of, yeah, I kind of like that, actually. Yeah, sure. Nice. Just Rod Grottle back, I guess. All right. Should have maybe got another Church Wing instead of Codney. I kind of like the heroes. As long as they're not playing two lost vacuums. Okay, what's our prizes? Iono's good. As long as they're not playing two lost vacuums here. If this hero's cape sticks, then we can guarantee a Whimsicott and then heal the Torterra. Okay, this isn't bad. This isn't too bad. They just, they literally can't kill a Torterra in one hit. That's kind of what we're trying to play into here. Yeah, cape on Cotton makes the most sense. Hero's cape on Cricketune would be kind of sick. Hero's cape plus Cricketune would be sick in general, but... The problem with Cricketune is your opponent can just play around it, right? I don't like that. All right, we can Iono next turn, which is going to be the goal. Yes, I, I'm fine with Lost Box. I know a lot of people don't like playing against it. I'm totally fine with this deck. I right, see what their play is. They could, uh, they can Sableye 60-60, which is kind of annoying. They knock out Cottony. I don't know, we'll see. Mirage Gate, that's their last Mirage Gate. They are out of Mirage Gate now. Meowskarada, Serena, Pidgeot. You have a single non-grass type in the field. Would still two-shot everything? I know. All right, there's still the energy in the deck. Jeez. Four, eight, nine, eleven energy. Walking Wakey X. We do have that build. Maybe we'll play it after. I think after this, we can try Scizor X. I kind of want to play Scizor. Yeah, it was talks when Ned was around. That's a good point. No, they played two vacuums. Oh my god, of course. The one Tina deck we have to play against that has two vacuums. Go figure. That's actually stupid. That's I'm cheesed now. I'm cheesed. Bro. That's ridiculous, dude. Dude, most of them play one vacuum. Why does this have to happen to me? Well, looks like they're actually not killing the Connie, though. That's actually not too bad. All right, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. I know. It's not great. We can Iona them to two. I mean, I have... Do I have to Iono here? Could always... I can Arvin. Arvin for Ultra Ball. Grab Grottle, Whimsicott, Heal. If I whiff, we just lose. I think I have to guarantee the, the heal here. I have to, like, guarantee this. I 
That sucks. They should just kill the two Connies, but whatever. We'll take it. Iron Man Prey might have been the play, but I need to heal, so. The double vacuum sucks, though, for sure. That You just hate to see it. Okay. It kind of worked out, because they were going to KO a Cottony anyways, so it, like, it didn't really matter, but it's like, it's kind of kind of a meme. Still have Turo. It's not going to be enough. I think we probably lose. Well, we'll see. They still have Gus left, though. They haven't played a boss yet. How's my opponent fitting all these cards in their deck? Double vacuum, eerie, and nah, no shot, bro. This might come down to a boss, to be honest. They haven't even played a gusting card yet. That's stupid, dude. We're farmed for sure. One Iron Leaves? You could, but then you have to play Grass Energy. You could try Raichu V instead. Raichu V might just be better. They have not used the A spec. Nah, I don't think so. Nope. Torteri X might just be trash, yes. This this Whimsicott Torterra deck doesn't seem to be... Does not seem to be working. They still have energy too for the attack somehow, dude. What the fudge? I'm going to go Iono switch attack with another Torterra and hope they don't have a Gust or another... Oh, they have Sableye. Okay, we just probably lose. This is ridiculous, dude. Yeah, they had Roxanne too. That's not great. We got Iono still. Okay, this is not bad. We still got Iono. No Rapska? I mean, we could play Rapska, but we just can't fit everything in the deck, bro. Control Tina? Yeah. Yo, appreciate it. What's up, Frank? What's up? Appreciate it. Stop by. What's up? We can run them out of resources. It is still winnable. Very winnable. We got to get Switch, Torterra, Iono, and pray they don't have a Gust. They haven't played, like, Prime Catcher yet, though. I not. I don't really like my odds, but this is all I can do. I don't have Torterra, Tur Turo, right? No. My Turo's gone. I used it early on. That's right. I forgot I discarded that earlier. Dang it. We could play, honestly, maybe we just play more Turos. Maybe that's the way to go. All right, it's down to this. I mean, they might just win with Sableye. They might not even need a Gust. They can just literally Sableye for game. Like, we're actually... It's so bad. It's so, so bad. I mean, we probably lose... If we... Okay, if my opponent didn't have... If we had two prizes left, I think we could have won the game if they whiff here. If they whiff win this turn, we could have won the game, yeah. I own another Prime Catcher, yeah. All right, chat. I think we're going to swap off Torterra. I... Dude, it just ain't working, bro. Torterra... They, we won one game against Arctina... But we just, it's just not working out, Chad. It's not working out. I like the idea, but bro, it's like Sableye and Veloc Vacuum and I don't know, dude. A Torterra EX just might not be good. We can build Scizor now. I'm down to, down to build Scizor. I'm down to build Scizor. Can play the entire line, bro. We got Cleaver. Play deck with Brandon as your main supporter. I don't know about that. I guess we can pro. Yeah, we probably don't need that many scissors. I think two scissor X should be fine. All right, we're just going to kind of autopilot this. We're just going to kind of build the deck like we built the... Uh, we're just going to build it like we built the Dialga deck, basically. What's the poison supporter that nobody uses? Atticus? You need eight Scyther? Why do we need eight Scythers? I think Scissor will probably be better than... Uh, Probably be better than Torterra, that's for sure. I think this will probably be better than Torterra, if I'm being honest with you. We'll see how it goes. Uh, switch. I don't know if we need... Actually, yeah, I like Countercatcher. Honestly, yo, it, do we just play Maxim Belt? I feel like Maxim Belt's probably the optimal A-spec, right? 
Because Scizor can one shot. No, we don't play Maximum Belt. Do Prime Catcher, right? Yeah. Maximum Belt might not be bad with Scizor, though, like the one price Scizor. Rue Bonnet with Poison Stadium hit 270. That could be interesting. I don't know if we can fit all that, though, in here, unfortunately, Evan, because, like, we already have to play the Matang to keep up with the consistent attack. Uh, it could be all right, but, yeah, I don't know if it would work, unfortunately. All right, we got Buddy Poffin. Wait, 7 HP, right? Okay, good. <laughs> good thing they gave the, the good Scyther 7 HP. That kind of works out. Honestly, we could play one of these. People were talking about that in my last stream, and I'm kind of like, yeah, Cypher Maniac might be all right. Play Master Ball in the deck as EA spec. That'd be crazy, bro. Do you want to play... Uh, I want to play that Metal Center card. Yeah, Full Metal Lab. I don't know what other supporters to research, maybe. We're not playing Arvin in the deck with Evo, which is kind of an issue. Yeah, I think Cypher Maniac could be cute because it guarantees you an attack. Adamant, we don't play enough energy, I don't think. You'll push the Father Rocks. Yeah, that's true, Evan. Well, I mean, we have Choice Bell, but that's only 270. Could play Turo. Yeah, actually, I like the idea of a Turo. That's true. Turo seems decent. I like Turo. Turo's actually been good with Matang. Even in the Dialga deck. Yeah, yeah, I like Turo. Rigid Band. Rigid Band could be alright as a one of. True. Do we ever play... Do we ever play Choice Belt? Now Thornton's pretty bad. Defiance Fest? It does give you more tank, I guess. But with the Defiance fans, I don't know. Would it be really that great, though? The single price is or? No, I don't think it's worth it. Oh, the wait. Single price Scyther, you mean? What does that even do? This one? I don't think that's needed. Scyther, this one, right? Or this one? This one doesn't do enough. It's only 60. It's only 120. Heroes Cape in your Lugia deck? Oh, wait. No, wait. I know. Oh, now I know. I think I know what you're talking about. This Scizor, right? Uh, do we? We don't really need this Scizor, though, I feel like. 151 Scyther? Yeah, we have to play. We have to play the 151 because it's Buddy Poffinable, and it's got a free retreat. It's pretty good. Max Belt. We already have the Max Belt. A 11 Dialga. Nah. That point, just play Dialga. Um. Uh, I guess. I guess we want to play like a vacuum, right? Nah, Jirachi, nah, I don't know about Jirachi. Jirachi, Jirachi mid, Jirachi mid. I don't even know if we have, well, I mean, we do play double Super Rod. Is that even enough for the Greninja, though, to work? I don't even know. Do we really need Greninja? I feel like we should play 14 energy for playing Greninja. I don't know. Let's just try the deck. Let's see if it works. TM Devo? I mean, if we play against Zard, whatever. We have, we have enough. We play against Zard, it is what it is. There you go. That's my my plan. If we play against Art, it is what it is. Mew EX is... Yeah, I think Mew EX is good in this deck. We don't really... The problem with playing Matang is you don't really have a draw engine in the deck. Because I get to play the Matangs. I mean, I guess theoretically you could play... Uh, I mean, I don't know. There's, there's definitely cards you can play, but it's just not enough room. Serena? I mean, Serena could be alright for the bulk, I guess. I don't know. 
We'll see if the Greninja works. I mean, if Greninja, we can always cut it. We don't need a Radiant. We don't need a Radiant. All right. Uh, where's my buddy Poffins at? We could play the Basket Legion in the deck, too, and just kind of do what we did with the Dialga deck. As soon as I say screw Charizard, the game puts me against the Charizard deck. Of course. Of course it does. All right. I mean, we'll beat it. It's all good. Jirachi could be a Hail Mary. I don't... It's really not needed, though. Bibberol, maybe. Bibberol could be okay. We could... I mean, we already opened Mew. I was going to say, we could use Mew here as like a... We could use it at the end of the game, which could actually be okay. Uh, maybe we could have got a Reading Greninja there. But I don't want to give him an Artisan, so it's like not going to happen. They have Max Bell. They do have Max Bell, which is pretty scary. Only one Nest Ball. We have Buddy Poffin. We have Buddy Buddy Poffin. Beldum and Scyther are searchable with the Buddy Buddy Poffin. I mean, we could play a Team Devo in here, but we don't play a way to find it consistently, though. We don't play any Arvins or anything, which kind of makes it worse. Okay, they only got one Charmander, but they got the Call for Family. Pretty good, man. A Mew EX only deck? Probably not. It just doesn't do enough, unfortunately, by itself. I guess we just go Scizor. We can knock him out with our first attack, which is pretty poggers. Yeah, we can use the first attack. Metal Maker. Nice. Yeah, Steel Wing, maybe. Let's go. Buddy Poffin VIP. Buddy Poffin's healthier than VIP for the game, I agree. What's our prize? Metal Energy? Okay. We take 50 less damage. That's not bad, actually. Oh, yo... 70 and 1, 240 is not enough to two-shot a Charizard. Never mind. If we could two-shot Charizard with our first attack and then the second attack, that'd be nice. Freaking thing has way too much health, though. Metal Pokemon to attack? Yeah, there would be Skeleters. We'd have to play Fire Energy. It just doesn't work in here, unfortunately, Battleground. Yeah, but Skeletor, yeah, it wouldn't work in here, though, right? Because it's like, we have to, there's no way we're going to fit a Stage 2 line with Fire Energy. Coke or Pepsi? Pep, probably Coke. All right, decent Iono. Armor Rouge Arceus just better than this? I don't know about that. I mean, that's not really the same deck, though. I don't know what you mean by that. This deck loses to Zard? It might. I'm not going to lie. Not being able to win a KO Pidgeot kind of sucks. Do we want to just play Maxim Belt in here so we have a way to KO Pidgeot on one hit? Loki, maybe we should just play a Maxim Belt to KO a Pidgeot. Vitality Band? We'd only be doing 250 with Vitality Band, though. Pop Raja and Matang seems kind of cool, yeah. And Rev Room. Both those seem cool. They're not benching that? All right, bet. Well, they put Manaphy in play, which is good. Thank you for the free damage for my baby Scizor. That's pretty good. What up, Honey Badger? What's going on? We're playing some Scizor EX right now. We were trying Torterra. Unfortunately, Chad, we could not get Torterra EX to work. I don't know. Um, is there any other card we could... Is there any other metal Pokemon? Do we want... What about the one prize Zamazenta? Would that be good in here? Not seeing Moon? I've played against... I think I've played against one deck that was Roaring Moon based. Roaring Moon EX based. I've played against it in the one prize deck, but yeah. I haven't seen much Moon either. Yeah, I kind of feel like we want to have a way to one-shot Pidgeot EX. That would be pretty darn good. If I had Maxim Belt, but if I play the Belt, I'd probably have to play the Arvins in here. But then we can play the TM Evolution, I guess. What is two-shot, I guess? I kind of feel like if we had a Belt, it actually wouldn't be that bad. So we can two-shot the Zard... We go hit with Scizor, hit with Cleaver slash Scizor, but the one prize. We use the two prize, one prize. If we had a way to blow up Pidgeot to end the game, that would actually be really good. 
Hmm. Actually, the more I think about it, the more I like it. It's a lot of Ultra Balls going to the bottom of the deck. I think we just hold here. Smack for 240. It would be really nice if we could two-shot. See, now I'm thinking about Maximum Belt. Because if we can two-shot with Steel Wing, that could help fix the math in some scenarios. Metal Mawile? What does that do? Do you play Turo? We do play one Turo in here. Turo would help in this matchup, actually, too. We do have a one of Turo. Raihan? If only Raihan still existed in Standard. The Copper Roger. I mean, maybe, maybe, yo, is Copper Roger Matang just better than Scizor, potentially? To play Digging Duo? Yeah, we were talking about that with the, the Dialga deck. I don't know if it's worth it, though. Could be okay. We got Prime Catcher. Ah! It's fine. We got Cypher. We can play the Mew. I mean, we have to kill the active, though. I guess theoretically we can one-shot a Pidgeot if my opponent puts too many abilities in play. I don't see that happening. Copper Raja gets 220 damage Dunsparce. Bayonet EX. Bayonet EX is cool. Uh, the Bayonet S Pathra deck that won an online tournament looks kind of sick. Maybe we'll play that after. Matang Dodrio? Yo, Dodrio? I kind of, I see the vision. Yeah, I feel like if we had a bigger damage boost, like a maximum belt, this wouldn't be as bad. Because we can keep trading them with the one prize scissors and scythers. I don't... But then they're doing 270 damage. They have maximum belt. It doesn't really matter if, if I let them do 270 to a scissor. I mean, yeah, dude. I, dude, I wish we had. I really, really wish we had Maxim Belt in here. Oh, the more I think about it, the more I like it. Kind of want to keep myself Iono proof. I low key might just keep those on the top of the deck. Yeah. Am I streaming tomorrow? Uh, I will be away tomorrow at a uh, hockey game. I will be at a hockey game. So tomorrow I got a hockey game. Friday I'm gonna be away because there's a I'm going to my locals. Saturday I'm going to an Olivia Rodrigo concert. Sunday is Easter, Easter Sunday in Canada. So I might be going to my family's for dinner. So I just don't know if I'll be able to stream for the next four days. So tonight is the only time I can stream. Rod. Nah, we don't need Rod. Yeah, this is very winnable, honestly, if we had a Maximum Belt. Because I feel like being able to one-shot a Pidgeot does make this matchup slightly better. Two-shotting Charizards and Pidgeots all day just isn't enough. I feel like we have to play something like a Maximum Belt. It is nice to have Prime Catcher, though. You can't play both, which kind of sucks. Ancient Box? I have Ancient Box built. Do you recommend Turo for Pidgeyzard? Some lists do play a Turo. Some lists, the Charizard decks are playing either Switch, Turo, a combination of Switch and Turo, or they're playing the one of Gengar. The problem with Gengar is now Snorlax is starting to play Luxray Reversal Energy, or they're playing the Pidgeot EX build, and they can take out the Gengar before it becomes a problem. Or they'll take it out, and then you can't use, they'll like Lost City, the Gengar, and then you just can't, and then you just lose. But, I don't know, keep trying. I'd say play Decidueye EX and Charizard, but like, it's like, oh, they just have Radiant Zard now, so like they'll just hit you for weakness. There's no good there's no good retreat stage two Pokemon that lets you use that doesn't just either get killed by Charizard or like a Luxray or something. It's unfortunate. How do you feel about Dialga Matang? It's a fun deck. I, is it very competitive? I'm not sure. It's a decent deck though. The Paldean Fates Gengar. Yeah, they're gonna kill Mew. It's fine. We can attack with the Scizor here. I'm not going to... Well, now now we have to use the EX to finish the game off, I guess. We can attack with one prizers. 
Yo, honestly, if I didn't have a Mew in play, we could just attack them with one prizers the entire game. I actually think we'd have a shot of winning this. Huh. Interesting. No. Dude, no, I need the boss, bro. I don't think I can win without two boss. Uh, that's unfortunate. That really sucks. That's, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it sucks. Not much I can do about that. I have Prime Catcher and Counter Catcher still, I guess, which is fine. I guess if we have Prime Catcher, if we have Counter Catcher, double boss, maybe we can fit the thing in the deck. Should have maybe Matang first. Oh, that's pain, bro. Should have Matanged. Should have Matanged. Yeah, right, we're probably going to lose. If we didn't have Mew in play, if it was possible to just go Scissor Cleaver the entire game, maybe there's a world where we can win. Charizard, BDIF. Charizard and Lugia and Snorlax, I think, are the three best decks right now. We're playing Scissor EX, wise guys. Collapse Stadium. Never playing during the Sun and Moon era. You were grounded, got back into the game when Lost Origins was legal. Charizard is BDIF reliable deck. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, I kind of want that Max Belt. Max Belt, yeah, you know, the more I think about it, the more I like it. If I'm playing against Charizard and they fill their entire board up with abilities, this actually does make it easier for Scissor to one shot, right? Like the one prize guy. Now, the more I think about it, the more I like it. I'm not going to Matang first. Just give me a supporter. We do lose. We kind of came close, though, to be fair. We were one turn away from winning with, like, a Gust. See, if we didn't have Mew in play, this actually wasn't too... Oh, we don't even KO. No! All right, I lied. Never mind. The game was unwinnable. Okay, I definitely am going to put... I'm going to put a Maxim Belt in this deck. This deck definitely wants to play a Maxim Belt. Eerie and Zard. Some lists are playing it. What do you think of the new Maridon? It's a decent beat stick for Future Box. I've not tried Reverum yet, no. I haven't played it yet. Okay, yeah, I'm going to play Max Belt. I feel like it's actually good in this deck. I mean, the 60... I don't know, the supporters felt fine. I guess we didn't really use the Turo, but whatever. We could play Metagross, too, in the deck for the control matchup. Berserker or Tinkaton? Tinkaton is always better because it's beefier and does more damage. Would Max Belt be better? I haven't really played Zard in rotation, but you can build your Zard deck and test which A-spec you find is better. One Pal Pad? Nah. With Path Gone, Rev Room, and Honchcrow? Well, okay, Honchcrow is probably worse. Rev, Rev Room can at least attack with the uh, Matang. Pikachu with belt. Oh, are you talking about the world? Oh, this was the sleeves or uh, the season coin or the last year's world championships. I got gifted to it from a subscriber. Because you, the only way you could get the things I have right now, you had to actually play in the world championships. But a subscriber gifted it to me. Appreciate the father lit Vion. RCS Vulpix will be really good. Arc Vulpix seems all right. Yeah. Roseanne's backup. Not. I don't think we need it in here. Future box. I easy claps, bro. Future box is chill. Yeah, we're f we're fine, Chad. This matchup's fine. We have Scizor to one shot. Yeah, I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. We have Cleaver too. Ah, uh, we're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. Honestly, I probably should have just got two Scythers instead of the Beldum. How do I gift them? Well, the subscriber sent me the code for the the World's Kit. I got the code for it. That's why. Future loses to Charizard. Yeah, unfortunately. The only, like, if you want to beat Charizard with Future Box, or Iron Hands anyways, you probably have to play either Iron Leaves or Raichu V in the deck. Because, yeah, that, it's, it, I mean, it's it's winnable if you donk them. If they don't get Buddy Pop in turn one, you can amp turn one. If you can amp turn one, you probably tempo enough to win the game at that point. Because you can two-shot a Charizard with Arm Press. But 
It would be good to have Raichu in the deck, because Raichu V would be good for that matchup. And that's my take, anyways. Are they going to whiff the KO? That'd be pretty sick, actually. Are they going to whiff? Yo, whiff the switch one time. They whiffed it. Let's go. Future Box, hard wins against Lugia. Yeah, Future Box, Iron Hand destroys Lugia. It's, like, not even close. You literally, you have to just brick against Lugia. And even then, I think you can still brick and still beat Lugia with this deck. With, uh, with Iron Hands. Yeah, Iron Hands best matchup right now is Lugia by far. Lugia and Control are good matchups if you play the Psychic Energy for the, for the Maridon. Ooh, Buddy Poffin? It's pretty good. We can KO with Scizor, which seems pretty good. Getting the first two prizes here is really good. Not gonna Iono them, obviously. I'm gonna pray they don't got it like that. Is Lugia even playable then if it loses against it? Lugia beats everything else. Lugia's pretty good against most other things in the meta. Got the max belt. Are they gonna top deck something? I can't Iono them. Generator top deck. Leaves is a vibe in Future Box. It's pretty good. I mean, if you're playing more of like a rainbow energy build of Future Box with like a bunch of different attackers, then you probably want to play like two Iron Leaves. Radiant Steelix. That's more of a bad deck Friday deck, but it could be cute. All right. Uh, we actually can't attack unless I Iono. Or I draw my Tang. Dang. Okay, that's actually a little awkward. They're stuck in the active, though, so I... I mean... Hmm. I mean, I don't want to Iono, but... I Do we even get punished if we Iono? Especially with our current setup. We might... I mean, they're in top deck mode. They have to draw... Something to knock me out. I'm going to call their bluff and say they ain't got it like that. If they draw a future booster capsule, so be it. Actually, this doesn't even... No, it does count me 200 damage. They didn't get it. Leaves is a vibe in future... Can you do Bramble Gas? Bramble Gas might not even be a bad deck Friday deck. It actually could be like something... I think Torterra is the bad deck Friday deck. We just could not get Torterra to work, bro. That was worse. Um, nice. We can... Yeah, we don't really need Maximum Bell in this matchup. Do I just grab Mew? Yeah, we got Mew. Well, no, because they could amp amp for game. Yeah, grabbing Mew might have been a mistake, actually. I lied. I don't want to Iono them, though. Like, it's just a bad idea. No, we whiffed the attack? Ah, I hate this. We're going to have to play the Iono. Okay. Uh, I can't let them amp amp. That's not good. They probably got Prime Catcher. I think we I think we actually lose chat. Maybe I shouldn't have got Mew. I probably nah, yeah, Gabby Mew was a misplay. Because now they're just gonna ant me here and win the game in two turns. Not good. Pokey stop. Oh, maybe they're just not gonna they're gonna mill all their gusts. Okay. Iron Crown Valiant? Not yet. My favorite playmat? I don't really have a play... Uh, I mean, the Gengar playmat, I guess. Okay, they didn't get it. Nice. All right, we can win now. I kind of came down to them gusting them. Actually, really insane they didn't guess. They, can, they, they, they did not get the gust there. Okay, cool. Should be chilling. Let's see who we top deck. Okay. Where's my Matangs at? What? No Matangs, bro? Where you at, Matang? Yeah, Noma Tangs is pretty wild. Uh, they could Iono KO Mew this turn, but we have Cleaver. So they kind of... I think we probably win, right? They can KO Cleaver with Maridon. 
Cypher Maniac. I need a boss to win the game. I cut the Prime Catcher out. It actually kind of hurts us in this situation. Yo, what up, Jimmy? Fluttermane? Fluttermane does body Bramble Gas. That is true. Gotta eat dinner. Sounds good, Moondust. Sweep the leg? What do you mean by that? Any active Pokemon that has no abilities against Fluttermane, no Bramble Gas, no Rabska, no Charizard? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Iron Bundle. It's fine. I think I... Huh. Maybe we do lose, because I don't have a... If they Iron Bundle here, I think we just push Mew, right? Put Turtle the Mew off the board. No, I don't know. I need Boss to win the game. If they Iono me, we could hit Boss off Iono and Mew or something. All right, Arvin. Can they? Can't, they're not. My active isn't dead, obviously. Yeah. Okay. So they iron bundle. I'll push Mew in the active, and if they knock out Mew, I win. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. This kind of it's still okay, I guess. Now this is a matchup where I wish I had the Prime Catcher here. Karate Kid. I've never. I never grew up on Karate Kid. I never saw that. It's not Jover. Till it's Jover. Exactly. Exactly. Still for <laughs> that rhymes. Champau could just Cologne Bramble Gast and amp it. True. Those are all hypothetical scenarios. My low tick, my low tick would be good in uh, I think in Tanya if it still existed. Generator whiffs, nice. Actually, they probably needed that to hit so they could amp me, but then I just win with Scizor. Okay, I think we win because my opponent doesn't. If they push the iron bundle, we give them Mew. Nah, that's fine. Yeah, they can't. If they take a two prize knockout. With, uh, well, that's just game. Let's say I own me to two and I whiff energy somehow. Okay, that works. All right, never mind. We win. I probably played this game poorly. Still got there, though, because Scizor is pretty good against Siren Hands. Not going to lie. I don't know. Maybe the Cypher Maniac's bad. It does guarantee an attack. Do we just cut Cypher Maniac out of the deck for, like, a third boss? Loki, I think we just play three boss in here. Cypher Maniac's been kind of useless. I don't know. Would Bibberl or Pidgeot ever work with Dialga and Matang? Uh, if you want to play a 1 1 Bibberl, you probably could so that you have a draw engine, I guess, instead of Mew EX. The best deck to use to beat future hands? Uh, honestly, I couldn't tell you. There's, I mean, I guess it's got to be like Charizard, probably, is your best option. Charizard seems to have a good matchup in that deck. Okay. So. Cut the Cypher out. It's cool, but, like, it's too much of a one-of. I definitely think we need at least a third boss. 100%. Okay, I still think... I wouldn't... Honestly, I wouldn't buy another Punishing Scizor Scizor. Could go down to three Beldum, maybe. Four Beldum seems a little overkill. Three Beldum doesn't seem bad, actually. We can add another thing into the deck. Do we really need this, to be honest? Probably not, right? Yeah, Charizard is really good. Sign up for LA, I got you, I got you. Yeah, we kept the Mew in. Is there any other, like, tools we could play? Defiance ban? Nah. Uh, don't play Eerie. It seems kind of bad. We could play the Zamazenta. I kind of, yeah, I kind of like this, because, like, we can lean more into the one prizers if we play like a Zamazenta. Yeah, okay, alright, let's try this. Let's try this. Rigid Band? We could play Rigid Band too, yeah, I guess. We could play Rigid Band. Rigid Band's kind of awkward though because of Lost Vacuum's popularity. I'm like very skeptical of these like one of tools. If we were playing two Rigid Band, maybe it's okay, but a one of Rigid Band, it just feels like we're just gonna get vacuumed. Right? I don't know, maybe. What kind of Noiver and EX would you use in Lugia? I don't even know if I would use uh, Noivern and Lugia, but if I were, I guess probably you'd probably need at least a 2-2, two -two, but I guess a 1-1 one -one gets the job done. But does Noivern really do anything? Because, like, they'll just Prime Catcher boss you or something. Which I guess they have to do that twice to kill the Noivern, but if they, like, KO your Noibat turn 1, you lose. You'd probably have to play a 2-2 two -two Noivern line, and then at that point, you're just hurting the deck's consistency. Like, if you're just playing Lugia, maybe just take the L, or you can try the 2-2 two -two Noivern, I guess. I don't know. 
I'm gonna start Beldum. I'm not gonna start with L Mew just in case. Okay, we're playing against Ark. This is kind of where I wish we did have that extra damage mod. We could play Radiant Alakazam in the deck so we can manipulate the damage. We do have Cleaver. Hand Trimmer. How rude. I should have got rid of Maxim Belt, actually. I don't really want to put Mew in play, though, against Ark, to be fair. We have Double Rod. Yeah, whatever. Cleaver, one Scizor EX. They did with on Energy, which is cool. I don't know. The hand trimmer is kind of annoying. There goes the shaver. Yeah. That's a lot of buddy poffins. I don't even know if I really need three, bro. What the heck? Oh, I could. Oh, I should have my magnetic lift. Oops. Misplay alert. Bro, I should have magnetic lifted. Okay, I forgot to do that. All right, they might judge me anyways. It's all Gucci. I forgot we. I forgot about Magnemite's first attack. It's all good, Eric. No worries. Yeah, I mean, your best option. I guess Noivern's okay. Yeah, we're trying out Scizor. Yeah, see the Niono. It's all good. Never punished. Drago. I don't know if we'll be doing Drago next. That was a good Iono. Holy shoot. It's pretty good. Yeah, the, the Schmeldum. The idea is one run line and don't ever attempt the summoning star. Yeah, I guess, like, okay, I guess the logic behind playing Noivern is, like, it's like the flying Pikachu VMAX Lugia deck from the Silver Tempest meta. So maybe the problem is Pika flying Pikachu is better because it had more health and it was a good type. Noivern has, doesn't do a lot of damage and it doesn't hit for weakness against anything. I'm like flying Pikachu. Nah, we never punished. Giratina, though, ah, uh, that might be scary. Scizor gets one shot. But Judge won't? Maybe. Arctina's popular. We've played, honestly, we might have played against more Arctina than... I would definitely control, at least, which is good. I mean, I'd rather this than play against control for the 90th time today. Do you like playing Jirachi in this format? It's... I mean, I don't really see a lot of Lost Box, but when you do play against it, you wish you had it, right? I don't know. It's I haven't really found it that useful. It's like all right. I could have been good to have Drachi in that in that Torterra deck, but even then, it wouldn't have worked. Torterra is even worse than that King Ambit deck. Maybe the King Ambit deck was all right. This matchup is scary because of the Giratina's damage output. It does. It's fine. I need a switch. Can make it work. Nice. Let's go. Get some damage on the board. Seems good to me. All right. Metal Maker. Oh, I could have went for the Cleaver. Yeah, bro, I could have went Cleaver. Oh, I could have Cleavered there, bro. What am I doing? I could have cleavered. Oops. Kind of forgot that existed. I should have just cleavered. I could have KO'd them with a cleaver, right? Yeah. 130 damage. No, wait, that wouldn't have KO'd, actually. I lied. Would it? Yeah, 130 is not enough. Darkrai EX from Twilight Masquerade is the worst EX ever? Potentially. The starter deck EXs that Japan makes are pretty trash. They're They're very vanilla cards that just don't do anything. It would probably be up there for sure. Hmm. It was. I think we just send. I think we just throw one prizers at them, and then kind of clean up with Scizor X. We have to use Scizor X until the Giratina's gone, because Giratina one shotting me is really bad. So yeah. One twenty for three energy. Yeah, I mean, it's literally just a vanilla, unplayable card, yeah. It's just meant for, like, beginner decks, pretty much. Okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, you know what? Actually, there is some value in using Mew in this matchup, because it can. I forgot it can copy Lost Impact. 
It's actually pretty good. Yeah, maybe we should be using it. Yeah, probably should, actually. The more I think about it, the more I like it. Nice. Kind of want to get Zam in play if I can. We'll do one Metal Maker. Never punished? I don't even want that energy. What's going to the bottom of the deck? Or, okay, that's fine. I don't even want the energy, guys. Just punishing scissors. So I want to increase the chance of me drawing into a better card. We're probably going to boss the Tina next turn. We can actually boss KO Giratina next turn, which is pretty good. All right, I actually don't mind this. This is actually not bad. Reuniclus Cypher Maniac. Yo, what up, uh, Minho Kim? What's going on? How we doing? Garchomp, Raging Bull, winning LA. I don't think it's going to win LA. I don't know if that deck's even legit, but it is a cool, it's a cool combo, but is it a legit deck? I don't, I'm not too sure. I probably should have put the Scizor in play, actually, because they didn't, I should have put Scizor down because they didn't even, they're not even threatening me with Giratina. Though maybe I don't want to give them a one, a two prize right away, but I probably should have. Oops. Nah, it's all Gucci, bro. They ain't got it like that. All right, we'll just kill their Giratina V. I could actually just win by going kill Giratina, kill Arc. I'm surprised they didn't do Bibberol Skullvit there. I mean, Jimmy, it's a cool combo, but is it going to win LA Regionals? Probably not. Like, I, the deck might not even be very legit. Okay. Pretty good. Might as well Metal Maker, sure. Cool. Good cards going to the bottom of the deck. Don't mind if I do. Might get Iono here. I'm not going to put another Scissor in play. I don't want to put two two prizes in play just in case. Plus, we might want Cleaver to win the game, so we'll leave that option open. Greninja Beldum. Maybe we just don't play Greninja. Honestly, we should just play, like, eight supporters or something. I don't know. Maybe we should just play a 4-3 search instead of a Greninja. I'm kind of feeling like the Greninja is not very useful, to be honest. Iono me or judge me, please, so I can boss for game. What deck would I run? Well, I don't know. This is way too far in the future. I can't tell you. 2-1-1? One, one? Yeah, yeah, 2-1-1. One, one. We got four Scizors. Yeah, four Scyther, two Scizor EX, and then one of each. But you can toy around with the the Scyther, the Scizor, and Cleaver accounts. I wouldn't mind just playing more Obsidian Flames uh, Scizors. They mulligan four times. You still got your ninth dead star in a row with Dark Sard. That's, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, local. That's um, classic RNG. Okay, just drop my hand so I can boss for game. I guess we maybe the Greninja is useful. I can Greninja here to try to dig for boss. Sure. How good is the scissor deck? So far, it's been all right. It's been all right so far. Okay. We need boss and we win the game. I also need another energy. Nope. Metal Maker first, sure. Oh, the boss was right there, dude. It was like the next card. Okay, we'll we'll shuffle the deck with Body Pop and have a double battle maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, the bosses are like at the top of the deck. What's going on, bro? Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. Well, Body Pop and to shuffle the deck. So now the bosses are not at the bottom. I mean, I should have maybe got Manaphy actually. Okay, okay. Boss for game one time. No, that's pretty good. Wait, do I have game with Cleaver? Wait, does Cleaver win? I mean, I'll grab it anyways. I don't think we win with Cleaver here. I don't want to put another Scizor in play. There's the boss. I don't have game with Cleaver, right? I'm pretty sure it's only 130. Yeah, it's not enough. Uh, we're just short. Should have got Manaphy originally with the Buddy Poffin. I just don't want to put it in play, but, like, I probably should be. Smack him with Crossbreaker. We do have game in hand. Digging duo. I mean, bro, if we had the digging duo there, it would have guaranteed it, bro. Guaranteed Scizor claps every time. I got the V-Star. They evolve both. Okay, if they go, like, Turo, Charon's Care here, 
It's actually pretty bad. But I can still win with a... No, I have game on this guy, right? So, like... We'll see. Well, they go turbo over Charon's care. This is not great, because then this thing gets healed. It's pretty bad. We'll see. How many super odd? Uh, we play two. two. I can show the list after, if that's what you're you're looking for. They filled their board up. So now, even if they... Well, they're not probably going to rebench arc. Okay, really, it's down to whether or not they're healing this Arceus or not. Countercatcher? Uh-oh. That's not good. Well, okay, we have double Matang. Uh, okay. Oh, that's... Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's... That's not good. They're cooking me, bro. They're cooking me. Uh-oh. I did not expect a countercatcher. Not going to lie, Chad. I did not see a countercatcher in my future. These Arctinas, bro. Oh my god, they got switch. <laughs> we have to give up a lot of energy. Honestly, we could still just hit with Scizor and... I don't know. Still two shot. Oh, that's not good, though. We might be cooked. I did not expect a counter catcher, dude. What? <sighs> Metal Maker first. I get, I don't think I'm going to get to, I only have 13 energy. Okay, we can attack at least. It's not enough though. Could Greninja. I could Greninja here to try to get. A s I probably do have to Greninja to be honest. Yo, what up, Dominic? I attack, they knock me out, and then how do I win the game? I can. Beam them. They're just going to go... can win the game with Matang next turn. I need energy to make that work. I think it is worth the risk to do Greninja. Yeah, nice. Oh, Greninja into game? Even better, bro. Yeah, okay. It was definitely worth it a Greninja there, for sure. Iono play with Clutch? I I mean, Iono Countercatcher is pretty scary. What up, Bagel? Good luck. Have fun, LDF. Go Zam. I don't have enough energy for Zam. We only have 13 energy. All right, you know what? We're keeping... You know what? We'll cut the Mew out of the deck and keep the Greninja. Mew's bad. Mew sucks. Mew kind of defeats the purpose of our strategy of, like, the one prize, bulky two prize Scizor. Yeah, Mew sucks. It's nice. It's an attacker we can use, but I, I don't think it's worth it. We just play four research or something. We should just play more draw. Turo could be cuttable, too. We'll cut Turo for another one prize Scizor. That feels a little bit better. All right, no worries, Mini. Thanks for buying the stream tonight. Hope you have a good rest of your evening. Yo, punishing the sky with the 500 bits. Thanks for all the great content. My wife and friends just got in the TC casually together with our favorites. Your videos are a perfect way of showing us the non-meta top tier Pokemon can work. Yo, appreciate the support there, Pushing. Glad to hear that. What up, VS King Ribozo? It was close. All right, Greninja, I literally was just saying, oh, we're going to cut the Greninja, and then it literally came in clutch. So we're keeping the Greninja. If I sequenced a little bit better in that game, I would have won a bit earlier because the Greninja would have got me the boss. That's unfortunate, though. You look on your regionals ticket there. Basculin and Basculegion. I don't hate it. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit it, though. It's not a bad idea. Like, I don't hate it. We only played 13 energy, though. It's not, like, the greatest thing in the world. If we play Basque Legion, we can probably cut Zamazenta out of the deck. Another Arc deck? Bro, it's all the Arc today, bro. What? Yeah, appreciate it, Indestructible. Yeah, Greninja's OP. Greninja's good. Greninja's good. I wouldn't mind a 14th Energy, in all honesty, either. That'd be kind of sick, too. Goldengo Scizor? Goldengo Scizor's okay. I think Palkia... Like, okay, there is a reason why Palkia could be good. Because it's Palkia. But I can see Palkia arc Charizard. Oh, God. That's terrible for us. Dude, I don't want to play Iono. I kind of need to preserve my hand, though. Whatever. Screw it. They have the V-Star anyways. Doesn't matter. They always have it every time, guaranteed. They went a Vulture Ball, but they didn't have it. Didn't matter. We had to get new hand, bro. Price Cleaver. That's unfortunate. 
Probably got a Greninja. It's fine. It is Pokemon Story Arc. Arkzard, we're back in the Obsidian Flames meta. We literally are. This matchup could be worse than Pidgeot. Maybe? Actually, I don't know. Maybe it is worse. So the thing the thing with playing Scizor and Cleaver is Palkia does feel like it's a little too, like, it feels like there's too many counters to Palkia right now with Iron Hands and Raikou being played. So I, I could definitely see a reason to just play Scizor instead of Palkia now in the deck. Yeah, I wish I had a Beldum. All right, whiff the V-Star one time. Yo, let's go. Hmm. I can't attack, though, unless I get a switch. Like, I could get a switch. It's possible. We can get switch. We can get the switch. Switch? No. It's fine. We got Greninja. I lied. Switch. Yo, let's go, baby. Oh, get farmed. Probably going to get clapped by Radzard here, which is a little annoying, but whatever. That was pretty sick. All right, Greninja's definitely staying in the deck, dude. Actually, it's come up. Dude, it saved us so much so far. Dude, crazy stuff. You won you, Iono? Not this time. It def Yeah, it definitely seems better for sure. The Scizor definitely seems like it could be a lot better in the deck now. They could still KO me with a Charizard here with a Defiance Band or whatever. Yeah. Charizard's are so cheesy, bro. Don't knock me out, please. Dirt League? Wait, Dirt? What's Dirt League? The casual. Are you talking about like, the casual ladder? They get farmed at the Zard and Control matchups. That's pretty much uh, what's happening right now. But they have like no abilities. I This is actually so bad. I can hit with Zam this turn, though, which is what I'm going to do. Defiance fans really annoying. Bro, why does Scizor have 270 HP, bro? All the Turbine stacks, your anti meta Kingler Kingdred, I can't keep up. Yeah, too much. Oh, casual in person? Wasn't that just normal TCG, though? Okay, we'll go Zam this turn, hopefully, if possible. Still winnable. We could. Uh, okay. If worst comes to worst, we could go with the other Scizor. I think I'd prefer to go Zam here, but let's see. Yeah, Zam. It's pretty good. I'm just going to the bottom of the deck, Beldum Artisan. All right, I don't need those. Lit. Yeah, because now we just want to attack him with one prizers. Might still need the scissor that'll close the game. Grab another. I only have one scissor. It's kind of awkward. I guess I could have got the scissor instead of the scythe there. That's what I should have done. I don't want to research, so I want to keep the hand for one more turn. I should have just got scissor with that. Rip. Because then I could, like, yeah, I should have got scissor. Whatever. Hopefully, never punished. They have no draw engine up. We'll see they have Bibberol in hand. Does Walking Wake crazy mushroom and crab? I, I think Walking Wake maybe not as like I don't know if it's a competitive deck. It's stuff it's not terrible though. Walking Wake isn't terrible. Maybe we'll play Walking Wake after Scizor. I do have a build. Ultra Ball 2. Are they playing more arc? No way, bro. Not another arc, bro. Anything but the arc. No, I don't care if they bench Narcissus. Probably going to get a Charmeleon. Yeah. Yep, she got Scizor punished. Might get punished here. I need to basically not whiff an attack every turn. Yep, should have got Scizor. That was a throw. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of requests for Walking Wake over the past couple streams, so I might have to make it work. We have Counter Catcher live now, which is kind of cool. But I definitely need to just knock the active out. Oh, God. Not like this. 
All right, here we go. Greninja. I should have got Scizor, dude. I'm punished. Maybe not? Iono, never punished. Yo, let's go. I need to get an energy, so I actually could be punished. Yeah, let's go. Sick. We have Scissor's prize. Could be a great time to get the Scissor out of the prizes, actually. Iono clutch as usual, yeah. Definitely should have had a Scissor in play already, but you know what? This works too. Okay, Scissor off the prizes. Scissor and Cleaver. Cleaver? I needed Scissor. Okay, Cleaver's not bad, I guess. We need to kill the red Zard. Honestly, we probably win if all goes well. We'll see. Can they get another Charizard and an Iono this turn is the question. That would be pretty bad. That would be pretty bad if they got both. That'd be pretty bad. Magikarp Gyarados only deck? Jeez. The other deck showcases? Glad you're enjoying it. Okay, they hit the Charmeleon. Do they have an Iono? I want to be pretty bad. Not the Iono, bro. I want to be spooky. Okay, they're down like two. No way. They also need to get another switch, though, because they had to waste that gen energy. They actually might not even be able to move Radzar next turn, which is decent. Hmm. Think for the fall there, Winged Yeti. It's our top deck. Nice. Huge. We do have the Scizor yet. Let's put energy back. The Whiff? Yo, Metal Maker, bro. What are you doing? Give me a metal. Nice. We can't one shot though, which is a little annoying. But they also, again, they could whiff the attack next turn. They've used a lot of their energy too, so we'll see. Finding your ninja, I think it's good. Help me out. No. Okay. Just short on the knockout. Like, I mean, Charizard's going to be a bad match for this deck, but this feels kind of bad. All right, we'll see if they got anything. How do I come with deck lists? I just cook them. Okay, if they don't move this turn, we're chilling. We just need to win with boss. Need them to whiff a switch. Oh, do they actually have enough energy to retreat? No shot, bro. Nope. Oh, they could have double turbo, though, because they do play Arceus. I don't like this, bro. I don't like this. No, they're going to get a switch every time, guaranteed. Yep. And now we lose. Yep, that's it. That's game. Damn. Actually, had they not KO'd me there, I might have been able to knock out the Charizard with Maximum Bell, maybe? No, probably not. Yeah, we played for Alligator earlier on the stream. Yeah, the Charizard matchup of this deck sucks, dude. So bad. Just, yeah. The Radiant Zard is kind of killer, bro. Another Aegislash deck? Uh, I don't know. Sleeper Pyrus combo? Uh, nothing yet. No, I haven't found anything. Why well, you're sad to see it move on? I mean, that's just how the meta evolves, right? Some decks just kind of go in and out of style. Radiant Zard is OP. That's, that's one of the things that makes Charizard such an OP deck. They have access to Radiant Charizard, which is pretty bad. Unfortunate. Haldean Student? It's a bad card. Oh, man. Just got to stop playing against Charizard, chat. That's about it. All right. Let's see what our start's looking like. 
Okay. Could actually, you see, the funny thing about this deck is turn two Scissor X is kind of funny if you, like, donk your opponent. Or not donk him, but, like, get the turn two knockout. All right, Maridon Iron Hands. We can beat this. Not with a starting hand, though. Rip. I mean, good thing it's 70 HP. That sucks, though. Where's my Buddy Poffins at, bro? This is how you lose to Maridon on Iron Hands, not getting a turn on Buddy Poffin. <laughs> so bad, dude. Come on. We Actually, this matchup should be perfectly fine for our deck. Don having Buddy Poffin, though, really sucks. Gotta hope they don't donk me. They have it, but they might not be able to... I got Mew EX, okay. Baby Espathra? I have not. I haven't even played the Baby Espathra deck at all. No, oh, they had Iono. All right, we're dead. Sorry, Beldum, you're gone. You're out of here, buddy. That was a... I swear I play Iono. I play supporters, bro. Where are they at? No, where are my supporters? And now we lose because we uh, got Iona into a not playable hand. Awesome. Cringe, bro. It's cringe. Honestly, though, if we top deck a Scizor or a Cleaver here, we could just KO the Iron Hands immediately, which could be sick. That would be huge. Getting a Greninja down would be nice. We'll see, though. Having Poffin turn one doesn't screw you over. Exactly, yeah. Top deck magic. I mean, it's possible. Like, if we do top deck here, we're chilling. Oh, they got the stupid... Oh, my God. Not the... Dude, no, the buddy poffin with. After trying the Torterra for the first time, has the win rate has gone downhill? It has. Well, we did play a lot. I mean, bro, we did play a lot of the, the good decks first. So, like, we're getting more into, like, the roguier side of things. And obviously, the rogue decks are struggling right now. I mean, a single prize deck against Iron Hands, Whiffing Turn, Buddy Poffin. What do you what do you want me to do? The new cry not yet. <laughs> Adil, what's going on? What's going on? Like Roy Mooney X, Roy Mooney X with new Roy Moon? I still think that's decent, yeah. There, there's, that's a decent combo still. Reminds me of twenty sixteen the plasma deoxys donking. Pretty similar. Zam's not bad. This is one thing I like about Zam. It's a really good starter. So we don't just we just don't we don't we, we don't get farmed as easily by a uh, Maridon turn one donk cheese, which is pretty sick. Lost zone. Oh no, Tina seems bad. Unless we had, well, we can just form the board with one pressers. Yeah, okay, maybe Tina's not as bad as a match as I thought. Seems like it could be bad, but it's probably not bad. Radiant Steelix. That's a bad deck Friday deck waiting to happen. Yeah, Rapska stops TM Devo on the bench only, yes. Not the active. It does stop TM Devo, though, yes. But just not on the active. Just the bench. Frigraph? Not yet. Frigraph is probably more of like a like an anti-meta toolbox deck. That's the way I look at it. Cast form. Cast form's gone. Yeah, LA, LA regional sign-up is in an hour. One hour from now is when LA regional sign up is, yeah. Do you think it'll fill up, chat? What are the ch what do you think it'll fill up? Do you think it'll fill up immediately? We'll see. I feel like Radiant Steelix is only good against VMAX decks. Yeah, it's more of, obviously, it's a meme, for sure. What up, Puffles? Yeah, hey, what's going on, Puffles? Welcome. We're playing some Scizor EX right now. Oh, we're playing against the Turbo Lost Box deck. Okay, sure. Hmm. They get turned to Sableye, which is kind of scary. Yo, what if they play Prime Catcher Cologne? Yo, that'd be kind of scary, too, actually. That would not be good. Speak of the devil. Okay, well, good thing we got Rod in hand. Honestly, this is totally chill, bro. Nice try, bro. We got the Rod. You can't wait till any IC. Any IC will be cool for sure. More of a last resort. I mean, you could. I mean, you could build a deck around it. I've seen it before. 
I don't know if LA. I don't know. West Coast regionals tend to not fill up as quickly because less people go to the West Coast regionals. I find. Okay, what's our top deck? Yo, let's go. That was a huge top deck. Insane, bro. Greninja, Scizor. We did price Cleaver, which kind of sucks. Okay, we need Matang. Okay, we got Matang. Now we need Matang to give me a energy. This is a nice knockout if we can get it. No! What? Matang's a scam, bro! Oh, no, dude. The whiff. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, that's... That sucks. A lot of codes catch up if I started streaming Pokemon again. Gotta get into the grind. Man, that's a huge whiff. Wanted to get that KO. Honestly, there isn't a... I mean, that's an extra ability for the other Scizor, so I actually don't hate that. I mean, they can't kill the Zam unless they attack with a two-prizer. They could get to Sableye this turn, which is kind of spooky. Would have been really good to actually find more Buddy Puffins there. Like, we don't... Having slow setups against Lost Box is not what you want to be doing, which is pretty bad. RNG is not on my side. Right, they don't got the knockout. Kind of don't... I don't even want a Myono, to be honest. They didn't, even, they didn't do anything last turn. Plan Iono feels bad. But I guess I have to, because I need to draw more cards. I don't want to research, so. All right, that's a bit better. Metal Maker. The whiff is real. Man, Matang, bro, what are you doing? Oh, we don't even KO the active. Oops. I forgot we don't even have a knock on the active. Actually, just farmed. F. That's nah, pretty bad. I th <laughs> For some reason, I thought we were knocking out the active. I should have just bossed last turn. Yeah, it's not great. I should have just went to Scizor. Throwing chat. We throw in today, folks. So bad. Zam, you gotta do more damage, buddy. My problem is LA, it's been crazy busy there. Maybe. Maybe Copperaja? I feel like Copperaja would be worse against Lost Box, because you just, like, damage your own bench for Sableye. All right, four seal stone. Now we're definitely farmed here. It's Jover. Serena Jirachi? I mean, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I guess we probably have to then. Probably. Do I just boss kill Greninja? I don't have much of a choice, do I? We got no supporter. Could kill the... I mean, Greninja's not really a threat. No, it's not going to cram. It's fine. Should have been two prizes now, but okay. Matang is throwing. I'm not even going to bother doing Matang, just in case. I. It's tough to say if you're going to Metal Maker supporters to the bottom. Would EXP share be viable in this deck? You probably don't really need it. It's, the experience share doesn't even synergize with Scissor EX, so it's probably not worth it. Yo, what up, Gaming with Gavin? Welcome out to the stream. It's probably not even worth it to play it. If you want to join the stream on YouTube, though, by the way, make sure to leave a like. It would be greatly appreciated. If you've been enjoying the stream on the YouTube side of things... Full HP Serena. Well, yeah, Serena Jirachi is probably just the way to go then. Yeah, for sure. You'll appreciate the follow there, Voice Roy. Thank you, thank you. All right, we'll see what happens. If they don't get my scissor, we're maybe okay. 
Okay, that's good. You can knock out. Okay, that's good. I still think I want to save Matang, because, like, they could, like, counter catcher trap me or something, or, or boss trap me. Kind of want to keep the option open for Metal Maker. I don't even really want to put the Cleaver in play. It's kind of useless here. Just knock out the Greninja, I guess. Keep all those nice, juicy comfies in play. Matang Orthworm, I think I've seen that before on, like, it was like Reddit or Twitter or something. It looks cool. All right, another Metal Energy. We need to get our Radiant Greninja out so I can start drawing more cards. That would also help. Rotate. Well, it's too early for rotation, Gavin. Rotation just happened. Might try Matang or Earthworm. Ready with that. The good thing is Copperage is on the bench, protected by the ability. True. Nice deck. Thank you. You have Roxanne? There's no Roxanne in this deck. We're just playing four Iono for research. Yeah, we're just playing the four Iono for research. I mean, it's about all we can do. We have the Radiant Greninja, too, for the extra draw. Wouldn't mind maybe another supporter. What We could play, like, a Morty or something, maybe. I don't know. Another supporter, like, could be okay in here, to be honest. Could be okay. Could be all right. There's the Raikou. Uh... Well, they go Raikou. We can knock him out with Scissor X. Assuming I can actually draw into a playable supporter, though, to go Scissor. Maybe I should be. Maybe I should have been doing Metal Maker. I don't know. If I can get Scissor here, we might be okay. Cleaver. Yeah. Does Cleaver even have a KO, though? 40, 70, 100. Yeah, it does 100, actually. Okay. Yeah, Cleaver does knock out Raikou, actually. That's true. Yeah, that's true, actually. Cleaver does kill Raikou here. I didn't even think of that. I think I'd rather go... Well, Scizor... Well, Cleaver can't get one-shot by Sableye. Okay, maybe this is actually fine. Yeah, we can Cleaver the Raikou here. It's not bad, actually. I still need to draw a supporter, though. Iono top deck would be really good. I don't even... That's not even good, because I can't even guarantee an energy on Metal Maker now, bro. Not like this. Never mind, I lied. It's pretty good. I mean, the best we got, bro. Cleaver, bro. It's cleaving time. Host a tournament. I just don't have the time to run a tournament, unfortunately. I right, what's our two prizes? We need a research. Nope. Scissor X goaded. It's cool. I have not tried uh, uh, Bramble Gas yet. Nope. Yeah, we have the K on the Raikou. Okay, that's fine. That low-key kind of helps. I should have burned the maximum belt, actually. I got my Iono. If they whiff a KO somehow this turn, this might be okay. I need Zam back. That's what I really need is... I need to get that Zam back. This is why the Zam is good, because you don't have to rely as much on Scizor. Okay, if Cleaver somehow lives, we can try to get Scyther set back up. We might have a chance of staying in this game. Okay, that's fine. Maybe we should have put energy on Matang. The damage is so low. It kind of is, yeah. Sableye would be annoying here. This, yo, Cleaver doesn't even kill Sableye if they get it. Because the 30 resistance. That's actually so bad. Oh, no. Dude, Sableye is actually not great for us here. Never got to catch live streams? Well, glad you can make it out, though, Adams. It's a perfect time. No, they're definitely going to Sableye. There's no way they're not getting Sableye here. Not good, not good. Oh, they whiffed it. All right. Think of the fall there, Milky. I mean, we don't, we don't even have a KO on the active, but that's fine. Oh, we can KO with Beam. Come on, I'm a Tang before I Iono. Nah, it would have been a good hand to Iono into. Okay, I lied. I'm an Iono first. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which is better, but I don't know how to sequence this. Okay. Two energy, so I can beam. Dang it. We can go on a Cleaver. Cleaver doesn't even have a KO, though. And I kind of need it. I got the pass. We have another Iono, which is good. How long do I normally stream? Uh, it really depends. My last few streams have been a few hours, at least like four or five hours. 
Moon. Do they have a Mirage Gate and a Switch? They're down three choruses, I think. They did lost on one earlier. Yeah, they're down three chorus. It actually did drag in. That's true. Raging Bolt. I already did a video on Raging Bolt. I already did a video on it, Pineapple. Lightning. Switch card. Do they have the Mirage Gate? Maybe. Hmm. What's that? Iron Hands? That's good. Oh, they could have hand. Well, I guess they, they're probably low on resources. It's probably not going to be possible to hands me. They actually whiffed the Roaring Moon. Cleaver couldn't KO Comfy? Did it have a KO? Was I trolling? Did it actually have a KO on Comfy? No, oh, it did have a KO on Comfy. Honestly, though, I don't really want to use Cleaver here, though, because I kind of I don't have any other attacker in play. I think it was honestly fine to not go Cleaver there. I don't really have any other attackers established at the moment, so it's probably better to honestly just not go Cleaver. Yeah, they don't have anything. That's good. Okay, what do we draw? Guaranteed kill is good. Okay, now I need, like, another Scyther or something. Buddy Poffin. Is there even a Scyther in the deck? Okay, there should be two. Sick. Not a whole lot of medals left, but we will make the best of it. Okay, no research one to the bottom there. I kind of want to keep the options open. I'm just going to beam knock them out. All right, we can still win this, Chad. This is very, very close. Unfortunately, they can knock out Matang without needing a stadium with Moon, but we'll see how it goes. All we have to do next turn, though, to win is literally hit an energy off of our last Metal Maker and we win. So, oh, I should have went double Metal Maker then. Okay, no, I actually misplayed. I should have went double Metal Maker because I just need... And energy to win. Oh, shoot. That was a misplay then. So I should have went double Metal Maker first. So I should have double. I, I should have went double Metal Maker. Okay, yeah, that was a misplay. It was correct to do double Metal Maker there then. Wow. The best place to look for decks? Uh, play dot Limitless right now for the online tournaments for rotation decks. Pokeka Book is good. Yeah, I should have double Metal Maker. Because I literally win the game with Cleaver with Scizor here. We still have two turns to try to win. They can't win with Sableye, so we still have time. I definitely should have went double Metal Maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll do this first. We'll keep the Ultra Ball. I don't want to grab Scissor just yet. Rip. That's fine. We have game still in hand if we can get another energy next turn on this, so this is still fine. I'll say Roxanne me. But I, obviously, I can't grab the Scissor there. We just lose to a boss i guess we would set it to sudden death but still yeah i definitely i misplayed by not doing double metal maker because i just i didn't even see the play i could have ultra ball for scissor for game i'll see what happens just, could still win this we have counter catcher in hand which is huge i can't find any supporters we should cut the Turo out. Honestly, we should just play like a Morty or something. Like, I just, just play a ninth draw supporter. That's what this deck needs is more draw. Ninth supporter would be nice. 14 energy would be good, too. Misplace. I mean, it was a misplay, but it was also like kind of a big brain play. I just didn't think of it. They could have... Oh, they... No, they came with Greninja. Okay. They might not even go into Roaring Moon here. They kind of have to, though. They don't even have a knockout on my active. Do they even have a stadium? But they can save life for game next turn. So I still have to win on the spot, basically. Okay. Because they can just win with save life next turn. They go hit for 100 and then save life for two prizes. And yeah, they definitely have the save life. All right, it's down to this. It's all down to this. No, then I shouldn't have shuffled the deck. Let's go for it. It's all down to this. Metal Maker. No! No, oh, that's the end of the game. Okay, we still played out like they don't have Sableye. They definitely have it, though. Yeah. 
Turo prevents. Yeah, I didn't have the Turo, though. We bricked. See, I, this deck needs more draw, bro. We bricked at the end of the game here and couldn't make it out. They just need Sableye. They could prize her Sableye, maybe. I'd be very surprised if Sableye was prized. Damn. Maybe I should have Metal maker before I did the Ultra Ball there. That's what I should have done. Who knew Metan could be so complex? Yeah, fudge. That actually was a line to win the game. We just bricked so badly there. But I definitely should have went double Metal Maker before that. That was super winnable. Super annoying. All right, we're going to add a ninth draw supporter, dude. Friggin' I'm tired of bricking, bro. Bricking makes me want to delete this game and play another video game instead. All right, we uh, got another tier on the Battle Pass. Already tier 20, chat. Hasn't even been a week yet. All right, let's open up these packs first. Maybe we'll pull a Full Art Scissor. That's what the deck needs, chat. It needs a Full Art Scissor EX. Maybe we'll get Full Art Scissor. Nope. All you have throwing? Exactly, bro. I'm throwing on purpose. Back-to-back -back Coridon. Full Art Scissor. I know it's here. I know the Scissor is here. Nope. Junk. Magic the Gathering. Unfair stamp soon. True that. Okay, yeah. The We already cut the Turo. Wait, I'm trolling. The Turo was never in the deck. Okay, Full Metal Lab can go. I have not played that yet. That card has been absolutely useless. Yeah, Full Metal Lab has been completely useless. Let's just play like a vanilla draw card in the deck. Vacuum's been kind of useless too. I'm going to play a 14th Energy. All right, let's try this. Stretch, I got you, bro. Yeah, I don't know. The that that stadium just kind of feels bad. That stadium kind of sucks. The full the, the metal lab we it just hasn't come up yet. Like I guess theoretically it is good against like Arctina, but I don't know. Whatever. Try this time. The deck it feels good. We probably would have won that game one if I didn't misplay and two if we didn't brick. Had the deck just not brick there, that was probably a winnable match. Because we just had the scissor for game on Roaring Moon. We just got unlucky. Yeah, 110. 110 day. Well, like, the problem is, so, like, are you ever taking... I guess you are taking knockers. I don't know. Maybe it's good. Maybe. Future box. Right, this time we got the Zam start. Scyther's in there. Cleaver, Scizor. We prized one Scizor EX. Okay, we kind of need a supporter card here. Nope. Oh, we got an Iono. Actually, it's not bad. I keep Countercatcher. Yeah, no Dialga in this deck. Adamant? Adamant doesn't feel great in here because we only play 14 energy. That's just not enough. Even if we played Earthen Vessel, it's not enough. Digging Duo, maybe. I don't know. Digging Duo feels bad, though. Like, I feel like just Iono and Research are just usually better cards, but there's, like, maybe a logical reason to play that. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe shmaybe. Yeah, Zam's nice here because they can't one-shot me. Zam definitely is staying. I'm liking it so far. It's been decent. It's nice they just can't one-hit KO me here with the uh, thing. Future Hand could get interesting. Future hands, I think, is fine because we can attack with Scissor and one-shot them, and they can't one-shot me back. They can win if they can win the prize trade by going two-two if I keep spamming Cleaver and Scissor against them. Hero Cape maybe is okay. I do think the Maximum Belt still is fine. Oh, the Maximum Belt's kind of chill. I like it. Bayonet item lock with Salvatore. I haven't tried that yet, but maybe at some point we could play that Bayonet as Pathra deck that won that online tourney. That could be pretty fun. No Prime Catcher. No my Matang. That's why I hate this stupid deck, bro. Like, let me just get a buddy pop in. For the record, I'm saying I hate this deck, not the scissor deck. It's so cheesy, bro. Like, dude. I hate this dumb deck that punishes you for not finding a turn on buddy pop in. It's actually so dumb. Well, now we probably just lose, right? I'm, like, I can't Iono them, obviously. It's cringe, bro. Actual cringe. 
Like, literally, the game just ends because I didn't get a Torn Body Poffin. Like, the Iron Hands Maridon deck is actually just the it's so bad, bro. It sucks. This deck should just be renamed to win the game if your opponent doesn't get a Torn Body Poffin. Funny thing is, when you play against it, they got Poffin all the time. True. Iron Hands ain't takes Tanks and Rocks. Yeah. Sounds like a deck you should make. Yeah. So far, so far, I'm thinking Maraid on Iron Hands and Control are my least favorite decks to play against in this format at the moment. Currently, they are. Bro, it's like, literally because I didn't get a turn on Battle, or I didn't get a turn on Buddy Pop, and I lost that game. It's so stupid, bro. Okay, oh, this is a good hand. See, bro, where's these type of hands, bro? Alright, this is a lot better. Okay, we're going second. It's fine. A lot better. All right, what do we have against this time? Another Lost Zone deck. All righty then. Could be Tina. We can beat Tina though. Buddy Poffin. Buddy Poffin is better than VIP, but when you're just playing against an aggressive deck like Iron Hands, you literally you just can't afford to not get a Buddy Poffin turn one. Basically, the Battle Lock is so good. I know. Control wasn't bothering me. It's just the Maridon Turbos give me trouble. Yeah. We have honestly, yo, we haven't played against control deck in a couple hours on the stream. I really hope I didn't jinx that. But yeah. It's been a while since we've hit a control deck, which is good. Feels good, man. Got LA Regionals registration in an hour, bro. Let's go. Or in half an hour, I lied. Half an hour. Think it's a better Goldengo? Uh not sure. I haven't tried Goldengo yet in this new format. I'm a big Goldengo fan, though, so we'll see. I mean, I want Goldengo to be good. Any format where Goldengo is good, in my opinion, is a good format. All right, we're playing against the hands deck again, it looks like. That was a good top deck. Let me get just Iono. Do I Iono? Yeah, sure. Knowing my luck, they got, like, Colrus, Vacuum, and the whole nine yards. Okay. Going to Zam so I don't lose my Scyther. Okay, cool. Pretty good turn one. We have pretty good hand. We have Ultra Ball. We're chilling, bro. We're chilling. They should go second. Well, I feel like this deck wants to go first because you're playing a lot of stage ones, but... Yeah. I mean, if I knew I was playing against... If, if I know I'm playing against Maridon, then I'm going to make them go first. The problem is on the ladder, you don't know what they're playing. You just don't know if they're going to be playing Maridon or not. If I knew that, if I knew I was playing against Maridon there, I would have went second every time. But, because my opponent does it, like, you just don't know. That's that's the issue with the ladder. Sometimes your opponent just randomly gets a cheesy win because you don't know what they're playing. And you choose the wrong... You choose the wrong person to go first. And that's it. End of the game. End of the game. It's a problem with best of one sometimes. Best of one is punishing. Okay, that's good. They can't amp my Zam here, which is also pretty good. Yeah, Zam, Zam's like low-key kind of cracked in this deck. They can't even amp you very much me here. TM Evo. If we play TM Evo, we'd have to play Arvin in the deck, and I don't think we want to play Arvin in here. Like, it could be okay, but yeah, I don't think we want the Arvin. Pokey stuff. Yo, there, are they gonna roll it? Oh, what's up, kid? Pokey Kids Club, how we doing? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome out. We're trying out some Scizor EX right now. The Slizor. The Rizor. That must be a painful flower select. <laughs> Dude, what is that flower selecting? What the heck? No Arvin? We don't play Prime Catcher in here. We play uh, Maximum Build. That took them that long to decide if they want to come here or not. I went to Vancouver, played Zardwin 3-3-1, 38 points short from World's Invite. Aw, oh, no, rip. Honestly, Team Evo could work really well. It would be good in here. We played in the Dialga deck, but if we play Team Evo, we have to play Arvin in the deck. I don't know. I don't know if I want to play Arvin. I'm fine with just having nine draw supporters. I don't know. I think it's fine. 
Like, Team Evo's okay in this deck. You don't really need it, though, to be fair. Like, other than... It gets you Matangs, but, like, you don't... With this deck, you don't really need to push early Scissors. Because you don't really know what Scissor you're going to go into until you... Until it's, like, your turn. So you don't want to just randomly put a Scissor X in play for no reason. The only benefit of Team Evo is it gets you Matangs. But is it worth it playing the Arvin just to do that solely? Probably not. I don't know. That's kind of my take on it. All right, let's see, let's see. The sh buddy poffin. All right, more abilities for Scissor. Yum, yum, yum. Eat them up. All right, well, they KO Zam this turn. They could theoretically moon KO me here. They go moon, we're forced to Scissor EX them. If we can get the Scissor going. Probably should have put two Beldums in play. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Two Baldums would have been pretty good here, not gonna lie. We'll see what my opponent does. Flower suck, but your option is an A spec. That feels really bad. Yeah, I've practiced a bit of Lost Box. Ooh, they lost on a Colrus. This is gonna make Ariono pretty good. I played Lost Box recently, and yeah, I've had those flower selects where I had to get rid of either like Prime Catcher or an energy or something. Or a Colrus. I'm just like, bro, no shot. Just down bad. Okay, there's the moon. All right, they don't got it. All right. Yeah, we're chilling. We just want to make sure we attack this turn. Okay, I don't want to give him Artisan, so I'm just going to do this. I'll let him keep the Pokey stop. I'm just going to Iono. I guess actually in this case, it's better to Matang first, right? Nah, it's all good. Alright, we need to get energy off this. Nice. Cool. Alright, we're chilling, we're chilling. We can go Scizor on the moon next turn. Well, yeah, we can move, we can kill the moon with Scizor. Alright, what's our prize? Metal energy? Like I said, I wish I had two Matangs in play. Because if I whiff one Matang... And we go into Scizor, it's Grief. But I can always go one prize Scizor if I whiff. Before, I think, yeah. Yo, what's up, Ben? How we doing? Do you have energy retrievals and why rating Greninja? No retrievals, no. Yo, push you the fall there, LED. Am I going to Mant on Friday? Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. All right, what is that? Counter catcher. Okay, that's fine. I mean, they kind of have to answer Zam. Zam can't one shot Moon, which kind of sucks. Pokestop. It's a pretty good Pokestop. I actually, I kind of, I was gonna say, I want them to put more Comfies in play, but they're they're burning the Poffin, bro. Why aren't you super rotting first? That's not good. The rooster looks insane. Yeah, there's a lot of people going. A lot of people going. I mean, it's the first what post rotation tournament. They're hosting? Makes sense. Switch current. Deck needs Charizard X. I mean, a Charizard X would make zero sense in this deck. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, bro. <laughs> what? How many energies do you play? 14. Deck plays 14 and 2 rod. Yeah, I'm excited for the first rotation tournament. I have not done a rotation tournament yet, so I'm excited to see how that goes. It's going to be a good time. Hmm. Do they add the Mirage Gate? They could Sableye here, actually, which is kind of annoying. But I'm not evolving my Scythers. Okay, they're not going to the yeah, other. They're just going Moon. Okay. We can knock Moon out with Scizor here. We'll see. I had to switch cart to Twitch. <laughs> yeah, welcome back, LED. Is the UIC the first official event of rotation? Yeah. Yep. First official event. Throw Zard in there? Yeah, this deck definitely should play a... We should definitely put a charge on this deck. It would definitely make the deck 20 times better without a doubt. Zard's change for everything? True. You're close to LA? True. What am I going to play on Friday? Uh, no idea. Not going to lie. I haven't decided yet. I haven't really been testing must rotations. I've been busy with the content. Okay, on my Manaphy. Interesting. 
Okay. Honestly, I can just punish them and boss kill their Greninja here. Uh, that's fine. I'm just... Honestly, like, okay, if I evolve everything, their Greninja play is completely irrelevant then. Okay. Did not want that. Okay, hold on. Let me Matang first. Oh, okay. All right, we're going to cook him with the Scizor. We're going to hit him with the Slizor here, the Glizor. We'll grab one... I'll grab a Beldum. Catch. We'll evolve the active here. We'll grab the other. Grab this. And stop their Greninja play if that's what they're going for. So is there a thing? I mean, we're trying it out. So far, it's been decent. Think of that follow there, Jack. All right. Let's cook him. Why didn't you put Charizard in the deck? I don't know, bro. I should have. You're right. This deck definitely needs to play a Charizard DX. What would I do without a Charizard in this deck? For me, it's Ancient Box or Lugia. I mean, depends on what you test Divine. Whatever whatever deck works best for you. I mean, Lugia, I think, is the best deck right now, or at least one of the best decks. So Arc V-Star. I mean, Arc V-Star would actually make sense in here, theoretically. You can build up with Matang. It's got a good ability. Do you think I should play? I mean, whatever your heart desires. Like, Lugia, Ancient Box, they're both decent decks. I mean, if you want to play the best deck over... I mean, Lugia's probably better than Ancient Box. Yeah, we gotta put Lugia and Moonzard. We might as well... Even while we're at it, bro, we might as well put Iron Hands in here. Charizard EX, your hidden ace card? Yeah, exactly. We're gonna Thornton into a Charmander and then Rare Candy Charizard out of nowhere. And we play two Fire in the deck. Should play Ultra Ball? Oh, great idea. Yeah, we definitely need an Ultra Ball in this deck. Why do we not have Ultra Ball in here? What am I thinking, bro? You don't play these off meta in real competitions? Not really. Unless it's like, unless I'm bored of the format, usually I do just play a meta deck. Because, like, well, if I'm competing IRL, I'm not trying to, I'm not going to go to an IRL tournament with Torterra EX, right? And be like, oh, I got the best deck in the room. We just boss KO Comfy? Do we want to play boss here? Yeah, boss KO Comfy seems good. Nah, we haven't tried Skull Villain yet. I think after, maybe after Scissor, we'll build Walking Wake. Maximum build? Cool. All right. We can get rid of uh we'll get rid of this and then we'll grab another Matang. Now everything's basically just evolved, which is pretty sick. We can just steal wing for the knockout. I'm not even gonna bother doing Metal Maker, just in case they like counter catcher me or something. Counter catcher Roxanne, something would be annoying. Metal energy should be in this deck, you're right. Iron Hands will definitely be great in Scizor. I mean, Iron Hands with Matang could be, like, a decent combo, but not in this deck. <sighs> Matang being 10 out of Greninja range is clutch. It is really nice. I agree. Yo, what's up, Cuddles? My favorite deck we've tried? Probably the Scizor deck. I do like the Feraligator deck, but we just had bad luck with it. Like, yesterday, the Feraligator deck was doing good. Today, we got just destroyed. But the Feraligator deck, I did like. The Scizor deck so far has been decent. The Torterra. Torterra just couldn't cut it, man. I feel bad, dude. Ooh. Wait, they play double moon? That's not good. I can't... One well, I'm so far ahead, it doesn't matter. I was gonna say, I can't one-shot moon. That doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter that I can't one-shot moon. We just smack him with Zamazenta here. The Tumbleweed? Not yet. Nah. So far today, we've played Torterra EX, Feraligator, and Scizor. Yeah, Torterra, unfortunately, didn't work. But I think we're going to... Well, I'll wait to do the Torterra video. I'll just have to hold off on it. because We just got to cook a better list. Or at least we just got to figure out a better way to play it. Hmm. What I do win? They have to... I win anyways. They, they frenzy gouge and I Zam KO them. Yeah, yeah. Scissor's pretty good against Ryan Moon. Yeah, I just... I win. They have to Calamity Storm, and I win anyways. Okay, this is just GG's. All right, whatever. No matter what, this Moon's dead. <laughs> Either Scizor kills it or Zam kills it after they frenzy gouging. The Fraligator, so yesterday when we played Fraligator, it was good. Today we were getting destroyed, but yesterday it was actually doing pretty good. And that's game. Nice. All right. This deck seems okay against Lost Box, not going to lie. Thanks. Scizor EX kind of slaps against Lost Box because 
All the big two prize Pokemon just get killed by the Scizor. It's pretty good. Cool. And obviously, Baby Zam's pretty good against this deck. Even well, we Maximum Bell kills it too. That's pretty good too. All right, Maximum Bell's definitely good in this deck. Beauty Fly. We did try the Beauty Fly. It, the Beauty Fly is good, but it's just not enough. Torterra just it's not being able to buddy pop in. I don't know. Torterra just felt too slow. That was the issue with it, unfortunately. I have not played a Snorlax deck. I don't really plan on it either. I haven't uh, played Walking Wake yet. Um, we do have a build. New Coridon? Not not an Ancient Box, no. Coridon would probably be its own archetype. You don't really need to play an Ancient Box. Alright, here's the Scizor list. I don't know, I'm liking it so far. Like, okay, maybe we can cut the Morty, but I don't know. Nine Vanilla Supporters seems okay to me. Honestly, I wouldn't mind another Nest Ball. Yeah, I need Skyfield. Like, even when we were trying Torterra with Whimsicott, it just wasn't enough. Scizor, it just does big damage. Crossbreaker can do 240 damage when you discard two metals. Don't jinx this, Snorlax is inevitable. Why did they design it like that? But that's what I'm saying. Tart Twig not being able to pop in is so bad. Cypher over Morty. Yeah, honestly, okay, you know what? Let's let's put the Cypher back in. Honestly, you're kind of right. We haven't even used Morty yet. You are right. To be fair, we haven't really played the Morty yet. Okay, we should play Cypher. Yeah, honestly, I kind of like that. Yeah, Turtwig just got farmed by just not being it, Chief. Hit ho oh tier day. Oh, jeez, wow. It dev Yeah, it does make you a better player, though, for sure. Belt? Yeah, we have Belt in the deck. Yeah, Zambel Zambel's good against the Xs. It's good against the Xs. I do like the Max of Belt. I could see Prime Catcher going in here, too. Honestly, I think both tools, or both A specs are good in this deck. So, yeah. Okay, uh, uh Jank Hand. Dude, I can't be bricking against Maridon, bro. I already went over this. Okay, that's a bit better. That's a little better. Just gonna get two side there. Screw it. All right, twenty minutes till A. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. What do you got? Nice. So this is how you beat this future box deck. Make sure you get turn buddy puffin. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good hand too. We got Scizor and Iona. You think Iron Crown Iron Hands is a boosted deck right now? Because I feel like it rolls. It's a decent deck. Yeah, it's a decent deck. What I lose to? With what deck? Poke Gear? Uh, gear could be okay in here, I guess. I don't know. It's either play Gear or Ninth Supporter. Bird Control? No, I have not played Control. I don't know if I'll be doing any Control anytime soon. The Prime Catcher. They don't even have a knock yet. They're 10 off. Can I suppose they didn't go after a Scyther here? Okay, I'll take it though. We can get counter catcher off Iono. We can knock out the Iron Hands with Scizor if we draw it well enough. Is Guardi still able to compete? Guardi's not terrible right now. Kind of loses to this, probably. Iron Hands, but Guardi's okay. Guardi's decent. Okay. It's annoying. I'm surprised I didn't kill Scyther, but oh, I bet. Matang Scizor have walked into a banger of a game. The deck's been decent so far. Yeah, it's been decent. I've enjoyed it a little bit. All right. I mean, I could kill with Cleaver here, to be honest. That's a lot of Ultra Balls. I do not like losing that many Ultra Balls. That kind of sucks, actually. Okay, I want to get that out. Now, I think we go Scizor X. It just puts on a lot of pressure. I am an Iono before Matang. Okay. Matang first. 
Nice. No, not so nice. What? That's a lot of good cards going to the bottom of the deck, bro. Okay, well, I'm not going to... I'm not going to Super Rod. I'm just going to Greninja first. Okay. Sure. Well, they can't really kill me next turn. So, we'll see how it goes. Knock him out with Crossbreaker. Just how you try to beat this matchup? You just have the tempo with Scizor. All right, what do we got? Matang? Sure. What is he going to do without Guardi? True. He's a, he likes his Guardi. He does like his Guardi. Barboach Whiskash? That sounds kind of evil. Yeah, what the heck? Barboach Whiskash and Great Tusk? I could see them making another card for Guardi. I don't know. Guardi doesn't seem terrible still. It's not like, I don't think Guardi's like super great anymore, but it's not like the most like terrible deck ever. The baton's annoying. Where's the counter catcher? Do they have anything in their hand? Iono, that's fine. What's the Iono going to give me? A lot of energy, apparently. And a Zam. Do you think Manaphy takes up bench space? In here? Kind of, but you kind of need it so you don't get greninja -ed. The new set gonna drop? The new set's already out. What do you mean? That was my Riz? My Riz is pretty sick, bro. The crazy questions you're asking, chat. What the heck? It's been decent, Treetop. Welcome. Welcome in. Do they have four energy on this? No. Interesting. Take my mana fee. They have a generator? I just gonna arm press? Okay, sure. The next the set that's coming up. Oh, the next set? Uh it's coming out in May. Comes out in May. Nice. Get that guy down. I'll bench that, I guess. Doesn't really matter. The whiff. It's fine. Research. All right, what do you got for me? We do have cat. I could counter catcher the hands on without the baton on. I don't really want the baton to pop. I think it's okay. I think it's fine. Should probably super rod here. Make sure I can hit energy from a tank next turn. All right. Do we need to make sure we're going back to back knockouts on these hands? Yeah, we'll just knock out the iron hands. It's fine. What existing meta decks would like unfair stamp? Uh, that's a good question. Pro I mean, I could see control obviously playing it. Um, control will probably play it. More metals. That's a lot of metal energy in our hand. Oh, bully. Hopefully we can attack with Scizor next turn. I probably... Man, I should have attached the active. Because they're not killing me this turn. Maybe I should have. Hmm. I mean, that Iron Hands doesn't have a baton on it. Which is the huge thing about this situation we're in. You have to try to rely on a generator to build it up. They're going for it. But they didn't get another Iron Hands, and they failed the generator. That's pretty good. That's, what, their first generator they played, though? So, I mean, I mean, it's not a great sign. They've only played four energy, so they can still easily hit an energy off a generator. If they don't ant me this... I mean, we'll see. We're in a good spot. It really can come down to Scizor. If Scizor does with an attack next turn, we are in trouble. Well, I could boss, stall, and Iron Crown. They are down... Switch card and three... Pri they're down Prime Catcher, Switch card, and the Booster Capsules. No, they got the Counter Catcher. What are they going after, though? Is there an Energy in their hand? They had an Energy here, Rukuk. How many Metals? Uh, 14 Metals and 2 Super Rod. And there's a Generator. Uh-oh. Is it Double Energy Generator time? I think it is. Yep, yeah, uh-oh. This is pretty bad. This could come down to two gusts in a row. It's not good. 
No, now I definitely have to hit off Matang. I could still get another Matang, though. Yeah, peak acceleration definitely is power creep. I agree. Okay, they still need a lot to, like, win next turn. Assuming I can get this knockout. No, dude! Oh, God. Greninja first, just because we have so many medals. I think it's fine in Greninja. Yeah, nice. Okay. No, well, not nice, because I don't have anything. If I whiff here, we're... F okay, good. Whew. This is close. I mean, it's down to this. If they have it, they have it. They need generator, energy, and gust and stuff to win. They can go into a one prize or an Iono Mita, which is pretty bad. Nah, this is close. Oh, they can't go into one prize or I'd win. All right, we'll see what happens. It's kind of down to this, folks. ADP with Iron Hands. That would have been a pretty dirty combo, not going to lie. Yeah, 15 minutes. Which side of the Metro Boomin Drake Civil War are you on? Honestly, Dre, probably Metro Boomin side. I'm not going to lie. Metro Boomin side is pretty stacked. Considering, I mean, that's if Travis Scott stays on that side of the of the war. We don't know. If, if Travis Scott is on the Metro Boomin side, I'd go Metro Boomin. But Travis might be in the middle. Yeah, yeah, Metro Boomin easy for sure. Metro clears for sure. Yeah, Metro Boomin's got the stacked Civil War side. I mean, I like Drake and J. Cole, but I don't know, Metro Boomin, I don't know, bro. He's got a bigger side. You think so? Yeah, maybe, maybe, Dre, maybe. I mean, bro. But Metro Boomin side, he has Metro Boomin, Drake, or not, Metro Boomin, Kanye. Actually, I don't, I don't really like Kanye, but Metro Boomin, Kanye, Weekend, Future, Kendrick Lamar, and Playboy Cardi, and potentially Travis Scott. That's a pretty stacked lineup. Okay, we just need an energy to win. No. Uh-oh. How much energy is in the deck? Oh my god, we have one energy. Uh-oh. Oh, we might be farm chat. Okay, worst comes first, we can buy a turn maybe on that guy. I mean, they still probably need a lot to win. Okay, I think I have the Greninja first. Okay. Bro. I have a chance here. There's a chance. I just need the one energy off these metal makers. Oh, God. It's so bad. Come on, give me an energy. No! Oh, my God. Where's my supporters at? All right, there's still a chance. We can boss all this. There's a chance. Dude, if I had a Scyther down earlier, I would have won with Scissor or Maxim Belt. All right, there's a chance, Chad. There's a chance. They need a switching card, two energy, and a boss to win the game here. No shot, bro. No, dude, no way, bro. Yeah, Future Yang Kendrick. There, there's a pretty stacked side for sure. Do you like old school hip hop? I mean, I like I like Tupac and Biggie, but I'm not like super into the old hip hop, bro. They actually almost have it, dude. No way, no way. They sack me like that, dude. Not like this, dude. No shot. Now they need a generator to hit, and they win. Oh my god! If they actually draw the bananas like that, they have to leave me in the active spot. They can't. They can't just. If they knock me out, no. Are they gonna knock me out? All right, maybe we win. All right, we win. They should have just passed. They should have passed, and I would have... I mean, I had games I had switched. They didn't know I had switched. But if I was my opponent, I would have just passed. All right, that's a dub. I was close. This matchup is honestly kind of scary just because of the, the tempo that Iron Hands takes against you. It's annoying. Close one for sure. I had game in hand had they passed, but they didn't know I didn't have the switch, but... That was close, bro. We had way too much energy in our hand. That one energy was in the deck. We just couldn't find it, bro. That was close. The new Ribombi card. What does the new Ribombi even do? You gotta be trolling. How's Shampoo? Shampoo's pretty good. The most energy I've put in a deck, it's been like 30 plus something. Metro Boomin call for family turn one lull. Where's Iono? That's what I'm saying, bro. Where's the Iono? What was I gonna? I was gonna do something. What is it, Ribombi? What is it? What are you talking about? This Ribombi. The final. Yeah, but they have to not retreat in order for that to take the prizes. The Santa Conda deck. Santa Conda deck, I think, played like twenty-five energy. I have played. I I think the Kiram Vmax deck played thirty plus energy in it. 
Yeah, but if they just retreat, Andrew, then then it doesn't matter. Sleep token all hip hop. Yeah, I'm not I'm not super into like old school hip hop. I'm more into like the new school stuff. Am I like that's to me that I like that more. Um, but I, I do like I do like old rap songs. I'm not saying I'm like I, I don't like like I don't listen to any rap from like the '80s or anything or even the '90s. But like I like Tupac and Biggie and stuff. But I'm more into like the new school stuff. I just wasn't born. I just was. I didn't grow up in that time, so I, I don't have a connection to old school hip hop like I do, like 2010s rap music, like trap music and stuff. Cause I like growing up for me. I grew up in the 2010s, so I kind of grew up on like rappers like Future, Migos, Lil Baby, Gunna, Young Thug, stuff like that. No, the bricky start. Not like this. Snoop Dogg is the best. Do you like Pop Smoke? Yeah, I like Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke is one of the pioneers of the of 2020s rap music. Rides hard. This might be control. If it's control, we lose because we started Manaphy. Why don't I, I should have attached to Manaphy? Whatever. I may just scoop. This hand is so grief. Macklemore top tier rap. How old am I? 25. All right. It's control. Now nah, scoop. Whatever. We can't. We we started Manaphy. We don't. We can't win. Many more scissor games? No idea. Yes, yeah, the Hisuian Zork attack. Unfortunate. Why wow, we finally hit a control deck chat, and of course we immediately lose to it because we started Mana Fee. They have Radiant Zard too, so we can't beat that. Honestly, control is probably not bad for this deck, but it's just annoying. You started making content young? Yeah, I've been doing... I've been making YouTube videos for, like, over a decade now. Control's annoying? Yep. Naughty by Nature, Gangstar. Yeah, I see. It's just all these, like, the... All these rap groups and rappers from the 90s, I just... I, I'm, I just don't connect to them. Because I just didn't grow up in that time. Yeah, we played for Alligator yesterday. We played a bit of it today, though. We played a bit of it today, too. Bricky start again, bro. No. A song request? Nah, nah, nah. I got my live stream playlist. I got the live stream playlist. Y'all gonna have to live with it. Yeah, I've been making content since I was born, bro. I was born to be a content creator. Ever since I was born, I've been making videos. On the internet. G. Yeah, you're an OG, Jamal. You're an OG. What's the realest thing a young man could say respect for LDO? Is Energy or Psyker still in standard? Nah, rotated. It was in battle styles. I can't even tell if this is Charizard. That's the scary thing. The tears tier. Oh my goodness. I mean, yeah, it's pretty bad. I'd rather put an Iono on top of the deck. Iono, Buddy Poffin. Seems good to me. I mean, we can't lose next turn, which is nice, I guess. So there's that. One day we'll get a Gliscor deck. We haven't had a good Gliscor. I think the last time we had a playable Gliscor card was back in the Diamond and Pearl era. There actually used to be a pretty good Gliscor level X deck back in the day. Fun Pokemon history fact. Used to be a good Gliscor level X deck way back in the day. That was, I think, the last playable Gliscor card. Now I'm, now I'm curious. Now I'm looking this up. Yeah, the last good Gliscor deck was... There was a Gliscor level X and a Gliscor... Uh, the Harkle Soul Silver Gliscor. Or Undaunted Gliscor. That was the last good Gliscor deck. Gliscor is a cool Pokemon, bro. It is one of the coolest Pokemon from Gen 4. And it's got, like, one playable card ever, bro. How are they going to do that to my boy Gliscor? 2017, you started playing competitively. OG. Yo, Pokemon card auction. Thank you for the follow. You probably remember Yellow Swallow then in Dark Integral Gaming. What card am I most sad to see lose after rotation? Uh, this rotation? Now it's Aura Box. Best way to beat Charizard for Team Devo 4. <laughs> Funny enough, that's still probably not even enough. Yeah, I was like 10 years old when that card was big. 
The Glide Score level X deck was sick. It was like a control. It was like a control lock deck. It like tried to paralyze you every single turn. It was a pretty. Yeah, it was actually a pretty good deck. Yeah, maybe one day they'll give us another playable Glide Score. I'm like looking at all these Glide Scores. <laughs> There's not good. All right, they're okay. We can win. There's a lot of two prize liabilities on the board. Um, maybe it's possible, chat. Yeah, Heart Gold Silver era was a good time for sure. It was a good era. And I don't know. I've been playing the TCG since like 2009, maybe even longer than that. It's been a while. I've been in the been in the TCG for a long time. I gotta protect my my tank. We want to. I mean, they have a lot of life. We could win the game by just going two two two. A lot of abilities in play. Pretty good stuff. If it had any other Pokemon, would it still be popular? I mean, it's just a good card. Um, if Charizard X, I don't know. If Charizard X attack did like one twenty damage and that's it, it would suck. Donald Dark and Trickle Gaming actually did return to YouTube. Um, I think he's in school right now, so he's just, like, not as uploading as much anymore. They, he did say that. Um, Yellow Swallow has vanished. His channel, his, his channel, he doesn't upload anymore. His channel's actually, it got, he deleted it, but he brought it back. But Yellow Swallow's been gone for over four years. You just can't, yeah. Yellow Swallow's been gone for, like, four years now on YouTube, Jamal. He's been gone for a while. Yeah, five minutes till the registration. Best deck to climb ladder and beat Lax. Lugia or Future potentially are the best decks. I'm 25 years old. I'm turning 26 later this year. Freddy Dread? Nah, I have no idea what that is. That's annoying. We should kill them with Scizori X, right? No, boss! How dare you? You're old, bro. It happens, bro. Even people get old, bro. It's crazy. Dropped out of the game in Neo and got back in black and white. Your videos helped a lot. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. You left four years ago because of COVID. True, true. Yeah, COVID was like the big turning point in the TCG, I would say. All right. Pre, Pre-2020's TCG looked way different than post-2020's TCG. It's a totally different ball game. Hopefully they don't have Defiance banned. That would suck. No Matang, that's unfortunate. All right, wacky smacky. Do you blaze? No, I do not. I do not. Uh, it was pretty bad, yeah. Canadian rapper? Ryan, I talk so fast, I might as well be a Canadian rapper. Okay, if they don't have a def if they don't knock out Scizor this turn, they have Max and Belter Defiance Band, probably. Poor Scizor, yeah. Charizard's a bad matchup. As soon as we take two prizes, Scizor just gets KO'd in one hit. That sucks. ADP dodge worlds. ADP would have definitely won worlds if it existed. Black and white era was pretty fun. Black and white was fine until Next Destinies came out. If you want to hear more of my opinion on that, go watch the uh, Shift Gear podcast. I'll pull up our canine labs here so I can get in. Yeah, Logan Paul obviously was a big part of it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yep, they have maximum belt. That sucks. The Canadian Pokemon TCG rap. Why don't we have an Infernape BX? Pokemon just don't like Infernape. The last time we had a playable Infernape card was like... Probably, honestly, probably the Diamond and Pearl era. Because there actually used to be a good Infernape level X. That was definitely the last time we had a playable Infernape. Honestly, like, you could name a lot of Pokemon. The last time we had a playable version of that card would have been, like, probably the Diamond and Pearl era. I'm going to be quite honest with you. Okay, hold on. I got to find... We got to go find... Uh... Got two minutes. I gotta hurry up and get to the restoration page. You think they'll reprint Path? Probably not. Why is it taking so... Oh, our canine's being slow. Oh, wait, there we go.
pretty sure LA is the same weekend as a new set release, but that's fine. I usually, I hate missing new set releases, but I actually want to go to this one, so. Smack with Scissor, I guess. We just go knockout, knockout. Okay, we can win this. We need to set up Matang, so for sure. I'm trying to see if I can play this turn real quick. I'm going to do Matang before I research. Nice. Yeah, I don't really like those going to the bottom of the deck, though, to be honest. Mia Rod, 10 p.m. All right. The lads pulled up. All right, let's get in, chat. Let's do a register time, baby. We're getting in, hopefully. Oh, we have to wait in this queue. I forgot they have that now. They have this, like, queue now. We gotta wait. It is Scizor, yeah. Am I going to Indianapolis? Yeah, I'll be at Indianapolis. I have not played Copperage no. We're not really playing, like, older stuff. We're playing more new stuff first. True. I mean, now, to be fair, we have had good ho -Oh cards. ho -Oh GX and ho -Oh ex were playable. There was a ho -Oh ex used to be playable back in the day. The Dragon's Exalted Ho-Oh was a meta deck, and Ho-Oh GX was actually pretty good when it first came out. Ho-Oh hasn't... But Ho-Oh hasn't had any, like, meta-defining Lugia-type cards. That's the only difference. Yeah, Ho-Oh hasn't really had any, like, super meta-defining cards. Yeah, Ho-Oh Ho -Oh GX was a playable deck back in the day. LA's a literal wasteland. I've always wanted to go in LA. I know, yo, Dre, I'm down, bro. I've always wanted to visit LA. That's why I'm going. Even though it's on the same weekend as a set release and I don't like doing that usually, I actually want to get in and I want to go to it. You appreciate the fall there. All right. We are in. I just have to. All right. Okay, uh, bench that. I, I get, actually, I should bench Greninja. See if we can swing with Zam. All right, we're in LA. We got in LA. We got into LA, chat. Let's go. We're in, we're in, we're in. Yeah, we in too, we in too. Let's go. We got in. It's kind of annoying. I can't bench Greninja. Nice. Huge research right there. How do we close the game, though? I don't know if we can close out the game. That's kind of the issue here. We just gonna get Ionoed again. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know if we can close out the match. We'll see though. I don't know if we can close out the match. We'll see. I need to get boss match. That's not good. Yeah, I need to go for like a mounter. I need to go for the the counter catcher play here. All right, still winnable. Still winnable. Still winnable. Maximum level counter catcher going to the bottom of the deck is pretty bad. Because that's what we need. We specifically need to kill the Pidgeot to win the game. Ah, uh, yeah, we already did Incineroar. already did a video on it and everything. What am I signing up for? LA Regionals. My favorite new deck? Uh, the Dialga Matang deck was pretty fun. Miss Zorobox? I know. I wish Zorobox still existed. Must ask you. I apologize. It's all good, Thomas. Yeah, there's the annoying Iono. Now we probably just lose if I don't get a research. Yep, game's over. Good old Charizard. Yeah, Scizor doesn't beat Charizard. It's unfortunate. Scizor does not beat Charizard. Charizard's too good, bro. It's too good. The only way to win here would... Oh, maybe we gotta play like a TM Devo. I don't know. 
I don't know. <sighs> Alright, well, uh, I literally need to top deck research to win this game. And I have no way to draw it. I we lose. Oh, you're so close, bro. Do they have a switch? Yeah, they have switch. It is game over. We have no way to win. All we needed... Oh, we were so close. We needed the counter catcher prime. We needed the maximum belt counter catcher combo. We didn't have a draw engine established, which kind of killed us, right? Not having any draw here really hurt us. Steel wing does nothing. Actually, steel wing technically does prevent Charizard from one-shotting me. But they just have switch. They just KO with raids art anyways. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter what I do. I either die to the Radiant Charizard. My win con here, my I guess my win con is hope they don't have a switch. That's literally my win con, I guess. It's not a great win con, but it could their last prize could be their one of switch. You never know. I, I just gotta go for it. If I knock him out, I lose. I just basically go for this and hope for the best. I gotta pray they don't have a switch. I don't think I would have played Zoro Box to Vancouver, but seeing it get top 32 made me very happy. Yeah. Charizard is just too good, man. Pretty good against these random pile EX decks. Good old Charizard, man. Yeah, everyone's favorite deck. It's unfortunate. I don't know. I like the Scizor deck, though. I do like it, but... You definitely just have a terrible Charizard matchup. There's nothing we can do about that. All right, I kind of want to play the Aspathra deck. So this Aspathra deck won an online tournament. And I want to try Aspathra Bayonet. It looks pretty sick. Let's try it out. Gengar EX? No, Gengar wasn't very good. Zoro Box? Last tournament, yeah. Bayonet? Yeah, we're going to try the Bayonet Aspathra deck. I did want to play this deck. This was another deck I had on my agenda today. How good is Future Hands? It's looking pretty good. I would say it's a good deck. Go back to Miascarada. No, no Miascarada tonight. I don't really... I'm not playing on it. What is good against Zard and Six Norlax? I mean, there are a lot of decks good against it. It just sucks that our deck just kind of loses to it. Scizor just kind of sucks against it because the 270 HP on the Scizor is really bad, and they have Radiant Charizard, which is also really bad. It's just all around a bad time. It's just, I don't know, Char Charizard's a good deck. I don't know what to tell you. It's a good deck. All right, we have a pretty good start here. We have a pretty good start. Turbo. Yes, Path is pretty good against Turbo. Okay, this is actually not a bad start, actually. As Pather should farm Iron Hands, to be honest. Okay. I do like this. I think we just go into Natu, try to protect Flittle if possible, try to get multiple as Pathra set up. Win rate against Charizard and Snorlax with Arcana Pidgeot. The Pidgeot's interesting. I don't know. Is the Pidgeot necessary over Bibs? Dialga Matang is broken. What is this? We're playing Aspathra. Aspathra Baynet. It won an online tournament. New Coridon good? Coridon is decent. Haven't tried it yet. Got beaten by a Scizor deck? Aspathra beats Zard? It should. Yeah, it should. I mean, you have Baynet and Aspathra. You have two, you have two ways to kind of cheese Charizard out. All right, they got the turn one KO. That's fine. Can we not? Wait, yo, can we boss the Iron Hands and knock it out? I don't think so. Be cool if we could. Okay, a Zatu top deck would be pretty cool. Nope. Hmm. I mean, just going to his path for probably, right? And just smack. Yeah. Try to get more stuff set up. It would be pretty dope here to get a Zatu. Okay. Hmm. We have Greninja too. League headquarters is also very good in this matchup. 
Another Spathra? Nope. I guess I'll bench that in case they uh, hit me with the whatever. If they hit me with the, the what do you call it, the iron bundle. All right. Does streaming your deck make competition more difficult? Not really. I mean, if people want to stream snipe, I mean, it is what it is. I don't, I don't know. You can't tell if someone stream snipes you, unfortunately. But if someone stream snipe me, I mean, if it's in a, like a tournament, then okay. It's like, all right, bro, you got to be that guy. But usually if it's not, it's fine. Is that for LA? Yo, you got in? Yo, I got in too, Dragon. Let's go. Let's go. I'll see you there. All right. If they don't Iono me here, we can probably KO the Iron Hands. Or my opponent is just not getting energy on it anyways. Oh, no, no, Generator. That two energy? One. They need four energy to attack, and then we just knock out their active. But do they have the ability to get to that point? How do you feel about Mill? I haven't played Great Tusk. Every match I've played against it, though, has been very close. The play for Orlando? No idea. Time to stream snipe. Frankie's menace, bro. Menace. That one card, Iono? That'd be pretty bad. Nope. All right, well, unfortunately, they are now cooked. What? Bro, what? Where's my card? Wait, what the fudge? What? Oh, there we go. Okay, I was like, wait, what just happened? Hmm. Kind of mid. Uh. I just... Do I even want to boss Iron Hands... Did I wait? Did I have a kill if I attached another energy? I might have. No, I didn't. Okay, good. I'll just bring in the hands. Just live things. Yeah, bro. I was like, wait, what just happened, dude? I thought the game like broke for a sec. I was like, wait, no shot. Live moment for sure. If you've been enjoying the stream, by the way, on YouTube, make sure to leave a like. I would appreciate it. The mill deck. I haven't done a video on mill yet. Maybe I'll get around to it eventually, but not right now. I have not touched it. Was it correct to... Well, I mean, they drew the research. So it actually was correct to bring in the Iron Hands. Because they drew the research anyways. Do they have a counter catcher here? No, they're, they're tied on prizes. Joke's on you. They almost killed it. Yo, that's crazy. Okay, what do we top deck? I'm pretty sure this deck doesn't play any tools, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, I think we just tulip here. Get the lads back. Nice. I was going to say, I need another Espathra. I need to retreat and make it even harder for them. Probably should bench Mew. Whatever, it's fine. They need a lot. They need a lot. We have boss in hand, which is pretty lit. Yeah, I should have benched Mew because I have boss. It's fine. There's Palpad. We go boss Palpad next turn. Just kind of keep spamming boss every turn. Every time they try to low open Iron Hands. It's pretty good. Wug Spite Ops deck is all I play. That video did pretty good. A lot of people really like that deck. And that deck actually, if the Wug Trio, like if you don't brick, Wug Trio Spite Ops actually felt decent. I liked it. I'm glad that video did well. That was a fun one. Luminous Energy. All right, do they have an Iono? They do. Yeah, I should have mentioned Mew. It's fine. We got Zatu. We could like shuffle the deck, play Zatu still. We got Mew. Okay. Okay, we can do the Mew at least. Get those bugs frequently. I don't really play this game on my phone that much, but yeah, I know it's a bit of a buggy mess. A Crown Valiant Future deck. Need help refining any suggestions? Uh, look at Poke book if you want to find a lot of good lists for that, I would say. All right. Okay, we could actually play the Silene. Yo, we might be cooking here, chat. All right, watch this. We can... What do I even Silene back? A Psychic Energy? A Vessel? Vessel would be good, actually. Nice. Do I get Vessel back? We're not Gust... I don't want Iono. Yeah, I like Vessel. Because then I could just, like... We can Zatu. It's pretty good. Really don't think we need Bane in this matchup. Retreat back into the Espathra. Cool. 
I like that. And just keep putting pressure. Because now, okay, now we're now they're cooked. They can't if they knock out his path through. So that's like checkmate. It's pretty sick, actually. They're cooked, bro. They need too much energy. They need five energy for arm press. Yeah, they're cooked. They're cooked. It's checkmate. They, even if they kill this as Pathra, yeah, the, the other one just checkmates. All right, sick. Yo, as Pathra beats Turbo Hand, not bad. Yo, no worries, fish. Does the game still heat up your phone? Do you ever get overwhelmed tilted? Yeah, I get tilted all the time. How's your Aspathra card shiny? It's the gold Aspathra, the shiny full art Aspathra, whatever it's called. Easy dubs confirmed, yeah. I actually honestly wouldn't mind maybe playing like a rigid band in here. That was close, dude. They almost one-shot me with that iron hands. They did 240 with arm press. That's kind of scary. That was kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. That arm press was spooky. How do you get it? You got to pull it in the packs. Bayonetta's Pathra? It's Bayonetta's pa it's Yeah, it's Bayonetta's Pathra. It's, it won an online tournament. We're playing a we're playing a list that won an online tournament. The stack won an online tournament the other day. We're trying it out. The Shuppet start? We're going first. Okay, we can get a turn one or turn two Bayonet going first, which is pretty cool. What are the games you playing currently? Uh, nothing, just Pokemon. I think it's Lugia. No, maybe not. Oh, is it Control, bro? Might be Control. Guess we'll see. The Alkazam is crucial, yeah. Netdecker. Which Broken Time Space was reprinted? I don't know about that, dude. I don't know if Broken Time Space needs reprint. Alright, this might be yeah, it's control. Itch control. Oh god. I think we beat control. I should have vesseled the Manaphy. No shot the Erica me, right? Unless her stream sniping. Missed energy. Yeah, it's definitely control. Kind of insane they have the turn energy. That's pretty bad. It's control. Okay, we can beat control. We can beat control, chat. It's doable. I think I have to Iona. Okay, hold on. Give me a Bayonet here. Bayonet is huge in this matchup. Nice. Fluttermane's pretty good too. They're going to go into Mimikyu, but we can just sit here and load up the Fluttermane. I mean, we should have went for the Knockout. Doesn't really matter though. I don't want to also give... I We can also deny him Countercatcher, which is decent. Just item lock him so they can't get Pidgeot out. Yeah, Future does get body by Aspathra. I'll say that. Aspathra is pretty good against Future. Yeah, that call for family is annoying. It's fine. Keep trying to build up this Fluttermane, I guess. That's the plan. Just keep item locking. Yeah, we're going to control the control chat. I actually don't know how this matchup's supposed to play out. This is like my second time playing the deck, but uh, I assume this is how you kind of want to approach it. I don't know. Dude, control is just a headache and a half to play against. It's no fun. If I draw a boss here, we can boss Pidgey. To keep everlasting darkness in them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to play. I feel this matchup is obviously they're playing Pidgeot, so Bayonet's good right now. They want to go into Fluttermane. Oh, Bayonet? Yo, Bayonet's kind of a nuke, too. We can use it to, like, blow any, like, Pidgeot up in one hit. Nice. I don't really want to break item lock, but we're just going to knock out this Rodom to cripple their setup. That's their hand? All right. Well, you're dead. 
Bye bye. See ya, buddy. Why am I not using Zatch's ability? I don't really need to. We don't really need to. We don't need to spread ourselves too thin right now. Wait, what the fudge, Charmander? Wait, what? Wait, this isn't control. What the fudge? Why is there a Charmander in their deck? What? Uh, hello? Blood, yo. Did bro just cook? Did bro just cook too hard? Did they just put a Charizard in a Snorlax deck? This person's galaxy brain, dude. What? I actually, I hate the ladder sometimes, bro. What the heck is going on right now? You ran into this person earlier? What were they playing in their deck? Let me know. Let me know so I can beat them. Charizard control? Bro, what the fudge is this? This is crazy, bro. Yo, honestly, Frankie, that's true. That is literally true. Talk about that earlier, and they actually did. This is ridiculous. Charizard control. I've seen it all. Now they got the Luxray, too. Uh-oh. The Schlux Ray. Not my Flutter main. Now give me another. If we get another boss here, we can just nuke the Pidgeot. Yeah, what the heck is this? This is ridiculous. I control is so stupid, bro. It's so freaking stupid. So stupid. Probably should have went his path, right, to be honest. Yeah, dude, control is so stupid, bro. Rodom just actually just sucks. What a dumb card, dude. Let's kill the active, I guess. That's their hand? Alright, their hand sucks. Broken pile? This is why this is why I hate control, bro. This stupid Pidgeot and Rodom, dude. Like, bro just put a Rodom and a Pidgeot on his deck and just like put two random things together and I don't hate it, bro. What's wrong with Rodom? Rodom is just what enables control to be broken, in my opinion. This is ridiculous, bro. What's going on right now? I do need to find boss. I still need to make sure we're nuking the Pidgeot. I want to make sure we're killing the Pidgeot. It's pretty important. Oh, if only MacGyver, yeah. They put the cape on the Charizard. It's fine. We have Espathra. I mean, we'll see. We can go back to item locking them, which is probably what I'm going to do. Just keep item locking them for a bit. So they can't play counter catcher or anything. Rodom Doobie Zaysha at home. Yeah. Yo, Flamer, what's up? The Lax is too good. I honestly think we might lose this just because I have no idea what the heck is in their deck. I have no idea what's going on right now. I genuinely might lose this game just because their deck, like, they have the most random stuff. Like, I don't know what the heck I'm up against, bro. I actually might lose this game. Why is Pathra? We're playing as Pathra Bayonet. They should ban Pidgeot. They're not going to ban Pidgeot. Pidgeot, no way. Bro's going for the Zard. I mean, we'll just kill them with this Pathra then. You want to kill me with Zard? I'll kill you with this Pathra. They have one energy. They have like five in hand. Snorzard. I mean, their deck is cool, I guess. But it's like, this is why control sucks, bro. You can literally just put a Pidgeot and a Rotom on your deck and you can do anything. It's so stupid. Is this Pathra dead? Okay, good. It's fine. You just go Iono knock out Charizard. My first deck when I first got into the game, I don't even, it was too long ago. Way too long ago. Kind of wish I got a better attacker. It's Iono. Zard pile, yeah. We actually genuinely could lose to this, which is kind of scary. Good thing we have. Uh. Good thing we have Espathra. We would have. We actually would have lost this game if we didn't have like Espathra. It's crazy. 
It's crazy to think. All right, we got Buttermane. There we go. All right. We have game in hand if they don't eerie me. Yo, no worries, Claudio. Glad you enjoy the content. Yo, or a lore with the raid. Yo, appreciate the raid there. Thank you, thank you. Hope you had a good stream. We're playing some uh, Espathra Bayonet right now. It won an online tournament. We are playing against a very wild Charizard X control deck, which is kind of scaring me because it's actually kind of body me right now almost. But yeah, what's up? Appreciate that raid. Eerie's the face of fear. It actually is. Yeah, what's up? What's up, Warlord? Appreciate the raid. Dude, is, are they going to camp my Zatu? Don't do it, dude. Not the Zatu. Okay, no Eerie. I think we win. We have Prime Catcher. Note to self, always play Grass-type in every deck. Green's pretty good. This game, right? Yeah, we killed Pidgey. Sick. Dude, what the heck? That was... I don't even know what to tell you. They actually could have won the game, dude. That's so scary. That's wild, dude. I mean, I kind of get the Charizard. It's like playing the Radiant Zard in the control deck. You kind of use it in the late game as like a nuke. I actually kind of countered us, but that's crazy. Yeah, glad you, glad you had a good stream. Glad you had a good stream. Yeah, Eerie's pretty, Eerie's pretty scary. If they Eerie'd me there, honestly, we could have lost. Because I was like my only... Well, I had a boss and a Palpad and Silene, actually. This deck probably just beats control because you have Silene, Palpad, Prime Catcher. It's pretty good. Charizard controls your worst fear. Yeah, that was a crazy deck. The Charizard DX is spicy. <laughs> I mean, when we're playing Bayonet, it's not very good. I forgot what Eerie does. Discards two items from your hand. It's pretty pretty annoying. It's a pretty good card. Eerie wins games. Play the leaves. Depends on what deck. I concede immediately. A bit too spicy. I kind of get it. So you you kind of you dwiddle down the control player... You dwiddle, you dwiddle down to one prize against control, and then they go Iono, Rare Candy, Charizard X, knock out your active, and you're probably not KOing the Charizard X. Now, is that better than playing Radiant Charizard Penny Loop? Probably not, but it's a little bit more spicier. That's Tord. Yeah, it probably was Tord. What do we start with here? Are we going second? We're going fur. Okay, we start Flittle. Yo, buddy pop and top that? No, not again, bro. Should have started Flutterbean. Unfortunate. Yeah, I can show a list after. Why? Right, if you want to find it too, check out uh, Play.Limitless. They won a recent online tournament. Why not play the Eerie as you item lock? Eerie actually... Does this deck not play Eerie actually? Maybe Eerie is good in here. I don't think this deck plays Eerie. The Glasses Lost Box deck? Uh, it is slightly worse because you lose Tropius and Moltres V. Uh, I don't know if there's a good Grass replacement. I guess there's Pinsir. That's about it. But you can play Shaman V in the deck, actually. Hand is abysmal. We're going to send the hand anyways. It doesn't really matter. Cool. Oh, do we... Do we really need Bayonet? It does a way to nuke the Rotom. Is it a misplay to grab Bayonet? I'm just going to find out. Cool. They probably have Penny in hand, but whatever. Separate servers for different regions? I don't think so, no. I'm pretty sure it's just global. Like, I've played against players from Japan before. Like, even on PCGO. Can Fluttermane retreat against Lax? It can, yes. I don't know if we should have put Bane in. But I don't know what the optimal board state's supposed to be. I'm just going to just wing it. Whatever. I'm just going to wing it. <clears throat> Eerie could be good because you could use it to check for Poltergeist. Yeah, that is true, actually. I mean, I do like the idea of Eerie, though, because you can item lock them and remove their resources. So that when you break the item lock, they don't have a lot of resources to work with. All right, do they have Penny in hand? They probably do. They always have Penny every time, guaranteed. Nine card hand, easy Penny. It's an easy Penny. Uh-oh. Don't mill my pal pad, please. When they mill, nothing. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, okay, that works too. The switch card.
Nice. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. I, dude, I freaking control, bro. It makes you use your brain, dude. I hate using my brain, chat. I just want to attach energy attack, bro. I think we just sit here and we wait to Iono them. We could also set up nuke play with Bayonet on Rodom. They're just going to keep building their hand up. There isn't really a replacement to Tropius. The yeah, I guess you could play Cobalion with, like... I, I, that's actually an interesting idea. But playing Cobalion feels bad, because then you have to, like, get two Pokemon in play. I, that feels kind of costly. Could work, though, in theory. Separate servers for a different... Oh, you read that one. Yeah, apparently we like Snorlax, Nintendo fans. This is the two, second one we've played against. To be fair, we did have, a, like, a long streak where we didn't hit a single control deck. Yeah, I guess the replacement of Tropius would be Grass Pokemon plus Cobalion. Because you need to at least do 120. You, know, you, need to, you need to do 110 damage with a Grass Pokemon in order for Glasses to work. Uh, glasses Lost Box could be okay. I mean, you still have Roaring Moon. You can play Raikou in the deck, which is good. Iron Hands. You can play a Grass Attacker. You can play like Shaman V. You could also play Minior still. Hey, the Benetti Spaghetti. Let's go. It's pretty sick. I don't know. We'll see what they got. Hopefully, they're not playing anything cheesy like a Luxury Versal Energy, bro. It's starting to get bad for us. Not gonna lie. Just broke up the cheese. Yeah, there's Penny. It's fine. I mean, I don't want to keep getting Misfortune Sistered, but I don't want to Iono them. Put that there, sure. Honestly, if I held that vacuum, I could have went, like, vacuum Iono, KO, Rodom. Because there's a good chance Rodom gets KO'd even if I Iono them to six. Because, like, their whole deck is trainers. They literally play, like, 80, 90% trainers. Not the boss. All right, sounds good. Treetop, thanks for stopping by. Hope they ban Snorlax. It's getting unhealthy for the format. It's definitely toxic, but I don't know if it's going to ever get banned. I don't know if it's ever going to get banned. It definitely is toxic, though. I agree. It is, it is a pain in the butt to play against. It ain't fun, that's for sure. Like, if we get to the point where Snorlax is, like, everywhere and it's, like, all people play, okay, then maybe we should ban Snorlax. Because I, I guarantee you a ton of people are going to quit the game if that happens. Because that does not sound like a fun time. That definitely does not sound like a fun time. Will never be good enough to get banned? We'll see. New players got to realize how broken something's got to be to get banned. Never understand how people sit there for like 12, 15 minutes each game on Snorlax on the ladder. True, true. Real. I don't know if Minior... Minior doesn't beat Snorlax. Now if they're playing like Lux Reversal, it's not enough. All right, see you, Dragon. Thanks for not buying the stream. Not the Misfortune Sisters. Yeah, they milled up Buddy Poffin. Bet. I don't know. Minior's cool against Snorlax. It's just not enough, though. Usually it's not enough. Usually it's not enough. The stream tie. Yeah, you literally did, Sonny. And you were right, bro. Gotta get all the buzzwords out of the way first. 1-1 one, one Ghastly. Nah, we literally the first game we used Gengar against Snorlax last night, we immediately got bodied by a Luxray Reverse Energy Countercatcher. It ain't happening, bro. The streets are saying that it's just not going to work.
they seem boring. I mean, they're boring to play against. Like, I personally would much rather be doing anything else right now than playing against this crap. But it's a legit deck, and you have to deal with it. Oh, nah. I was inevitable they're going to mill out. Snorlax Charizard is actually BDIF? Probably, yeah. And if I'm boss, I can boss. Boss energy would be nice. Okay. Eerie, yeah, Eerie sucks. I think Eerie, Eerie is definitely one of the worst things to happen to the format for sure. I am playing Mill, no. No tanks. Really fun and interesting game. Yeah, glad you were enjoying the stream content chat. I only deliver the highest quality stream content. The boring Snorlax list. Hand trimmer? Yeah, if we had a hand trimmer, it'd be pretty sick for sure. Hand trimmer would go pretty hard for sure. This Honestly, I wouldn't mind a hand trimmer in this deck. Because you can like bane at them and then hand trimmer them. Break the lock. Is that even worth it though? I don't know. Give me a boss. Damn, bro. You gotta give me boss's orders. What if they prized Erica? They haven't played an Erica yet, which is kind of sus. They can eerie the hand trimmer. Oh, that is true, actually. Yeah, never mind. Hand trimmer actually sucks against Snorlax. You have to... Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, eerie sucks, bro. What a stupid card. I, is this correct? I honestly have no idea. I'm just going to go for it. I don't even care. I've, I've given up caring about this matchup. I've given up. Chat. I've been going crazy, chat. We got to peek at their hand, bro. Let's go. Well, they actually, you know, they do have an Erica. Yeah, I get far. I, I, I want to see what's their hand, bro. 1,800 damage. Crazy. Ooh, nice. The new Gengar deck. Gengar's just kind of just a meme. Yeah, give me yeah, bring that tattoo back up. Eighteen hundred in the thumbnail, bro. Might have to. We need to draw more energy. Thank you for benching that. I think it's too early to do tulip here. What's our top deck? Benetti Spaghetti. Here it comes. All right, bye-bye, Greninja. Yeah, put that Greninja in the active. Yeah, you do that, buddy. You go ahead. Good good for you. Good for you. Going far in life. Yeah. Yeah, they have... We saw they had Shiyu. Mill's okay. Control is garbage. Mill's fine. Mill's Mill's less annoying. Mill Mill actually keeps you on your toes because like you actually have to keep up. Mill is just like this is like this is a super fun, very interactive game. And it tells you don't like the deck. I probably just played the matchup wrong. It's fine. Do we just lose because we have Greninja stuck? I actually think we lose because Greninja stuck in the active. Arbok trimmers. Ooh. Ar I definitely like the idea of Arbok in the new format. Blocklax is a lazy control deck. I mean, Snorlax is literally a lazy Pokemon. It checks out. It actually does have the perfect check card, literally. Do I... Hold on. Do I have an out to win this game? I don't think this deck plays Turo. Nah, I will scoop. Greninja's stuck in the active. Greninja's stuck. There's no way we can win that. 
Control, Control is definitely a deck that maybe won't get banned, but it feels like they gave it way too many good cards for it to be a playable deck. I don't know. It's just, it's just such a... It just sucks that Pokemon had to put too much in the deck for it to be good. That's kind of the issue with, with the Snorlax deck. Yeah, that, we, we can't win that game because they trapped Greninja. We should cut the Greninja out of this deck, to be honest with you. Cut the Greninja out. We have Manaphy, though. It doesn't matter. Play Water Energy in the deck. There you go, chat. We do that, Mirage, and then they just counter catch your Greninja and the game ends. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't know. This, this deck probably beats control if you play well. I probably just didn't even bother. I just kind of lost my train of thought when I was playing that game. Whatever. It is what it is, chat. I think I'm going to call it a night here, though. It is starting to get late, and I got to head off for the night because I still got to work on a YouTube video. I'm unfortunately going to be busy tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, probably Sunday, too. I don't think I'm going to be home. Yeah, we played Scissor earlier. But, yeah, that'll be it for me, guys. I will be heading out for the night. Um, is there anybody we can raid? Before I head off for the night, let's see, let's see who's online right now. Man, it's like nobody on. Bro! Aww. It's like actually nobody online. That's crazy. I mean, I guess we can raid... It's not even in English, though. We'll raid pleb underscore yeah sure okay cool all right chat that's it for me um yeah i'll i'll probably be back uh hopefully monday there is a world where i do there's a world where i do stream again on um on sunday if i'm not because it is um it is easter sunday so i probably won't be home easter sunday but we'll see but if i am i will stream again on sunday and, uh, yeah, I'll be, uh, back on the stream grind. I guess a break will be nice, because I've been streaming for, like, the past three days. And all the Snorlax is hurting my brain, chat. All right, that's it for me, chat. Check out today's YouTube video on Gouging Fire. Check out the second channel video today, where I did a video where we looked at, um, the best decks in the current format in the first week of this new set. That'll be for me. I will try to be back Saturday, or Sunday, because I'll be gone all weekend. So, yeah, I'll be back soon with another stream. And, uh, yeah, thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the follows and subs. If you enjoyed the stream over on YouTube, make sure to leave a like before you head out. And I'll be it for me, chat. I'll catch you on another live stream and another video. Daily Temporal Forces content still going to continue. Yes. See everybody. Have a good